Isn't that emote really cute as well? Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So we've got, to be fair, we've got all, we've got all stream to like get these ideas together. So it's okay. It's okay. Morning, everybody. Hello. I will say hello to each and every single one of you. Yeah, sorry, True Demon. I forgot. Yeah, of course. Right, let me get the main scene open because I think it's going to go big, Kenko. We can always speak like this for a minute. I don't know. Let's just introduce this. Um, good morning. Hello. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of... Uh, lot Because, obviously, you guys, your support the last few weeks, months, years... Um, we've got literally like 10 more emo slots and it will either be we either filter out some of the old ones and put in new ones or we just add to them. But there's not that many emotes that I don't like and not doesn't really get used. Um, but we can work on it. Good morning, everybody. Sim time. I've done it early morning, Rastik. So the sun's just rising. The sun's just rising. Uh, this is as big as... I mean, if someone's got me like an 80-inch TV, send me a picture. Um, because that will be the biggest I've ever been. Um, let's go to the main scene, because I don't like Big Kenko. There we go. Bosh. Um, I want to say hello. Say hello in the chat, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Massa, Chief, Jack Garrett, Flying Brit, Joel, True Demon, Benny Boy, Planzo, Rastique, uh George, hello, mate. Welcome. Uh, big Forehead, thank you. Anthony, True Demon, Flying Brit, hey. Uh, big Splat, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome Hoverboard's great to see you as well Shanti, Luke, uh, Jack, Big Splat um, Flying Brit as well Guys, the followers, I can't see who followed the channel But there was like two or three followers during the bloody intro there um, And also Jack, give the gifted sub to Lee Shello um, I do appreciate that one Thank you very much Just Taylor with 49 uh, Mark, good morning, fanatic Hello, Tech My IT's back in the building You love this livery, mate This, this looks so good Um it looks better in the sun, but um, it does look very nice. Kenko, um, love. Kenko Love. See, that emote's not changing. Kenko Love is staying forever. The only emote I've got right... I can. I, I, we're not going to do this now. We can do this um, We can do this another time. But this is the only ones I've got at the minute. Kenko Waffle. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We, we can add... Like, I want to add to this list and just keep putting Kenko emotes. And then I'll send Sophie a massive email. Um, and then she can get designing them. Um... So yeah, by the end of today's stream, we're going to use our ideas together and come up with five or ten. I will think we'll start with five. Otherwise, the bank is going to be broken because these emotes do cost money. Um, so yeah, if we can come up with some good ones. Kenko Waffle is amazing. I don't think Kenko Kiss is the right word. Um, but we'll work on it. Thank you very much, Taylor, for 49 months. I appreciate it. Kenko, I don't know. Yes. <gasps> Do you know what? Let's just, let's just spend a minute to sort this out. Kenko, I don't know. I, I can come up with a description. The description's not a problem. Um, because I can obviously sort that out at a later date. Um, Kenko, yeah, but it looks like dick, though. Would you, are you sure IDK is the right bit to do? Because the eye is very hidden. It looks like Kenko dick. Kenko, I don't know. Kenko Puzzled would work. I mean, she can always make the emote and then we just change the name of it, but... Kenko Puzzled. Kenko tur Tourist. Why would you want a tourist emote, though? Uh, a Koala Shrugging. Yeah, that's true. I like that idea. Shrugging. I, I like to say, I, I can obviously add to these. Uh, Kenko D can be an OnlyFans emote. Brilliant. Uh, no particle flight. That, that will be against Twitch TOS. Um, you're welcome, Star Bro. Kenko Puzzled would be used a lot, I think. Okay, Kenko Puzzled, Kenko, Kenko Phone, I think someone mentioned. Would you guys want, like, every time I go on my phone? Because like, I do have a habit. It's like when you're at a workplace and you're working for a company and you're not allowed to go on your phone, you get told off for it. I always go on my phone as, like, a habit during the stream. So I think maybe that's a shout. Um, Kenko Crash. Well, have we not got, like, a Crash emote? We got the... That's, that's more like... That's more like a mind... Yeah, I'm going to animate these emotes as well. Kenko stupid. Kenko overrun. Kenko... Okay, two people mentioned Kenko crash scream overrun. So there's like a theme going on here. Hi, Dan. Good morning. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I mean, are these, are, these are good ideas. Kenko like... Uh, yeah, but how would you create a Kenko overrun? Would you have like a koala bear running on a treadmill? Or would you have like... I don't know. German Monster, very good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kenko, go around again. How would she create a Kenko going around? 
in a hamster wheel running. I don't know. Like, yeah. Um, honestly, Dan, mate, we're in a different plane today, but it's still going to be memes regardless. I'll introduce the flight. I'll sort out what we're doing anyway at some point. Uh, can I fly? Of course you can, Luke. Luke, I've done this flight especially for you. I didn't, but <laughs> um, I know that you've got the plane, so you can fly whatever you want, to, you want to. Drone, good morning. How are you? Welcome. Great to see you. Ken, great to see you. We've kind of... I don't really like the ATC emote. I might scrap the ATC emote we currently got. I don't know. Like, this one, I'm not... It's okay. You know, it's not great. Um... It doesn't really serve any purpose. It doesn't have any meaning to it. Uh, and the koala bear's got a massive tuft on the, on, on the belly. Um, but I don't know. We can sort that out. Uh, cannot start, stop myself. Kenko slam. Kenko not sure. We got Kenko puzzled. Which Kenko puzzled like, you know, I have no idea what's going on kind of thing. Uh, Kenko waffle. Kenko puzzled. Kenko... We don't need to come up... I don't know. Because I, I, there's no point me just asking over two emotes. Kenko missed ATC. Ken, maybe Kenko kek W. Well, like, actually, like, a, a, a recreation of this, but, like, in a koala bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. I mean, <laughs> that would be quite good. I can't lie. Kenko Kek W. <laughs> oh, I love that. Or Kenko, uh, Kenko Kappa wouldn't really work. I mean, how, how can you recreate a Kappa as a koala bear? Change HT to look more stressed, like, when you miss calls. Yeah, like, like really red and flushed. Because, we, we, Rev, were you around the time when we had Kenko Tomato? I might still have these in my... Is it pictures? No. Uh, document streaming. There's some interesting emotes in here. Uh, is it? Is it? I think it's graphics emotes. Yeah, there, there's some interesting, interesting inventions in here. Uh, I mean, yep. Uh, Kenko grapes. Anyone remember that one? These, these are the old. These are the old love emotes. Oh my god. Kenko brace. Kenko butter. Kenko chrono. Kenko cringe. Never happened. Fail. Never happened. Float. That was the old float emote. GG was the old one. The high ones never changed. Love, love, love. Kenko party. Kenko pilot. It's kind of a bit meh. <sighs> no idea. I'm glad that one doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Yeah, a Kenko tomato. Here we go. This one. Do you remember this one? Were you around with that? That's like a Kenko rage, but Kenko tomato. Um, Kenko Court, no, because it won't get used, Rev. It won't get used. Okay, we'll come up with two more, and then we'll get on with the flying. Kenko Tired. I'm not really that tired. Kenko Sing. Oh, my God, we need, like, a sing. What? Yes. Like, blurting out, like, cat, like, a screeching sound or something. Kenko Overrun. Yeah, you said new ATC. Ones. Like I say, we can go out. We can, like, I, I, let's just, you know, I don't have to do all of these. Um, seven, eight. Because it's better better coming up with the community getting them as well. Oh, yeah, Kyle, by the way, uh, not Kyle, Sophie, um, she messaged me and she said, uh, so she said, I'm flattered that you keep coming back after all these years. So uh, that's all thanks to you guys, really. But yeah, she's flattered. Um, Kenko Air Busan, no. Kenko Dance for Animated. Oh my god, yes. The thing is, the animation has to be done by somebody else, Rev, because she only, she only creates them with a drawing pad. Um, so the animations is done by somebody else, but I know someone who does the animations, so that's fine. Um, Kenko AFK, Kenko Gone Two Minutes, Kenko Overrun, Koala covering eyes with over, above, and run below. Like, Overrun. I suppose I, I do always kind of shy myself away. Yeah, but then that would be very... The only thing is, Dan, that would be very similar to this. I feel like that would be very similar to that. Kenko No Problem. <laughs> Uh, that's like, yeah, Kenko, no problem, Kenko, thank, Kenko, I don't know, it, it, it's a thing we could do, Kenko can't land, very fair point, Kenko and Hannah, so we, we done like a Kenko, we, someone, someone wanted two koala bears, like, kissing each other, but I don't know if that would ever get used, or if every time we bring Hannah, everyone just spams, like, that emote or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm still waking up, by the way, sorry about the morning voice, Kenko can't fly, Kenko YOLO, I don't really, I don't really send, we've already got to send it, that's kind of a YOLO, isn't it? Full send, send it, I don't know. Um, Dark Sniper, right, very good morning, welcome in. Uh, Lloyd as well, great to see you, welcome, welcome, welcome. Can go spine breaker, oh. Like a heavy landing one. Can go fire, yeah. David, pilot kid, good morning, hello, can go, wake up. So we got Waffle, I like the idea of Waffle, do you want, right, with the Waffle one, would you rather a koala bear just holding up a Waffle? Or do you want a koala bear eating the waffle? Because that's two different things. And I feel like the Kenko eating the waffle can have two meanings. Like Kenko snacks. Like, you know, I'm eating food, eating lunch, whatever. 
It, do you, you'd rather the koala bear eating. Okay, so you're happy with the description. But would you rather the cheek... Do koala bears have cheeks? Koala bears have cheeks. I don't really want to know what's going to show up, actually. Eh, they kind of do. I think you never know with Google search. Um, golden Kenko for special... Okay. See, the golden ones will have to be tier 3 only. I feel like I need to get more tier 3. Uh, Rev, it's been done before on our Planet Zoo streams, mate. <laughs> it's it's worried me forever. Kenko, Rev, maybe an email with a koala, having another koala somehow representing Rev to show him Rev tells Ian how to fly the plane. Like like a Kenko tutor emote where you guys are teaching me how to do something. Like, like what about a koala bear with like a, one of those, um, uh, like a uni hat. Like a koala bear with one of these on him. As if like, I don't know, like Kenko study or something. Where like... I literally learned something new or something. I don't know. That's not a bad idea. That works, doesn't it? Yeah, like a red one of these on the koala bear or something. I like that. That's good. Uh, Kenko, hold hands when you need to. When we need to hold your hand. <laughs> That's similar to tutor, but okay. Yeah. Kenko, yeah. I'll come up with two more. Come up with two more, surely. Uh, what kind of... No, no, no. See, that's the thing, Lloyd. Google would never know which kind of cheeks I'm looking for. Uh, on the train now for Sierra Papa Lima back to EG... Hey, nice. Keep on, mate. Enjoy. Enjoy. Sierra Papa Lima, director. Sierra Papa Lima. Um, Kenko Noob. Kenko, Kenko Help. I'm always shouting for help, to be fair. Kenko SOS. Yeah. Something like that. Kenko Lesson when you learn a lesson. That's, again, very similar to Tutor. Okay, so you guys, these are kind of emotes that would be used, right? Like, you, you know, you aren't just coming up with these ideas for the sake of it. I mean, obviously, there is, like, you know, Kenko Gift is like an old one. We can probably scrap that. We can get rid of some of these emotes, but we can definitely uh, create new ones. I still want to keep the F1 car. That's just nostalgic. Uh, morning, Ollie. Great to see you. Charlie, great to see you. Welcome. Kenko skill issue. We've got a skill issue, but we can change it. Uh, the skill issue, I'm not a fan of the emote. I can't lie. That needs changing. I don't really like the skill, skill issue emote. Um... Yeah, we can do we can do EGNX is Newcastle. Uh, is it Newcastle? That's EGNT. Where's EGNX? Um, morning Llama, great to see you. Kenko Slam. Again, how would that be great? It doesn't have to be a koala bear, by the way. But she obviously does focus on koala bears. Uh, oh, it's East Midlands. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, we need to do something out there. I do like East Midlands because of Donington. Um, Kenko made a koala pilot holding the yoke and looking stressed as fuck. Yes. That work, that's a very flight sim related emote, actually. Kenko Mayday. As if, like, Miracle on the Hudson, but, like, the koala bear's holding one of those Boeing yokes and just looking, like, really stressed, eyes wide open, sort of almost shaking, like, with this shaking effect around him where he's, like, really nervous. I like that. Kenko Giveaway, yeah. What stand you on? Uh, let, let, you know, that, that's not a bad shout, to be fair, guys. That's not a bad run, actually. Because I, I can... Obviously, we're not getting all of them, but we can most certainly... Uh, I can filter some of those out and come up with the best, sort of, the best few. Um, Mayday would be very similar to help. Yeah, that's true. Mayday slash help. Uh, no problem, again, it's not a great one, but we can always change that. We can always change it. That's just a draft email anyway. Like I say, we'll probably... Uh, I'll keep that as a draft email, but I'll close my emails down. Um... If you do a 7TV, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but not everyone has 7TV, though. You know what I mean? Welcome back, emote. When people can't spam when you master warnings. Come on. Like, war, wait, a w, war, not a WB. Welcome back? No. 8 emote. That's already on the list. That's already on the list. Yeah, let's fly. Exactly. Um, Sorry, I just want to start the stream with that because uh, I was kind of like... I, I was kind of like, I, we need to get ideas. I want to send them off ideally by this weekend to Sophie um, because it will take her a good sort of two, three weeks to come up with the original designs, colour them in, send them over the final ones, um, and then obviously we can request further changes and stuff like that. So there you go. Um, that's why Sophie is amazing. Um, we're at stand 30, if anyone wants to know. Uh, stand 3-0. We're down at stand 3-0. Um, but yeah, good morning, everybody. Let's start again. Um, we are down. We are doing a lovely Aero Mexico Connect um, in a bright E175. We got the FT Sim sound pack as well, which has recently been updated a few weeks ago. Um, and I was watching V1 simulations or someone on YouTube literally streamed this yesterday. Um, it sounded incredible. Um, so we're going to be flying out of Mexico City, which is where we are now, down to a place that I'm led to believe is is called uh, Oaxaca or something. O Oaxaca? Oaxaca? I don't really know. It's basically a little bit further south of Mexico City. It's about an hour on the way down, hour on the way back. Um, o o Oaxaca? I don't really know. Um, some of these approaches are very, very exciting. And the I know that there's one approach back into Mexico City that sounds 
uh, that looks just as good as the approach down where we're going. So it's going to be very, very fun. And we're flying this very, very, very sexy looking aircraft, um, which looks amazing as well. So I can't wait. Shady, good morning. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, Taylor, I spotted that as well. Part of the scenery, they've got a, uh, a Mexico 2021 uh like billboard in the background i thought that was really kind of a neat little addition um but yeah i don't really touch mexico city actually i think the actual formula one grand prix is right beside the airport is it not i'm very sure the actual like grand prix track is literally like within a few minutes um from the actual airport so we we might see the f1 track on departure um, but again i don't know i know that it's very near the airport i know it's very near the airport right let's get chat Hang on a sec. Let's put you back here. And then we're good. Nice. Scenery looks insane. Yeah, it is incredible. Mexico is really, really nice. Sorry, not doing real time as well. Annie, great to see you. Uh, welcome in. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Sam, did not work yesterday on V. What? Did it not? I've installed. I mean, it should work for me because I updated the layout.json file or whatever it was. I don't know. Whatever, whatever sounds they had, it sounded fine. Uh, Crazy Nugget, good morning. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I probably have, Massa. I probably, I think I have spelled it wrong, actually, because... O-A-X-A-C-A. -A -A. Oh, yeah, I, I haven't put that in my title. I've definitely done so. Yeah, I, I, instead of an X, I put a C. That was the one. That was the one. Uh, not today, Crazy Nugget. Sorry. It will happen, but not today. I, I like I say, Rev came up with this idea yesterday, and I was like, that's actually a brilliant idea. Um, so we're in Mexico City today. Somewhere where we're not normally at. We do not We do so much Europe, and it just gets boring after a while. Easy jet, Ryanair, easy jet, Ryanair, bit of Tui, bit of, you know, I, I kind of, it's quite nice to be in a different part of the world every now and then. Um, and obviously we've done loads of BAE flying. To be fair, the last few days have been absolutely, like, really good fun. Um, Tom Contin, Paro. Hopefully today we can put in a bit more realism or you know a bit more maturity uh because the last few days have been kind of me me but you know in a good way in a good way that's because we haven't removed the uh, engine covers yet uh benny we will get rid of them tomorrow we'll be tapping how, how oh yeah yeah i, I could say planning i uh, is it's a 50 50 whatever goes cowboy in texas yeah probably i just typed in mexico emotes and uh that's what came up uh, I don't pay for maturity, Bogan. Brilliant. Well, your sub's gone. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, these covers can be removed. So this is the Flight Sim Studios in Brea. This is... Uh, I mean, it, this plane never got off to a great start with us and the media and the community because they removed it from us when we previewed it. Um, but then we re-got it again. Um, and since then, it's been a quite a nice aircraft to fly. We haven't flown it in quite a few weeks. Probably months, maybe. Um... But yeah, it's going to be really exciting. We're using runway 05 left because I think 05 right's closed. Um, so we're departing on that runway, heading in that direction. Um, on Elevate, if we go and turn off dark mode, I want to see where the F1 Grand Prix is. So it's it's here. So we're departing. Okay, so we won't be flying over the... To be fair, we could always, if we wanted to, on departure, do a 180 fly the downwind and then fly over the f1 track i don't know how good it or if it's been modeled in the scenery but that's a shout that's a shout um domi great to see you mate welcome how are you doing welcome 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 we done a we done some what was it hide and seek geoguess or i don't even know what we done. No, did we i don't know we, i think we maybe we are going to but um, because you weren't in the chat, we're like, nah, not going to happen. There's the F1 track. Okay, there it is. That's the, that is the F1 track, isn't it? Mexico? Yeah, that is definitely an F1 track of some kind. Uh, it's very difficult to follow. That's the very long main... Yeah, this is Mexico. That's the very long main straight. And then turn one, turn two, turn three, all the way down. Yeah, that is Mexico. Okay. And then this very fast flowing like area section here. Uh, no worries, Dom. It's all good, mate. Hopefully you've had a brilliant last two weeks, mate. Bro's been touching grass. I don't blame you. Yeah, there's the actual main grid. It's not very well modelled, but it's uh, it, it's it's noticeable. It's noticeable. Um, do yeah, we'll absolutely do a circuit over it for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, Ollie says a three hundred vibes. Oh, you're not even showing the livery. Disgraceful. What livery are you in? What livery are you in? Um, Seven Corpo says it's the best on the market. Well, there you go. Hopefully, uh, you'll get more FPS than me if it's the best on the market. Oh, no, you mean, like, the, sev the best seven-core processor on the market, maybe. Not the best overall. It might be, but I don't know. Seven cores isn't a lot, is it? 
Doesn't, doesn't seem a lot. Oh, the jetway, the jetway is disconnected. Operate jetway. Is that going to reconnect and that disconnected? Hopefully that will connect in a second. I don't have much faith in this. There we go. There we go. Morning, Jalone. Good to see you, mate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, Crazy Nugget does like to waffle in chat. I'm not going to lie. Kenko waffles in chat. Oh, wait. <laughs> Too early. Um, Right. We will jump on board. I will show you, like I say, that's the flight plan anyway. Out of Mexico City down to this place. And we'll do the return as well. Um, I'm hoping we can turn up the sun of the sim. And then we'll get everything turned on. Now, please forgive me because I haven't flown this plane in a little bit. Um, I'm pretty familiar with it, but obviously we have been flying the BAE-146 quite a bit, um, recently, so if anything doesn't go quite right, I mean, that's basically my streams in a nutshell anyway, uh, please forgive me. Um, right, beacons, I, I, APU, as you can see, the, the actual overhead's a lot more simple, there's not as many buttons, um, but it, it does, it does the job. Um, happy now, much happier, Ollie. There you go. See now, now I can tell what aircraft you're flying. Um, are these the new engine variants as well? Have you got the new uh, what do you call it? Hopefully they're the new ones. I forgot what they're called. Pratt and Whitney. That's the one. Um, yeah, I, I, he fought. He fought. He fought. He fought. Um, Awesome, right. I believe we're on the latest air rack as well. I, d I can't really confirm or deny. Rastik reminded me about him, him updating his air rack. Um, but I don't really know, obviously, if I did. We are officially late. But it's fine, because the we're not running real time. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, there you go. There's a waffle emote. There you go. That's more like it. Uh, Llama, it's not too bad. Uh, it's much better than it was. But there's still no VNAV. It's not, like, perfect. So, I mean, I can't really answer 100% on your behalf. But it... Oh, my God. That's so bright. If you really want an Embraer to fly, do not get the vertical one. Get this one. <laughs> I feel sorry for anyone who buys the vertical Embraer. That thing is shocking. Um, there is technically something to Okay. Um, right. We should be good. Okay. APU is... Not APU. GPU is on. Batteries and switches are on. Um, fast and see by signs, no smoking, and I'm the emergency exit lights. Now, how will I know if this FC, FC, FSS, uh, sorry, FT sim sound pack is working? Will it just kind of work, or, hmm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Root, uh, data link flight plan request. Now, that's not going to work, because I think we've got to go menu. There's definitely a system I've got to do here, hang on. It does take me a second to re-familiarize myself. I think maybe we put in the flight ID, which is Costera SLI2418. Sierra Lima India Costera2418. Chuck that in. Oh, 2418. There we go. And then data flight plan request. No, maybe not. Uh... Oh, let's put in my destination. Maybe that's what it needs. M M O X. Destination. No. We'll get that. Do 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 do. Ah, it's working. I don't know what I did differently. Um. Rev, I installed it because V One Simulations got it. And he literally streamed it yesterday, and he's got like 80k subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I like the sounds. Different opinions. Um, doing back on Tokyo. Nice, Anthony. Nice. Uh, put, descent and put destination and flight ID, then send the request. Oh, okay. It, right, so I did it cracked. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Bangkok to Tokyo. So valid. Although that airline looks very boring, but valid. Zip Air. Reminds me of Cypress Air. It's very weird blue. Um, it was his first flight on airliner with this jet. Roger. Okay. Destination, not descent. Destination. Dest. Descent. Destination. Hopefully you've got your notepad ready, Dan. Uh, right. Runway. Definitely departing on runway 05 left because 05 right is closed. Um, and the departure is going to be totally different to what we've got planned. So Tevos 2 Bravo. Uh, which will be the Tevos 2 Alpha, because it's changed on the runway, and we'll apply that in. 
And hopefully in a second. I don't know if the roots kind of... Ah, there we go. Is that put in all of the waypoints or... No, we've missed an airway after TVOS. So we've got an airway after TVOS. So is that menu root? Mm, so it never actually... Oh, hang on. Am I meant to flight report send or something on that? Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm really thirsty. Uh, this is the Flight Sim Studios Tech Mighty. Yeah, don't worry. It's the Flight Sim Studios one. It's the, the much better one. The much better one. Or oh, do we still have engine covers on? We do. Uh-oh. That's not good if we want to start boarding. Hmm. Right. We'll do real time. Six minutes, nine seconds. Nutrient, good morning. You should have an email from Innybills Nutrient. Um, Matt came back to me early hours of this morning saying, everybody who won a giveaway has been given their giveaway. So I think you should have Heathrow in your account now. If you go and check, it should be there. It should be there. Um... Right, ground. Let's open up the U, U, and U. And then hopefully we can get boarding started. There we go. Is there an interior to this plane? There is. Not as cool as the BAE 146 interior, though. But very nice. There you go. Uh, Woody as well. Great to see you. Good morning. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm writing notes. Brilliant. Not, not Hopefully not notes on how to fly this plane, though. <laughs> I'm sure that hopefully the notes on something else. But we'll see. This plane looks so good, though, doesn't it? Aero, Aero Mexico Connect. I've never seen anything like it, but it looks awesome. It does look awesome. Um, we could have done Valaris. We could have done whatever LM are you in. Not Valaris. There was someone else, Avro. Uh, someone asked to be in something else. I don't know. I don't think it was... Uh, I don't know what the LM was. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, I loved it. No, genuinely, Tent My T, like, it's a fantastic plane. It's very difficult to fly, but it is fantastic. Um, like, loads of people literally bought it because of me, so, you know, it was so much fun. I loved it. I will definitely be back in it, like, you know, I'm not just gonna get rid of it and stop flying it. Like, it's fantastic. It is fantastic. Uh, oh, is that what I've got to do? Hang on, Luke, you know this plane better than I do, and you literally got it, like, two days ago. Um, nice flying Brit, mate. Sounds vibey. Uh, if you go to flight plan data link on the route page. Oh. Now, see, I did that earlier and it didn't come up with this stuff. There's obviously an order to it. Apply active, your route will be imported. Roger, thank you. We probably have to put back in our departure, though, but that's not the end of the world. You can't, what, the BA146 set my team? Right, if you want a tutorial, the best advice is look at my departure out of Dublin. Yesterday's VOD, my departure out of Dublin, I pretty much ran through everything in the correct order. It was one of the best setups I've done of the BA146. Uh... Yeah, D Dublin departure set up. Have a look at that. Right, it's already put in my SID, which is good. Uh, zero 05 left with the Tevo 2 Alpha apply. I'm hoping if we go on to arrival, we should... I mean, the, the charts, the, like I say, the arrival, there's lots of different weird approaches you can do into this runway. I don't know which one Rev specifically wanted me to do. But he said this place has a lot of fun things to do. Uh, if I go on to airports, I've got... I'm literally crying this morning. Uh, is it... I presume it's that one? Or is there a different VOR? VOR Yankee 01. We don't have a Yankee. Oh, do we do? We do. I'm literally staring at it. Okay, and that'll be coming in over from the west, I can imagine. And then coming in down. Uh, cuteness overload bolts... What, 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 who's cute? Um, GP is that, oh, yeah, let's go, Alfie. What did you get again? 40-something. Surely it was a 40-something. Um, what was it? I don't know. I can't remember, Alfie. 40, 60, that was the one. I knew it was something like that. Because you told me yesterday, but, yeah. Valid, mate, enjoy. Can you track it? Is it one of those deliveries you can track and you're, like, stop number 10 of, and he's on number 1 or something? Or is it just a random, like, t I hate the ones that give you a time period, because it's never, it's always, like, late in the day. Like, if you want something in the morning, it will arrive between 7 and 10 p.m. It's so annoying. It's from Amazon. Oh, okay, so you can track it when it's within, like, 10 to 15 stops away, then. Or something like that. Uh, did you create new views for PW? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you re-download them, Tech Mighty, uh, the A300, I, I would imagine you're on about. Uh... Camera views, and then, yeah, A300, F and R. If you download it, inside this, I've put in the PWs, because I'm a very, very nice streamer. There you go. 
So yeah, you can just chuck all those across. They'll work across all engine variants as well. Open exit two. Or is it for the? Is it for the? What's it? What's exit two? That is exit two. No. Waiting for your action. Open exit two. I don't understand. Unless it's opening these ones. Um, true demon, mate. What do you mean? That's really rude. <laughs> I try and be as nice as I possibly can be. Um, uh, they suck bad driver and apparently they got... Oh, no, Gareth. Hopefully that's just a user experience and Alfie's not going to have that pain with them because he's probably spent a lot of money on his. No, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that it should be all right, hopefully. Um, I, I'm glad you were joking. I, I was hurt. I was so hurt. Um, this is the first you've Exactly. I, I've never heard of that either, to be fair, but we'll see. Uh, we are on the latest build, by the way. The latest build was the 28th of March, 2024. Uh, I don't know which version, but yeah, that is us. Costera as well. It's a little reminder of, uh, what Sierra Lima India is. Costera. Costera. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, if I miss any messages, I'm sorry. Shark, great to see you, mate. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, wait, hang on. If you just make sure to tune the VOR, because I don't know if these Embraers do it auto yet. Okay, no worries. We'll make sure. So, arrival will be VOR Yankee Runway 01. Um, and that will be VOR Yankee 01 with a... Do we have an Oaks? OAX? No. We'll just chuck that in then. Apply. And if we quickly go on plan mode, we should be able to go on route. Is it route? We had a flight plan. That might be the one and then scroll through it. The next page. No. Oh, maybe it might be. It's down here. Yeah, there you go. This plane is very... Oh, oh my God. What an arrival. Jesus, that's wrong. Surely that's not right. Surely you would want, you want to come in over here. Hello, Cohen. Good morning. Welcome. This one is good. It's not too bad, mate. Um, obviously, keep watching the stream and sort of find out. I, I mean, I've flown this a few times on stream before. It looks very... Oh, we probably should close those doors. It is very good. It is very good. Close exit one now, apparently. Have we boarded everybody? We'll close exit one. Uh, Cohen, hopefully well, mate. Only, a, what, five days, four days left now? Something like that. Uh, morning, Nick, as well. Great to see everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's loads of you people here. Hey. Uh, Monkey Gamer. This is the Flight, Flight Sim Studios, Monkey. The Flight Sim Studios in Bray E170 uh, with the Aeromexo Connect livery. And I think it looks very, very nice. It looks very nice. Um, Scandinavian Captain as well. Hello, welcome in. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be flying this down out of Mexico City very soon. We'll try and uh, vector ourselves over the F1 circuit as well. Um, but, I mean, the scenery around looks absolutely incredible. Um, and then we're flying back to Mexico City once we land down into MMOX. Um, quite short flights, not not too not too long, not too long. Uh, Otsut, I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to take your word for it. We'll get the APU started actually. So if we're going to the overhead APU on, and then hold start. There we go. Only three days. I'm saying two to make it shorter, as I'm going on Saturday night. Right. So it's two and a half technically, Cohen. Is two and a half. Uh, arrival and then star. Is it star? Approach. Oh, runway zero one. VO Yankee. With the Otsa. Because I don't... Because that... Oh, that, that's better. That's so much better. Although, why are we going... Bump, why are we going direct to... Tab me Otsa, it should be. Tab me... So, yeah, I'm going to remove GAX or OAX because I don't think we should be flying over the airport to then fly out here. I think we should go direct to Tambi to Otsa and then in. Unless there's a way you do that. Because if I just delete that, it hasn't updated. Huh. Oh, it's appeared there again. Oh, it's deleting the one before it. Oh. Why is that doing it? Why is it deleting the... So I chose to delete Otsa. Oaks. And it deletes the one above it. I 
I'm really confused. I think we have to resend our data link. Apply active again. We'll put it back in. We'll put it back in. I don't get that. Maltese, good morning. How are you? Happy, uh, happy Thursday. Welcome in. Um, guys, by the way, we've been talking about emotes earlier. If anyone's got any ideas for emotes, uh, Sophie is back. Um, so if anyone wants to sort of have any ideas, uh, any kind of emotes that you think will be great on the channel, um, get your ideas in Discord or send them in Twitch chat and I'll, I'll sort of get them written down. Um, but I, this weekend I'm either sending Sophie five or ten emotes, um, because we've unlocked so many slots with the sub, with the sub numbers. Um, Kenko Waffle is a good one. We, we got loads of them. There's loads of ideas you guys have already cooked up. Um, there's Kenko Waffle, Kenko Puzzled, Kenko Kek W, Kenko Sing, Kenko ATC, Kenko Dance, Kenko Tutor slash Lesson, Kenko Help, Kenko Mayday. It's loads of ones, um, but I just need to filter them and find one which ones, like, will be good. Um, who's Sophie? She's the emote designer. Um, she's another girl in my life. <laughs> I'm joking. No, so Sophie is a legend. Um, she's been doing my emotes for, like, the last three, four years now, um, and she's, she's, she says she was, like, overwhelmed how we keep coming back to her as well for them, um, but, like, g genuinely, it's, uh, she, she makes the best koala bears, so, why would I not? Um, right, we got the arrival, and now you said runway zero one with the VOR Yankee with the Otsut transition apply. It's still using OAX. Do you know what? It's fine. We'll just take a direct when we get closer. I, I can't for the life of me fathom why that's not working, but it's fine. Um, APU is 100% and running, so we can turn off the GPU uh, and make sure... Oh, sugar. I just disconnected the APU, Jen. Oh, it's fine. Our flight plan's still in. Oh. We're okay. <laughs> I, I forgot, it's one of those cockpits where, when it's off, the button's on. So, like, what you want, you want, like, a cold cockpit. So, when the button's dark, it means it's on. But when you press the button and it shows a light, it means it's turned off. It's like a backwards, yeah, Geronimo. Uh, Sophie is a goat. Galoton, cheers to the follow it. Welcome in, hopefully you're well. Can we have a Kenko uh, Coke, no, no, like, a bear coffee jar? Well, like a... a <laughs> Well, how, so a coffee jar that's filled with loads of little plushy koala bears. I'm I, I'm not catching it. Uh, Noah, good morning. Hopefully you're well. Welcome. Uh, yours, has my sub gone away? It might have been a month, Noah. I don't really know, mate. Time flies by when you're having fun. Uh, right, route. Auto play is going on. We got arrival. We got departure. Uh, okay, that's fine. We've done everything we need to. AP is running. Uh, initial climb clearance out of Mexico. Now... We have a Tevos 2 Alpha, um, but for some reason, Navigraph has decided not... Ah, Navigraph, that's why. Let's remove the runway. Select runway 05 left. I oh, will remove that as well. 05 left, and then that will be the Tevos 2 Alpha, um, which hopefully we can get some sort of chart for. <laughs> I, I love this new Navigraph update, but it's really difficult to get my head around. Sid. Oh, okay, they're all in one chart. Roger. Um, do you know what? I'm going to be different. I'm going to do something different here. Because I want to fly over the F1 track. Hi, Andy. How are you? Uh, I'm going to do the old Airbus 2 Alpha. And then when we reach MX-852, we'll take a left turn direct to TVOS. Because it literally is going to be flying right back over the F1 circuit. There's no ATC on. We can do what we like. I want to do the Aliba. Aliba 2 Alpha. I'm changing it. Uh, no, it's resubbing. Hey, let's go, mate. Come on. Uh, arrival. No, departure. It's fine because... There you go. We, we can take a direct to the next waypoint. It's all good. Um, Noah with the three months tier one. Did it not give you an option to write what, write something in the box? Or do you just choose not to? Noah, you're a legend, mate. Thank you so much. Honestly, you've always been in chat nearly every single time I've gone live um, for literally the last few weeks, mate. Thank you so much. Seriously, I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and MSG's coming in with the prime as well. Tada, great to see you. Welcome in. Andy just woke up. Should have started at like 8.30. You're going to get... 
Does it matter? Are you too high up in your company for, to care? Um, they, thank you. Noah, MSG, both of you. Uh, thank you very much. Both three months as well. One with Prime, one that's a tier one. Um, guys, get some love in the chat if you can uh, for both of them. Thank you so much, seriously. It just, yeah, insane. Appreciate that. Here's the next three months. We'll have half a year celebrations soon. Whoops, Planzo. Hi, we'll have Planzo. Um, the Kenko Kenko emote relating to the coffee. Yeah, but then 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 copyright starts coming into play, Hoverboard, and we don't want that. I don't want to get on bad time. I don't really want to get on bad terms of uh, Kenko. Uh, they don't even know about me, and I want to keep it that way. Um, <laughs> to be fair, uh, they don't really care. I don't, I don't think they would care, but we'll see. Um, right, Navlight on. Beacon light we don't need on just yet. The rest of it is fine. Thank you again for those subs, guys. I really appreciate that. Right, we will, uh, we'll call push and start. We'll get rid of the jetway, first and foremost, because we have boarded the aircraft. And we'll request push and start. And obviously that will take a minute to come on, because we need to disconnect the GPU, chocks, and safety pins as well. That's really loud. Uh, check my account and sub two days ago, but whatever, worth every penny. Wait, what? Wait, is it cost you again, Noah? Mate, follow up with Twitch. You shouldn't have to be paying twice for a sub. If you if you paid like four pound, three pound, like a few days ago, and you've had to do it again, you bought it again. Yeah, that's something weird with Twitch. And unless, because surely you pay for the for the next thirty days, you wouldn't have to have a sub for thirty days, then pay for it. That seems really weird. I wouldn't say high end, high up Andy, but I can get away with doing shit like that. Well, as long as it doesn't happen every day, Andy, it's fine, mate. I j that's how it should work anyway. If it only happens once every, you know, two weeks, then it's fine, right? <laughs> um, I'll, no, I appreciate you, mate. Thank you. I don't know what was going on with Twitch then. It's really bizarre. It's really bizarre. Uh, today sounds like a day where I need to go to the shops, etc. Uh, no, every day, but mo mo most days. Roger, okay. A few more times than once a week, then. Well, go to the shops. Do, do some do some life stuff, Andy. Then you'll be ahead of it for the weekend, meaning you don't need to spend your free time doing something that uh, you don't really want to be doing. So, there you go. Uh, morning, Mrs. Clan. How are you? Hello. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. What up, uh, Roly as well? A vision lover, Ro Oh, Ola, Ollie, not Roly. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. <laughs> uh, Bubble's here as well. Good morning, Bubble. Good, thanks. You. I'm very well. Yes, I'm very well. Um, it's just all go this morning, really. Like, I woke up at 8 o'clock, got flight planning, got loads of stuff done, had breakfast. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's going smoothly. It's going smoothly. Your dad flies in bright E190s for KLM. What a lovely plane. Nice to see you flying this beauty. Absolutely. It's a shame it's not KLM though, right? <laughs> It'd be even better if we were flying a KLM. Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, KLM's valid though. Out of like Amsterdam, I presume. Skipo he's based at. Um, that's awesome. Oh, there's, there's someone. Oh my god, the model matching's working to perfection. Wow. That's sick. I didn't realize my model matching would do that. Fair play. Fair play. Uh, is it updating any good? Uh, we're about to find out, really. We I, don't, I don't really know. Uh, I mean, this plane's... It's always improving. It's sort of taking its time, but the plane is genuinely improving over time. Oh, it's Luke. There you go. Ski pole. Fair play. Where's... Do you know, is he flying today? Is he flying today? Is Brussels any good? Yes. It's very nice, Andy. Um, we flew into Brussels the other day uh, in a DHL A300. The gates opened for us. Like, it's really cool. It's sim wings, whatever. Um, we went to the maintenance hangar in our A300, and the gates literally went, like, fully opened for us to taxi through. Fully animated. Fully, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Uh, right, we need to tune into Unicom, because I, I'm on mute on that one. Uh, one, two, two, decimal, eight, zero, zero. And then hopefully that's over to Unicom as well. And Mexico City traffic, uh, Costera 2416, 2416, uh, pushing back stand free zero. Um, why are you in the 175? Because they have 175s? I Wikipedia'd it. Mexico Connect. Dude, I'm pretty sure, unless it says 195. No, look, they had, they had, they have, they've got... They they ha used to have three one seven fives. Rev, I couldn't find a livery for a one ninety. Twenty four one twenty four eighteen. There you go. I don't care. They have e one nineties now. I was going for historic. Yeah, what's wrong with that? They only got three of them for any. It doesn't matter. They still flow them. Rev, I couldn't. I couldn't fly. I couldn't find. Like we always fly the. Yeah, but Rev though, we always fly the long ones. 
it's quite nice to fly something shorter like me. And it's cuter as well. Like, it's, it's, it's like squashed. This livery is it's official livery. It's not default. Oh, you mean as in it's default on the 190s? Oh. I didn't look into that, to be fair. It's fine. Uh, I like the short one. <laughs> Whatever. Right, parking brake off. Uh, and we'll stop the music and hear these FT Sim sound back that Rev is hating on. But it's fine. Um, there's a default for the 190. I'm literally... Oh, you're currently using it, Luke. Roger, okay. Well, we can always fly the longer one back if you really want. Um, right, cool. We are on our pushback. The APU is very much on. It's very loud as well. Uh, oh, there's Rastic behind us. Rastic, you can do a straight pushback if you wanted to. You should be able to do a straight pushback. Um, we'll go on to, uh, start, or we hold start end for number two. That should start up engine number two. Uh, I don't know if there's an APU bleed or anything. There shouldn't be. That should just pretty much just start the engine. Um, this, yeah, Flight Sim Studios one is worth a buy. Uh, I mean, I've had it for a, a good year or year and a half, two years now. Um, it's always improved. It's always got better. Um, it, it's, it's, it's much better than the, uh, the other one on the market, so. I, I mean, there's no reason not to. I mean, if your dad flies them, um, then I would absolutely get it. <laughs> so, you know, then you can learn how to fly it as well, and he can teach you. How much is it? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to sell this plane to you, though. <laughs> but, yeah, you can buy it if you want to buy it. Um, right, we'll go start switch engine number one in just a second. We're a bit ahead of the game, actually, with that. Um, there you go, 32 quid. You have to get it on Contrail, though, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you have to get it on Contrail. Uh, right, we'll go start switch engine number one. There we go. Oh, that's a horrible wing view. Who made that wing view? Ugh. That's being changed. Bing bong, bing bong. Right, and then we'll go control four. Oh, there's cabin announcements in the back. Um, right, that should be parking brake on now. We've pushed back. Get rid of those things and we'll set flaps. I haven't done performance, actually. Uh, performance in it page. Is it performance in it page? Or is it, I forget how, I forget how, yeah, initial climb. God, we got so much going on. Uh, initial climb is uh, 18,500 transition. Probably the highest transition altitude in the bloody world. Uh, we'll set that to 17, oh, uh, what is it, 5,000 feet. Oh, can we not change it? Is that working? It's not letting me change the altitude. Okay, we'll stay with 5,000. Um, just flight is the cheapest to get this plane. Oh, is it just flight? Okay. Buy it wherever you want. Ah, that's really loud. I know planes are loud, but that's ear piercingly loud. How are the textures? Uh, oh, <laughs> make the engine switched on, bro. <laughs> oh, he's had a bad morning, bless him. Oh, no. There we go. I need to get a GSX plane model for that. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, morning, Max. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. That chap is chop suey. Absolutely, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the E-170 flies from Air Canada offshoot now. C oh, is really? What, a CF... Uh, he's put, oh, is it moved? What, the one I'm flying? They've changed registrations and everything. Um, yeah, the, the, the MSFS is a gorgeous sim, visually outside the cockpit and inside. It's very, very nice. Can I please... Change. Uh, we're going to be taxiing for almost zero five Okay. Uh, how do I go about changing? Ah, uh, so we haven't calculated these over zero five left. Dry conditions. Okay, that's flaps two. That's for flaps two. So if we go flaps two, I want to change it so the sounds. Because look how quiet the sounds are inside. Like that's really loud. That's really quiet. Maybe that's just the FT Sim sound pack. Maybe that's why I shouldn't have got it. We can fly the 190 on the way back. It's fine. We can we can fly the 190 on the way back. Uh, right, fast zipper signs are on. Sterile cockpit we can turn on. Uh, we'll turn on the red beacon, logo lights on, and tax light nose on as well. Uh, she's quiet inside. Yeah, it's just not great for streaming because I love sound inside the plane. Um, in real life, they're quiet inside. Oh, okay, fair enough. It's just, you know, it's just the sound of my voice the entire stream. But that's not the end of the world. Uh, right. Make sure that is definitely started. Now, how do I, is it just chrono? Do I, how do I start? There you go. Okay, we'll start that as the block timer. Oh, that says auto, though. 
I'm not sure. We'll, we'll start that anyway. It's not the end of the world. Um, we just saw that someone in your channel gave me a sub. Hey, uh, can you say who? Imagine Dragons. Uh, does it not say on your... I don't know if you're using phone or not. On PC, you can click on the little... Uh, a little mailbox and it shows you who's gifted the sub mate we've had so many gifted the last month i have no idea uh who it, who it will be who it will be pull up pull down pull left pull right speed brakes someone said my speed brakes are extended they were there we go i think it's because they're yesterday so the only reason they're extended is because you remember how yesterday's stream ended that's why they're extended still um, right, okay, now, I don't, you, we can't touch any of this, I don't think, until, uh, until we're in the air. I was going to sort of get a nav and all that ready, but it doesn't seem that we can do that yet, which is fine. Um, Simon, cheers for the follow, mate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, no worries, Imagine Dragons, mate. Honestly, I will send over your thanks to who, whoever it is. Um, I mean, we've had, like, 50 uh, sub bombs and stuff, so I haven't really seen everyone's names, but... Uh, yeah, no worries, we'll get a move on. Uh, <laughs> it's Costera 2418. Uh, we're going to be taxiing uh, two Rami 05 left uh, in front of company. That's fine. I think Luke's just waiting for us to move, so we'll uh, we'll get a move on. We'll turn this sim up. As if it's too loud outside. That is a bit too loud outside, isn't it? Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, well. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll use our tiller, hopefully. Can we use our tiller? There we go. We'll get it turned up as well. Uh, Scott, good morning. Welcome in, guys. I'll just make sure that to turn down the sound before I go outside. That's all I'll have to do. Just turn it down on the outside. And then when we're back inside, I'll turn it up. There you go. That, that works for me. That works for me. Scott, great, great to see you. Wait, welcome. Trim. Uh, I don't know how you set the trim. Auto break RTO as well. Um, I'm not sure actually how you set the trim. I'll be totally honest. Send, oh, there you go. Send to MCDU. Okay, so what V rotate is 136. Trim, we've got a trim 3.6. We've got a trim setting. A1, mate, great to see you, buddy. Welcome in. Trim 3.6. Ah, here we go. So we're trimming 4 at the minute. So if we do 3.6, I can't trim. do that. Oh. 3.6. There we go. Pitch trim is set. Perfect. And then V rotate is 136. Now, is that done through. It's already on manual, but we can't... I'm a little bit confused why the this screen's not changing. I try and change my altitude, and I try and change my speed, but it's all sort of set in place. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, Netminder, how are you doing, mate? Welcome in. Great to see you. Uh, your graphics are gorgeous. Are you using something to improve it? Uh, it's just my graphics card, really. Um, I have a 4090, um, and a lot of the settings on Microsoft Flight Sim are the highest they possibly can be. Most of this is just default Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, I use Rex Accu Seasons, which changes like tree textures, but other than that, it's all default. It's all default. Uh, no NVIDIA filters. No, I've never tried them. I, maybe I should add a few ones. I know there's one that's to remove, like, what is going on with that? That's weird. <laughs> um, I don't know. I know there's one to remove, like, the yellow tin, but other than that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There you go. There's Rastik. We got Luke and Rastik joining us today. And we'll uh, taxi all the way down to the end. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how I can change that speed. It doesn't seem to be... Flight directors are definitely enabled. It's just not letting me manually set the speed. Oh, well. It's fine. Um, yeah, I've done the performance. I, I click send to MCDU. It's just that none of this numbers are correct. Uh, any fun? No, no, no. Like I say, we're mature today. We've had our fun in the BA-146. We will be flying the plane once again at some point. Uh, probably when the update's out to you lot. There's no point in me carrying on streaming it when it's, you know, you guys can't benefit from it. Um, so when the update's out, I'll be back in it, basically. Set the speed to manual now. Uh, it's in, yeah, but when I click on, it's already set to manual, no? Like, to me, that's already on manual. And it doesn't let me turn it. It doesn't let me do anything with it. It's just forced on 180, which is really weird. Uh, not tonight, Rev, because the darts are on. <laughs> Sorry. But maybe tomorrow night. Uh, I feel like Ian and Mature don't belong in the same sentence. Absolutely, they do. Like, off stream, like, you know, I, I'm genuinely like a normal human being. I'm not... I am normal now, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Bloody darts. Thursday nights, Rev. It's always Thursday nights for the next, like, ten weeks. Uh, how do, does the sunset look? Fire. That looks on fire. That looks very nice. 
Isn't there a solar eclipse happening in uh, America tonight? Like a massive solar eclipse. I'm pretty sure there is. It's 11 p.m. 11 a.m. already. We're already an hour into our stream. That's crazy. Hang on. Now we're good. Uh, I'm watching the darts now. Absolutely, you do, 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 do. Uh, and the apprentice, yeah, but I watch that on catch up, Jack, because the darts take ownership over the apprentice. I can't watch the apprentice when they spawn in four black cars beside a whiz air at Luton. Can't be done. I'm joking. Um, try and change the speed on the screen. Oh. No, it doesn't work. It's not working. Uh, you're acting on stream. Yeah, it's all an act, 100%. It's all script. <laughs> I forgot to turn down the sound of the sun. We're not doing full length. We'll, we'll, we'll take it here. And um, Mexico City traffic. I cost zero twenty four sixteen. We're going to be lining up Romeo zero five left via uh, via Bravo one. Change it from manual to FMS is just below the speed knob, and then you need to use the arrows like that to physically click to move the speed up. Yeah, but how do I change it though? I can't control the little thing below the speed knob. It doesn't let me change it. There's no click spot for it. Ah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We, we know we know what our V speeds are anyway. So, hey, levels, mate. Yeah, it's really good. It is really good. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a uh, cuboid block. Click that, that, and it'll swap it to the. I'm clicking that. I'm literally spam clicking. Good morning, Yawn. Welcome in. Great to see you. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, what? Well, angle, it's easier. I, I have no idea. Uh, hydraulic pump. Have we forgot to turn on something? Oh, sugar, we have. Elect pump A, we had, we didn't have on. It's the only thing we forgot. Was it? Would it be that? No. You can turn your APU off as well, there you are. Hmm. Um, next cut into traffic, the armor company the parts in, we're gonna be lined up. If you click that, it's inoperative. I just don't get why the speed thing is completely broken. Maybe they broke it in the update. But that should change, right? Uh, right, anyway, we're departing. Mexico City traffic. Uh, Costero 24, 16, 18. We're going to be putting 0, 5 left. I don't know what our call sign is. Let's go. Let's send it. Let's just get out of here. Oh, it does sound quite nice. It's buggy, yeah, just a bit. It's not implemented. Well, how do I set my V-speeds, though? I swear I've set my V-speeds in this plane before. Thrust set. That's quite a cool sound. 40. There we go. Is it an 80 knot call out? Hello, Majmo. 80 knots. Oh, she said it for me. Oh, the V speeds are set, to be fair. So, like, lawn mowers. They don't sound too bad. Sounds like my Ford V1. Fiesta. V1. She's a bit early with that. V1 and rotate. Tail striker. Nice. We're doing a different departure to everybody else as well. Positive rate, you're up. Rev, I haven't heard the other ones to compare to them, so I don't have an opinion. The E190 on the way back won't have these sounds, so we'll have the nice sounds on the way back. It's fine. Right, turn down a little bit. Camry on and Mexico City traffic. Uh, Costero 2418, we're everyone passing 8,600. Nice. Flight directors are telling me to go to the ground, which is interesting. Uh, again, it's glitched. I think it's bugged. We can't change your altitude, guys. Altitude select is not working. Autopilot is not working. None of these buttons are working. Does that mean I've got to fly this manually the entire way? <sighs> nice update. <laughs> oh, please, no. That's why none of it's working. I bet it's because it's uh, 
Uh, I'm, I'm, guys, we're gonna have to. I feel like we're gonna have to land back and change the one nine zero. Oh my god, Matt, I don't blame you. Yeah, but the weights in the MCD shouldn't affect me not using the auto throttle and the, the altitude select and everything. We're gonna have to circle back. I don't know. I feel bad because people are joining me. I'm not man. I'm not hand flying this for an hour. Flight directors are switched on. Yeah, you, the second you, the, the, this button works. See. It's just, I can't change the speed. I can't change the altitude. The plane is definitely activated. Like, you know, it's all here. Select nav. Yeah, VNAV obviously doesn't work. In terms of nav, yeah, look. It just decides that it doesn't want to use any of the buttons. And you can't say that I've forgotten anything in the setup. We're going to have to land again. We're going to have to level out 13,000 and land and switch to the E195. We'll try and do a quick setup on the 19... Oh, you can always spawn in on the runway. Your damper doesn't work either. Yeah. Uh, Mexico City traffic. Unfortunately, Costa Zero 2418. We're going to have to uh, circle back to land. Uh, runway 05 left. Uh, we've got a few issues with our aircraft, but we'll switch to 195. You guys will be ahead of us, but that is what it is. Right, we'll get the Spaniel speeds down, because also throttle's not going to work either. Uh, I don't know if it is. I like I say, I don't. I don't know if it's something I've done wrong, but chances are not. But we'll see. <laughs> I literally fresh installed this this morning as well, um, which is a shame. But never mind. Uh, I don't actually know. I don't even have the one nine. We're gonna have to restart our sim regardless because I don't think I've got the one nine five enabled. Um, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. Landing predictions in chat. Yeah, it's a bit of a disappointment, but never mind. Um, I mean, yeah. Maybe hold back from buying it right now. Although Luke probably hasn't had any of these issues though. So maybe it is just a skill issue. But I don't know. Um, come on ham flight. No, Rastik. There is no way I'm ham flying this all the way. It's a, like a 50 minute flight, bro. Like, not happening. Not happening. Right, we'll just send down to 10,000 feet I'm now. Uh, we'll get auto brake set 14, as well. Airborne now or just pass through 10,000 right. I feel bad, but... Yeah, there's no, there's no other, thing, nothing else I can do. Uh, fuel dump, uh, I don't know how to. It probably doesn't work. <laughs> so we'll just land. Uh, where's Mexico? Where's the F1 track, real quick? I think that's. We won't be flying over the F1 track. That's fine. This isn't the. We're just doing basically a circuit. I'm not going to do any kind of proper procedure to land back in. Uh, we'll just continue on the downwind, and then we'll turn base, and then final in a second. You can't dump an Embraer anyway, apparently. There you go. Can't dump an Embraer. Uh, right, we'll keep flaps where they are currently. Uh, all we've got to do, really, is just make sure that speed's coming right the way back down again. Uh, we'll drop the gear on base, and then we'll turn final. Ah, it's the best thing we can do. I mean, it's a bit of a shame, but, you know, all part of the fun. I mean, if a plane's broken in real life, what do you do? You land, so... The ND's not frozen, nah. That's not frozen. Look, we change heading. It's all it's all working. I think, yeah. It's just none of the auto none of the MCP panel is working, basically. And I did have a worry about that when I was literally setting up the plane. I couldn't put my initial climb in. It wouldn't change the initial climb, so it's fine. Uh I love how he is annoyed that he's having to do an emergency land and we are just betting on how his landing will be. I know you guys are looking forward to this. You're like, oh, spicy, we're only an hour in and we're already getting a landing. It's, I mean, I could just do F4 the sim now, but I know you guys don't want that, so... It's, uh... Costera, 14, 81. Just now, passing through, flat number 150. Uh, inbound, head off. Nice. Oh. We'll go flaps down one more notch. It doesn't have VNAV yet. Nope. <laughs> Still doesn't. Alright. We'll loop it back round. Typical. I know. Apparently they're trying to get it out by summer, but we'll see. Uh, switch to the Phoenix. We can do a vote. We can. We can, When we close our sim later, once we landed, we'll do a vote on what you guys want to fly, and we'll just change to that aircraft. Um, why do you? Well, I mean, I've had good experience with the Embraer recently, and Luke Luke's been loving it. Still is. Maybe the one seven zeros are just not great. I don't know. And Mexico City traffic. Uh, Costera 2418. We're going to be turning final very shortly for runway 05 left. I know that there's somebody trying to take off out of here as well. Wait, so. what? 
Wait, what? Why is he saying? Mexico City, Polaris 442, airborne, passing 2000. Okay. It looks good and sounds good, exactly. At least you like the sounds, unlike Rev. Um, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Right, we'll level out here. We'll get the gear down. Why are you landing back? The plate, I can't use autopilot, Luke. None of the, none of the, uh, nav, lav, we can't change altitude, we can't change speed, it's all just balked. What, what, in real life or in the sim, mini ding? Press nav, it doesn't work. It's all bugged, none of this works. Literally none of it. <laughs> it's definitely not working. Uh, right, flaps full, uh, all gear is down, medium auto brake. We'll crack our trim as well make sure the speed's coming down. I didn't do predictions. There's no no time for predictions. In real life, it's... Oh, nice, Midi Ding. What airline? What airlines in South Africa have in Breyers? It does work, just the lights don't show, which is normal. The lights not showing is normal. Sorry. Airlink, valid. Maybe we'll switch to Airlink South Africa. <laughs> I mean, Luke, it, it is de I, I've flown this plane 20 times before. The lights definitely do come on. They don't show in real life. But why are they there, then? What? Yeah, but I should be able to change my speed, though. I don't know. I don't get it. It doesn't even let me enable my yaw damper, so it's definitely bugged. I mean, that enables your damper, but, like, I'm not I'm not flying a plane that doesn't do that. What's your tracker? Uh, Toby. Toby Eye Tracker 5. And let's go city traffic. Costera 2418. Short final. Rummy 05 left. 400. 400. There you go. Thank you, Massa. Appreciate that. Speed's good. Altitude's good. Gear's down. Flaps full. 300. Already landing. Yeah. Back to Mexico City, though. I think we'll switch out the Embraers, maybe. Get it on the line. Idle. Oh. Could have fed it earlier, but that's fine. We're down. Reverse thrust, which does exist on this aircraft. i got to check that one now. And uh, speed brakes. Nice. Welcome back down to Mexico City, everybody. Just where we expected to be. Auto break. Yeah, we'll get that off as well. I've returned. It wasn't the best landing in the world, but it's great. It's fine. It's good enough. Um, spine break. Yeah, Kenko Spine Breaker is back. There you go. That was a quick flight. Did you enjoy that one, guys? I had a lot of fun. And uh, we're just going to roll the credits very soon as well. What was the landing rate? Uh, the landing rate was 275 feet per minute. There you go. I wasn't paying too much attention on the landing. I'll be totally honest with you. Um... Is there any point us even going back to stand? There isn't really, is there? I mean, we're on VATSIM, so we may as well, but... Great flight. That's definitely a flight. Yeah, I know. Shame. Big shame. I'm, I'm almost tempted not to fly the Embraers now. But I feel bad, because I want to do, like, a full day of flying Embraer. What other airline can we use? Just still F4, right? Yeah, I might. Uh, you missed predictions. They were never open. Valaris, what? Phoenix? Uh, yeah. I'm almost tempted not to fly the Embraer now. Valaris, Phoenix, Aeromex, Chris, Embraer. We'll, we'll get a few. I will do. What we'll do, what we'll do, what we'll do. We'll get a poll and you guys can vote for what we fly. So we've got Phoenix, Valaris. We've got uh, Inni, A320, Valaris. We've got... Uh, I'm not giving up. I just, I don't think the Embraer is the best option if it's not working. I mean, that's, you know, Aero Mexico 738. Bum, 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 bum. There'll probably be an auto F4 and reopen uh, bubble. If it's been like five minutes, just reopen it. That's the only options. Calm. Okay. I don't really want to put Embraer 195 in there. I mean, I will. Because we have it downloaded, but I don't know if I trust the Embraers. Right, there you go. One to four in the chat, guys. Uh, I think I'd better go and get some cabin packs if we're doing the Phoenix 
Why do I have six? Oh my god. Right. Don't I be believing here. What's winning currently? Oh, it's. Oh my god, it's such a split. Oh my god. That's that's crazy. We got quite a few votes when Aero Mexico 738 just sending it. Remove one option at a time. Well, the Embraer's currently not got the least option, so it won't be the Embraer. Anyway, guys, stop voting number four. So it's either Phoenix, Inni, or Aero Mexico. Aero Mexico's got double the amount. The 737's got over. Oh, yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's surely the 737 then. It's got 25 votes on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, because look, look at this though, Rev. Yeah, no, it's by Flight Sim Studios. Twenty six votes. There. We'll have to. I'm just doing seven three seven. I'm not gonna do a revote. But there's loads of people that want to see a seven three seven. So, and we haven't got in the seven three seven in ages either. So, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Uh, livery. We can do this. Unless there's a special one. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's an add-on. Okay, we'll just download it. Uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. 26 votes to the S737. 10 of you wanted the 195. See, it's just such a split. I couldn't please every. I can't please everybody, but we'll go with the majority. We'll go with the majority. Um, right, start download. I will just enable the Phoenix. We won't have Hannah... Because Hannah's not set up properly for the 737, because I need to set up on my voice and stuff, and I'm not doing that either. Um, right, airports are done. Aircraft, we disable the Embraers uh, completely, just get rid of all of it. And we enable the 7378, but disable Hannah. That's something I forgot to do when we flew the long haul. Uh, that's, with the, that's with the sound pack, and that's with the really nice cabin textures, uh, cockpit textures as well. So that's a good one. And then once that's downloaded, we can chuck that over, and we should be good as well. I'm also re-downloading uh, Rebirth, Call of Duty, lol. Uh, no, I'm not streaming that, but that's why Battle.net's there. Um, right, that's got 10 seconds left. Once that's in, we'll go community, we'll drag it in, we'll load up the sim. We'll redo all the sim brief, we'll change the overlay... And then we'll go again. Sorry, by the way, Luke and Rastique, I do sincerely apologise for this. But this doesn't happen very often, so I do apologise. Oh, it's through the... I forgot how it's done. It's done through this, isn't it? Hi, Hassan! Right, go to updates. Oh, there's an update for the plane as well. We may as well get that on. I don't think I'll forgive you. Ah, oh, gutted. Gutted. Right. That's the update of the plane, and then if we go on to livery, utilities, install from PTP file, desktop, double click, and then we should have an Aero Mexico. We might have already had an Aero Mexico, actually. Oh, no, we hadn't. It's a dirty livery, though, apparently. Oh, well. <laughs> it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, and open the sim. There we go. Right, while the sim's opening, because that will take a while, I'll go and change things like the overlay and stuff. Uh, just bear with me, guys. There's lots. When you change an aircraft, it's not as easy as just changing an aircraft on stream. There's like 20 different things that you've got to do. Uh, right, PMDG 738. Save that. Reload that. And then what we want to do is unload all of this stuff here. Alvatex. How did the flight... Oh, look at that. What a flight, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> Right, I need to update the Twitch title as well. Um, I'll just put Aero Mexico. The title doesn't look as good, but it's fine. Uh, there you go. I, I won't. I won't hate on the Embraer. Um, uh, I do it manually, Joey. I don't have Python. I never touch Python. I don't understand Python. I just. I just don't. Don't bother. Uh, right, new flight from. MMMX to MMOX. Uh, airline is SLI twenty four eighteen. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's AMX. We'll go with twenty four eighteen again. Uh, actually, no, we won't because it looked really confusing. Over twenty four seventeen. It's a Boeing seven three seven eight hundred. That one. There we go. Uh, oh, livery won't work. I can send you a link to the liver if you want it, Crazy Nugget. I'm not that good with that. <laughs> it commands that quickly. Uh, economy config, 737-800. Departure time is now going to probably be... 
Yeah, that's fine. 1050 is fine, and we'll generate flight on that one as well. There you go. Uh, I had a Python test yesterday in school and don't understand anything now. It's just, it's jargon to me, Dion. Like, it is genuinely, it just means absolutely nothing. I mean, Python code is like, yeah. Some people understand it, some people don't, but, yeah. Nope. It's all these, like, connections, like, in, if, but, return. Like, you need to know, like, integers and goodness knows and booleans and no thanks. Um... Error Mexico 2417. We'll edit that there. And it's just Error Mexico is the actual course. I'm 45 minute flight down. And then the sim's opening. And that is everything hopefully done. Um, it's the easiest to understand Python. Well, it's like, so for first time coders, you they learn Python, do they? You don't want snakes on your plane. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Did you hear about the bossy man at the bar? He ordered everyone around. Haha. <laughs> yeah. That would have been an expensive round, wouldn't it? That would have been an expensive round. Gotta rewire this brain. Right. Do 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 do. Today's actually flying by. Twenty past eleven. I feel like we've done nothing. Guys, we've been live an hour and a half. We've literally done nothing. I do apologise. Like, I am genuinely sorry, but... I feel like it's not really my fault for once. Import flight. Oh, we need to file it on... Uh, we need to file it on VATSIM as well. Oh, we already have. That's fine. Yes, it is your fault. You should have tested in the morning. Mate, if I had to test in the morning, I have to get up at like half six in the morning. That's not going to happen, buddy. There you go. Uh, requesting a 30th of my tier three back. A 30th. Sub tier one, one month till the one year. Welcome him, Connor. You are my fifth sub of the day. I think it's fifth. Yeah, fifth sub of the day. Um, you're a legend, mate. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're well. Um, great to see you, Connor. All the ones, all the ones. Um, guys, while the sim's opening, get some love in that chat. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you. Surely you mean ninety minutes worth, an hour and a half. The same thing as an hour. Same thing as nine. What? Um, oh Dan, we uh. We ended up uh, doing one of these over... So basically the plane autopilot just didn't work. I mean, it did work apparently, but it didn't at the same time. So we've done a little... Uh, we've done a little circuit. And now we're changing to a 737. Um, Marcus in 45 months. Holy moly. Connor, great to see you. Thank you for your resub. Welcome into the stream. Marcus in 45 um, that's massive, mate. That is not the biggest sub of the day, though. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> uh, we had a 49-month sub earlier. Uh, Marcus, mate, honestly, it's almost been four years you've been in this channel, which is nuts. Um, and we're still breaking sims and breaking aircraft. But nothing changes around here, Marcus. Thank you for the 45, mate. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, good morning as well. Good morning. Um, it was an excellent circle to land. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, 270 feet per minute or something crazy. Polo, good morning. Hello. It's like four years. 48 months is four years. 12, 24, 36, 48. There you go. Look at that. Look at Hassan getting all the love in the chat. Thank you, Hassan. Uh, do you know what approach we're doing? Well, we are planning on doing uh, the Via Arna Victor, wasn't it? No, VOR, VOR Yankee. That was the one. VOR Yankee from the Never Reach Shredded Wheat West. From the West. Um... This airport is very cool. We got scenery for it and everything, but at the moment it's a bit of a stagnant situation. Help me to, and I'm not in deep. May you follow me. Now you realize me. Oh, uh, 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 oh, oh, why'd you pick around? Right, world map. Let's change to Boeing. 737-800. Aero Mexico dirty. We'll spawn back in. We'll do the whole setup again. We'll spawn at the exact same stand we were at, and we'll do that again. Uh, yeah, Hassan got gifted a tier 3 yesterday by Mr. Reverentan. 
absolute goat he is. Do you know what? This might be a bet. Guys, if you want to join me, <laughs> you're more than welcome to spawn in at Mexico. Um, <laughs> group flight V2. No, I'm joking. It's way too way too last minute latest. I'm going to have a uh, an OT. Come on, with him. Oh, you're halfway there. Where are you? <laughs> Sorry. Always eating, yeah. <laughs> Come on. We updated this plane, didn't we? That's why it's taking ages. There we go. Right, ready to fly. I pressed that a bit quick. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nice, right, guys. Let's just uh, let's just start the stream again, shall we? <laughs> oh god. Right, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, can we go on to right? I'm starting Coatl. Hopefully that will get GSX working. Uh, I soap bubble. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Right, there you go. Did a little intermission there for like the last half an hour. We're down in Mexico City. Uh, the weather is gorgeous. We will get GSX hopefully boarding. Did I request Jetway? I think I just requested Jetway. Maybe. Hassan, hi again. Operate Jetway is no longer available. Is that because we need to reposition the aircraft? Yes. Nice. Right, let's jump on board. Lovely, lovely plan. I don't know why it says dirty, though. Ah, that might be why. There's a bit of dirt all over it. It's not too bad. November 650 Alpha Mike. There you go. Nice. You requested to push and start. I Did I? Oh. That wasn't, that wasn't, yeah. Okay. Right, battery lights. Uh, ground power can connect. Emergency exit lights. Pro peats, window heats. Your damper. This is going to be quite a quick setup. Um... We'll get panel brightness turned on as well, make it look very nice. Off on the logo light. We'll turn off the music as well. Um, and we'll get the plane to spring to life. There we go. Uh, I, yeah, I yawn. I don't know if that's some sort of tax purpose. It's like Ryanair's are all Irish, but I'm not sure. No, we don't need brightness. We need that one on. There we go. Um, not all of them. Oh, some are X8. Okay, but the one I've specifically downloaded. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, right, nav left, nav right. Uh, reference airport, we're down at... Uh, Mike, 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 X-ray. Mike, 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 X-ray. Um, we're at stand number 30. I don't know if 30 works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work just yet. Um, we'll wait for the screens to come on. Uh, IRS position set, routing, and we will flight plan request from Simbrief. And set payload, set fuel, select route. And we'll request boarding as well. Nice. That will just come through in a second. The screen should boot up. Nice. My driving license. Hey, IFB, let's go. That means you've now got a green one or is it a pink one? Where's my Where's my wallet? You'll have, You'll get a pink one now. The green ones are provisional. You You You're all uh, You're all smart and sort of you, you, You've leveled up in life, Alfie. When you get a When you get a red driving license. Um. Right. Okay. GPU is definitely connected. APU we can turn on now. Um, and fuel, just confirmed, 6.1 tons of fuel. Um, yeah, 6.1s we've expected. Flight level uh, 2, gosh. Ras, Deke, and Luke, are you both on odd or flight level? Odd or even flight levels? I don't know, it's giving me three, three different ones. Pinkish, pinkish, bluish, there you go. Uh, odd, okay, so we'll do 270 today then. We'll do 270, we need to connect to Vatsum as well. Uh, 270. There we go. Alnav, Vnav, runway heading. 4-0-0-5 left is 0 5 Not a million miles away from that. Alnav, Vnav won't work yet. 
Uh, flight directors, flight directors, and we'll do our V speeds as well on the performance tool. Okay. I got 310. I'm now, I'm on odd. You're always odd, Jack. Uh, load and hopefully that will put in the flight plan. And that's everything good. Good and good. Turn on the hydraulic pump, so they'll turn on when the engine start. And uh, anti collision, we don't need on just yet. Wow, rude crying. Is Amsterdam hard in FPS? It's not too bad. You will notice an effect, but it's not too bad at all. Uh, zero 05 left, uh, import of flight plan, import from aircraft, uh, takeoff flaps. Uh, oh god. Normally, is it. What, what is it in a 7 3? 5 or 10? I want to say 5, or should we just do optimal? 5 normally, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why I had a mind blank there. Packs will be on for departure, import weather. There you go. Thank you. Calculate. And then we've got all of those V speeds there, which we'll manually put in. Activate the flight plan. Execute. Performance in it page. Uh, we've already set the fuel and set all the web payload and everything. Reserve fuel. Uh, we'll do... Do, do, do. I actually can't wait for the 777, bro. I actually cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, we're only like... Five and a half weeks away from it. Although it might be it might be sooner. Um, I hope it's sooner for the cross the pond's sake. Uh, 45 minutes. What was I looking for? I was looking for that. Reserve fuel. That was it. Uh, 2.1 plus 1.1. 3.2. 3.2. Oh, 3 dot dot 2. 3 dot 2 uh, in the reserve cost index. No idea for Aramex. Okay, we'll go for 8. And cruising flight level 270. Although it says that we can't go up there. But it kind of works anyway. Uh, hey, Jensen, well, no worries, mate. You I mean you're off on your holidays, so, mate, lie in as much as you like. I'm not going to judge you. Uh, C I, I actually will judge you. Uh, V1 speed, uh, we'll go back to performance here as well. We have one more day before it'll be too late for cross the pond. Really? Because it's a two-week notice, isn't it? It's a two-week notice. Oh, of course Jack says different. Uh, I said I'll wake up at eight. Jensen, you're three and a half hours late, mate. Hopefully you didn't have to wait, wake up for anything specific. 141, 143. 141, 143. And then 146. 141, 143, 146. Uh, and then trim 4.65. Uh, we'll just do it by eye. 4.6. There we go. That's good. Uh, do we need to be on Unicom? Uh, I've just missed half the message. I don't know where... Rev just replied to a message. I, I do apologise. Yes, yeah, so we do need to be on Unicom if you are flying without ATC. Yeah. If that was the question, I'm not sure. Um, Bravo, I'm sure you can find it on Discord... Uh, on Google, mate. I woke up until half four playing Jackbox. Oh, valid, though. To be fair, Jensen, those are the nights that, like, actually are really fun. Like, genuinely so much fun. We ended up playing Golf It last night, which was uh, also very good fun. There's some really good maps, like hole-in-one maps and stuff you can do. And go, or go for your friends, go for it, same thing. Um, Alnav, Vnav, um, which Alnav's not working. Probably because we haven't... Ah, oh, I know why. Oh, we're going to have to put back in our takeoff speeds. We're being silly. We forgot to put in all of this. Um, we're just going to do what we're, what we're scheduled to do. We won't bother with the Mexico City F1 track. We've already seen it anyway. Uh, Tevos 2 Alpha. <coughs> two, uh, yeah, Tevos 2 Alpha, runway 05 left. And then the arrival into MMOX is runway 01. Uh, which would be VOR Yankee 01. And that will be with the uh, OTSUT transition. Perfect. There we go. Um, the t <laughs> Won quite a few wins. Hey, let's go, Jensen. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a few games um, that we play and I would never stream. Um, yeah. Scriblio for one. Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, again, it's just not not a game you would ever stream. Uh, Master Sebway, cheers for the follow. Welcome in. DJ plays as well with the follow, guys. Welcome in. Welcome. Full force today. Full force today. Uh, right. Main panel brightness on, and we'll squawk 2000. There's no ATC down here at the moment, um, but it's going to be very nice regardless. I'm actually glad we... In some which way, I'm actually glad that we swapped to a 737, because I, you know, I do get more enjoyment out of flying something that I know how to fly. Uh, 146. I did enjoy the VA yesterday, though. Uh, and the day before. Auto throttle on 146. Alnav, VNAV should work now. Oh, sorry, Alnav should work now. Um, and initial climb is not flight level 2 zero, but it's fine. Uh, set trim. Takeoff weather can come on on pushback. 
um, and we'll connect to the APU power, APU 1 and 2, uh, disconnect the GPU, and we'll get the anti-collision light on, this needs to be 270, that was very well stopped, uh, fuel pumps on, and that is all good, perfect, right, let's call push and start, is that boarding done actually? Oh, they're on the last, to be fair, they're on the last few bags, so we'll wait for them to complete as well. So it's such a good, it's such a good plane, Joey. It is a really nice plane. Uh, oh, I've just had a WhatsApp. Hang on. And we're so lonely. And it's so good. Uh, what is said? Hey. Yes. There we go. My Wi-Fi is so bad on my phone. I have to use like mobile data to get it to do anything. Like, if I load, an, load, load up WhatsApp, send a message, it just hangs on the little timer. And it doesn't... I, I don't understand. Like, I've literally worked in IT for four years, and I can't, for the life of me, fathom, fathom why my Wi-Fi on my phone doesn't work. I have to, like, close the app, reopen it about four times for it to send the message. As soon as I go in mobile data, it sends it instantly. Can go phone! Hey! We'll definitely get that one. We'll definitely get that one. Yeah, if anyone is watching as well, um, I am speaking to Sophie, who's our emote designer. She does all the koala bears and stuff. Um... If you guys have got any ideas for emotes, either let me know in Discord, let me know in Twitch chat. I'll get them noted down. Uh, we've already got 10 ideas, but again, I don't know if they're obviously... I want, I want to choose the best ideas, if that makes sense. Uh, but Kenko Phone's a good one, because I always do kind of tend to drift off and just, you know, get distracted. Although my sister did just message me, so, you know, th there is other... Th there is, you know, reasons as well. Right, continue pushback. Yeah, we did choose pushback earlier, didn't we? Um, close left entry as well. Uh, Mitz with a lover 11 month resub. We've had so many 11 month resubs today. Welcome in. Can we operate the uh, jetways? Ah, uh, I might have. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Almost a year. Kenka love, Kenka Mate, love, thank Kenka you. Love, One month to go. Love, uh, Kenka I'm Kenka hoping love, your next Kenka resub Kenka will be around Kenka cross Kenka the love, pond. Kenka love, Kenka love. Potentially. Um, Seriously, Mitz, thank you very much. Guys, we have some love in the chat for Mitz. My seventh sub of the day, Mitz, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're always in the chat. Nearly every single time I've gone live, you're in the, in the stream. So thank you so much. Release ground power. Oh, yes. You can release ground power. And then we'll call, push, and start. There you go. Uh, can we get an animated hello? Lo well, like a koala bear waving. Yeah, a Sophie doesn't do the animations. Uh, that's on somebody else's shoulders, but... Uh, I can definitely uh, sort something out for sure. All oh, the doors are still. We don't want what happened in the prime air. Uh, let's close the door. I'm glad I checked. Uh, how did I manage to do this? Remove the wheel chocks. Doors. Close door. There you go. It's because we restarted GSX. Normally the doors are operations are automatic, but because we restarted GSX, we don't need GSX. We need to do that. There we go. Um, you're often here, not always. I think. Eh. Yeah, you always. I always remember your name. You always. You always in most streams. You're on most streams. Um, first flight of the day. Well, technically second. Um, the first flight didn't go quite as planned. Um, so we switched aircraft, and I think it's a much vibier choice. It's a much vibier choice. Uh, you should do a cetacean longitude flight sometime. I'm operating Norwegian ambulance flights. Uh, there are a lot of nice flights and a really nice aircraft to fly. Yeah, I don't know. I, I Like I said, I do enjoy flying those type of aircraft, Noah, but they just don't do very well on Twitch. Like, the second that I stream, like, Citation Longitude or anything, like, private jet related or Cessna or PA-28, obviously I know it appeals to some people, but, you know, the second I fly something small with a propeller, I know it's got, it's, that's a jet, but, like, I don't know, it just, no one, no one seems to show as much interest, which is a shame, um, but yeah, it, I mean, I still would enjoy flying it, like, I'd love to do some PA-28, like, you know, VFR ops around the south of the UK, um, but, it would just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, again, I don't really know because I haven't done it in ages. Maybe, maybe people will spark an interest in it now, but I'm not sure. Right, parking brake released. Uh, Mexico City traffic. Uh, Aeromexo 2417, pushing back stand 30, uh, facing to the south. There you go. Abacool, hello, mate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, let's get these engines started. So, ground power, engine number two. Uh, make sure the APU bleed is definitely on as well and the fuel pumps are switched on. And we will uh, hopefully get some sort of positive N2. There we go. See, I, I can fly a 737 when I want to. All the other aircraft the last few days haven't... Uh, I haven't been so confident with starting the plane, but these ones are a lot easier. Uh, how do you first cycle through the camera so quick? I use camera views and I use my numpad. Uh, all my camera views are on my website. So if anyone wants any camera views, uh, go on my website. Uh, you can literally click on any of these boxes. It downloads the camera views. 
and then it's camera views one through nine. I set it up on my numpad, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, like, you know, it's, it's very similar to X-Plane. Um, and then I press C on my keyboard, and then I use an Xbox controller to change the camera. It's, it's, I've kind of finessed the cameras. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I've had, I've had these, uh, you know, I, I've used camera system FS since it came out. Um, it's a bit of a hassle to get used to, I can imagine, as, like, first-timers, but camera, view, camera views definitely do help you out. Uh, good start for engine number two, uh, we're going to start engine number one, and we need to change this to continuous. Anyone know why we need to change this to continuous? Sometimes you leave it in the middle, sometimes you don't. Anyone know why? There might be a reason. Right, we'll start engine number one. There you go. Finesse the cameras, but I, uh, but that's about it. There you go. Rev knows! Rev's the one who told me about this. Do you know why? Yes. You know. Okay, so, I'll explain. So in some 737s, where it says off, it normally says auto or automatic. Which, in which case, you would leave it in the middle. So you go to ground power, start the engine, then switch back to auto, leave it in auto, and it does all the continuous and flight stuff itself. Um, but when, because the variant we're in, I don't know if it's an older version or just a different version, it's got the off switch instead of auto. We need to change it to continuous once the engine started for takeoff and landing. Um, there you go, that's just switch, so we switch that back to continuous. There you go. The more you know. Uh, it's about the only fact of the day I can tell you, because it's the only thing that I'm somewhat intelligent in. Uh, <laughs> two blue, APU is off, uh, so we'll turn off the APU. Where's the APU switch? Uh, see, now, now, now my mind's gone black because I don't know where the APU is. That's embarrassing. Oh my god, there it is. APU off, um, and tax light's definitely turned on. We'll turn on the packs onto auto, so have auto. Isolation valve auto. APU bleed can be turned off. And that is the overhead looking very, very snazzy. Um, MCP is done. Auto brake RTO. Flaps are set to five. Speed brake does not need to be on for departure. And we are mode Charlie. Traffic, weather, weather radar. And we'll start the block timer as well. And that's just chrono on departure. Awesome. Uh, right, let's work out where we're taxiing. Uh, so we are on Charlie November. Uh, so if you use annotations. Charlie November, Bravo. And we'll go all the way to Alpha 2, I think. So our Charlie November, Bravo, Alpha 2. And uh, Mexico traffic, Aero Mexico 2417, uh, with taxiing Alpha 2 via Charlie November and Bravo. Bravo, was it Bravo? Yes, it was. Uh, Doors of Magic with 17 months of sub. Jesus, we've got everybody in the end. Everyone's resub days today. Uh, thank you so much for your 17 months. How are you, mate? Welcome in. Good to have you on board. We're just starting off flight number two of the day, which is really bizarre, uh, with it being 20 to 12. Um, but great to have you though. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Your resub. 17 months as well. It's uh, that's, uh, time is definitely flying by. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello. What well, does it actually do? What continuous? I think it just changes the art, like certain aspect of the engine. I don't know what continuous does. I think it's just to help with like if you have to go around or I, I don't really know, Rev. Uh, <laughs> it's just I know they've got to go on continuous for takeoff and landing. <laughs> No? Oh, okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, don't, don't listen to a word I say. Uh, that link is very much broken, Max. You can tell, is it continuous ignition? The igniters stay on. Oh, okay. There you go. The more you know. Oh, look, someone's joining us. How exciting. It relights the engine in case of an engine failure. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. There you go. So if we've got an engine failure, because it's like the spark plugs or like the igniters... Or the starter motor. Like if the engine shuts off, it's a lot easier to get the engine turned back on. Or it automatically turns itself back on, maybe. I don't really know. Um, continuous ignition does make sense, though. And I presume you'd want it on final as well, because obviously if the engine fails on final, you can try and get it started as well. We're taxing quite quickly. Um, why? Think engine failure. What was that advert with Think, of like a road traffic accident? Think before you like... Or maybe it was a bike. I don't know. Uh, heavy rain and such, that's also a fair point. We're going to watch you land now. Yeah, you'll, you'll be sat there for 40 more minutes now. Um, but hey-ho. I presume you've landed now. Have you, have you both landed? Oh, you're on final. Brilliant. That would be us. That would have been us, but never mind. It's fine. It removes a step for the pilots to do in a high stress. Exactly, there you go. And obviously, when you're on final, time is ticking, as it were, um, because you're only descending onto onto, onto the runway. So, oh, this is disgusting. Push back at gate 22 facing west. This is a very dirty aircraft. I love it. The, by the way, the, the approach back into Mexico City is a really good one. Um, I was speaking to a Boeing Dreamliner pilot who flies a certain airline Dreamliner in the UK, um, and he's. 
he said that taking a Dreamliner on this approach into Mexico is... I don't know which one it was. One... Well, no, it was... Uh, no, it was approach. It was approach. One of these swings right last minute. And he says it's... He had to do it in, like, thunderstorms and goodness knows what else. I don't, I don't know which one it was. You guys would know which one it was, but... what One of these, he had to, like, swing it right, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I wonder what company flies Dreamliners in the... Is it to be fair? There's, there's more than one. There is more than one. Right, next one. Next one. Uh, Streamliner. I said Dreamliner. Did I did I slur my words? I, I, I often do that. I'm sorry. Um, that's just how it normally is, drone. You always spawn in the cockpit when you load up the plane. Bravo 2, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Mexico City traffic, Air Mexico 2417. We're going to be lining up runway uh, 0 05 left via Bravo 2 for departure. Right, takeoff lights on. The flight's only 40 minutes, by the way, so it will fly by, pardon the pun. Um, Virgin BA 2E. Yeah, there's three of them. He might fly for one of them, he might not, I don't know. To be fair, he wouldn't really mind me telling you what airline he flies for, but. He's been in the company for like 35 years, and he's captain, so. I don't really want to... Yeah, I did say Streamliner. Sorry. Dreamliner. Dreamliner. Right. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. I do know people. I do know people. Right. Okay. Perfect. Let's get ourselves lined up. We will start the chrono. And uh, if you guys can get full sends in the chat, I will be forever grateful. And Mexico traffic. Uh, Aero Mexico 2417 departing. Rami05 left. Lovely weather down here as well, actually. It's very nice. Right, that is 50-60% stable even, and Toga thrusts up. Let's go. There we go, there you go. Yeah, that's true, Rev. That's very true. Right, second takeoff in an hour and a bit. 80 knots. Now checked. I called the 80 a bit early. A triple seven driver high. We're not in the triple seven yet. Soon, TM. Hopefully. And V1 rotates. Nice. We did set our trim, didn't we? That felt weird. Oh, gonna climb. Gear up. Nice. Look at that with the hills and. Runway zero five left, five nice. Alright, we'll carry on straight for a minute. But a passing 9,000 feet, we take a right hand turn. There you go. Quite a steep climb, actually. Nice. Nose down a little bit. Uh, or actually, no, I say passing 9,000. We'll carry on straight for a minute. And Mexico traffic air, Mexico 2417, airborne passing 9,300 feet. Yeah, slippery. We had to change aircraft, mate. We started the stream on it in the Embraers, but the autopilot just wasn't playing ball. It, it wouldn't let me change the altitude. It wouldn't let me change the speed. Uh, so the chat voted for a 737. So here we are. We're flying an Aeromexo 737 down to uh, a place that I can't say, but it's very, very nice to fly into. So I'm uh, first time I've ever been to this airport as well on stream. Uh, right, flap zero. And nose down a little bit. Try and get a bit more speed. And we'll manually take this right-hand turn. Wave goodbye to uh, goodbye to Mexico. There you go. Called Mexico, yeah, but M M O X is like Oz Oxa Oka Oka Oka. I don't know how you say it. It's a weird pronunciation. Uh, right, we're, we're actually I want to fly this. I said I want to fly this manually, so we're going to do that. Nine thousand hundred feet. Uh, we'll take off the takeoff lights, landing lights. Come on, come on, and engine ignitions off. Continuous ignition off. I never knew that, by the way. After streaming flights in for five years, I never knew that that was continuous ignition. It's quite a cool little fact to know, though. All right, we'll take a right-hand turn here. I don't know how many processor cores my CPU's got, I'll be honest. It's got logical, logical processors or something, I don't know. There we go. Hello, Kaka, mate. Great to see you. Welcome in. It also took you five years to find out what in-op means. Oh! Yep. There is a there is a clip of me going around somewhere where I got inoperative and inoperation confused. Two different words, two different meanings. 
So uh, my fuel pumps were in op, and I was like, oh, that's weird, because my engines aren't turning on. They're in operation. They should be working. Um, and it wasn't like, it literally took me like five minutes to work out that it was inoperative, meaning it wasn't switched on the fuel pumps. Um, and then as soon as I pressed the buttons, the engines turned on. I was like, oh, it can't be in operation. And then chat was like, it's inoperative, Ian. I was like, oh. I still get it confused to this day. I mean, you know, it could technically mean both, but it obviously doesn't. But, yeah. In operation, which, which kind of makes sense, like, if it, in being in operation, it's working. But, yeah. Uh, you know what US means in no tams? Uh, I don't know what US means in no tams, no. Under surveillance, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um... Good morning, uh, dearest monk, mate. How are you? Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Right, we're through 14,200 feet. Like I say, this is a very quick flight. We need to set standard pressure. 18,500 feet is transition, which is nuts. Uh, but yeah, 18,500 is, uh, is transition altitude in Mexico. Uh, I don't know. I know what no times are. They're set up for, like, you know, let's say there's a big, you know, a big concert or something like, you know, the Silverstone Formula One, for instance, you know, there'll be a NOTAM in place, to, you know, a knife fly zone or only certain aircraft are allowed within vicinity up to a certain altitude at this given time period. That's a NOTAM, isn't it? I'm pretty sure because you're, me you're meant to read all the NOTAMs before you go flying in the mornings. Uh, what's the link to delivery? I can uh, grab it for you. Literally just Google it. Aero Mexico Boeing 738 livery PMDG. Uh, I mean, this is a different one, but... Mexico traffic, Lyris 143, you're passing throughout 8,000, clear of nice. uh, runway 0 Is that guy flying with me as well? Hey, Sam is flying along, let's go. Well, there you go, you guys can watch two landings. Luke and Rastique, you can watch two landings. Uh, why do we have transition levels? Uh, so everyone above a certain level is just on the same altitude. It's easier for ATC, I'm pretty sure. I'm sounding very intelligent, but I promise you I don't know 100% of the answers to these questions, but I'm pretty sure transi transition levels are in place to make sure that all the aircraft are flying at the same altitude, give above a given altitude, so obviously, you know, crashes don't happen, I guess. It just sets a standardization for everybody. Because if everyone was on a different Q&H around different parts of the world, obviously the weather's always changing when the plane's moving. So, you know, if there's a plane at 10,000 feet and a plane at 11,000 feet, they're probably on the same altitude because they're on different Q&Hs. Whereas if they're on standard pressure, well, in America they would be on different Q&Hs. But obviously, you know, normally there's like an initial climb period anyway where you go above a certain altitude. Um, but yeah. Jeff Marshall dance, Luke. Let's go. Really? Oh, look at, look at that. Your, your sim looks gorgeous. See, now I wish I was still in the Embraers, but they're broken, so we're not. Uh, 18,000... Oh, it's getting the speed up, actually, before we get continue climb. We'll go standard now, though. Standard pressure. Perfect. And we'll turn down the sim in a minute. We'll get some tunes on. Top of climb in 20 miles. Top of descent is in about 120, give or take. Not even that. Uh, what's the V1 speed? So V1 speed is basically as soon as you call V1, you can't reject the takeoff. I'm pretty sure that's correct. I don't know. Maybe I'm waffling. I do like to waffle. Howdy, still the rooster. Still Fruster. Still, still Fruster. How are you doing, mate? Welcome. Uh, Unholy Mono as well. Welcome. What's the V2 speed? Uh, that's when you're meant to be in the air. No, it's not. V1, V rotate is when you rotate the plane. V2. Yeah, I, I don't know, Rev. <laughs> V1 is commit speed. I was cracked about that. V2 speed, I don't know. Why Why are you testing me, guys? We're going to have like a full on quiz, are we? Oh, right, we'll turn this in down. We'll get some tunes in the background. One engine out speed. Uh, Ash, good morning. Great to see you. How are you? Welcome. Safe single engine climb speed. So let's say. So when you V1 rotate, and then when V2 calls, if you kill, if you lose an engine, you're safe. Is that right? I mean, if you lose an engine on takeoff, you're not safe regardless, but... Minimum climb safety speed. V1 is a point... Yeah, v, I understand V1. Say, so, oh, okay. So you can slowly, you can, as I'm saying, you can slowly pull the nose up, but don't actually climb until you hear V2. That makes sense. That looks gorgeous, by the way. Wait, can I try... Hang on, I want to try and give you something for a screenshot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
very nice. All you have to do is... Do Look at the dirt on the window, though. <laughs> That's so valid. Is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. Look at that. The, the beauty of flight sim. Incredible. Um, V2 gives you a safe rate of climb in any case of an engine failure. Oh, in any case. Right, well, that makes sense. Okay, that, I understand. Yeah, maintain V2 until you have a safe altitude, which means that you're above 1,000 feet or something. But yeah. Yeah, the, the plane is... I accidentally downloaded a dirty livery. I didn't mean to. I was in such a hurry to download a livery after our sim, like, uh, after the plane broken earlier on stream that I just downloaded whatever livery I can find. It needs a jet wash. Our plane need, needs a massive jet wash. I've got hiccups. Dirty is hot. A up. Yeah, it is. It is. That looks very nice. Look at that. That is an all. I might just keep it this time of the day. I'm going to keep it this time of the day. Um, uh, Boggins. Cheers for the follow, mate. Welcome in. Happy Thursday. Welcome in. Because uh, it ain't a 175. Exactly. Exactly. Um, all you have to do is drink a minute. What's the BA livery of all the... Uh, build Is it builder's tape on it? BA Dreamliner. Duct tape. I don't. Is it built? It's not duct tape, but you know what I mean. What? What? There's yeah. That there's a certain British. I don't know if it is British Airways. There's a certain plane with all this over the wing. But yeah. Hello, E O'Neill. How are you? Welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. Sorry. Bum bum. A speed tape. Oh, that's what it's called. There's builders tape. There's speed tape. There's loads of different types of tape. There's gorilla tape. Speed tape. There you go. Speed tape. It, it gives you a little boost, doesn't it? Speed. Oh, we haven't got strobes on. <gasps> we forgot the strobes. They're on now. Machu Picchu in the distance. Really? Where is Machu Picchu? Oh, it's in Peru. <laughs> uh, no, there's no Machu Picchu on today's flight, Hassan. <laughs> I believed you for a second as well. I don't know where half of these natural wonders of the world live. Um, oh, you got it right. Hey, mate, I'm very well. I'm very well, Neil. I'm uh, I'm on my way. Oh, Eo Neil. Eo Neil. Yeah. I'm. Uh, we're on our way to um, a place called Okaka or something. Oaxia. Oax. Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Um, we're literally going to be landing very soon. I'm going to get predictions open now for the next half an hour because we're, chances are we're going to be on the ground in 35 minutes at most. Uh, so I'll open up those and you guys get your predictions in. Uh, Mount Etna. No idea, mate. No idea. Um, <laughs> not where they live. You know what I mean. Where, where they, they were created. Where they were built. Not where they live. But yeah. Uh, oh, it's Spanish, of course. Oh, that's very quiet. Hang on. Hang on. Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Right, it's called Oaxaca. Oaxaca. There you go. Oaxaca. Yeah, you, you're right, Mesa. You're right. Ka. Ka. Maraca. Uh, I was looking for an ATC app on an iPad, and an, an app called Live ATC gives you free Jefferson charts. Really? How outdated are they, though, Beluga? I can imagine they're not very well up to date. Ben Nevis over there, Mount Snowden. You might get the Egyptian pyramids. That looks so nice. I want to get. I want to get the uh, drone. Like, there you go. They can get. They can really get the shots. Bam. Oh, the Meta command should be working. Let me reopen. Unless there's no meta for that specific airport. Oh, it works. It works for... It works for Amsterdam. I'm not sure. Um, oh, first... Of, oh, they are new Beluga, then. They are new Jefferson Charts. Mate, you found a gold mine, then. <laughs> no idea. No idea. Uh, by the way, make sure to look at your left on approach. You'll be passing right over Mount Rushmore. See, now I'm googling Mount Rushmore, Rev, because I don't believe you. Oh, I'm I'm embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> um, I I didn't realize. I don't know where Mount Rushmore is. Okay, 
Um, it's an American mountain. Um, you can call me Eric. Oh, Eric works. I like Eric. Eric works. Um, just joined VATS and many tips on someone trying to get into flight sim. Uh, definitely get a good aircraft, whether it be a 737, whether it be the Phoenix. Um, just a short haul aircraft. Phoenix A320, I can highly recommend. There is loads of free ones as well. Uh, the Indiebuzz A20 Neo that's coming to the sim update 15 very soon. Um... And any of the Dreamliners, if you were like a long haul, just try and learn one good aircraft, and then you can fly like around your hometown. You can fly any part of the world. Um, yeah, some people, flight sim people get like people get burnt out from flight sim very quickly, but others it's just kind of just part of who you are. It's amazing. Uh, it's Mount Everest. Wow. Uh, at least we're in the correct continent. We're not even in the correct continent though. Mexico is is Mexico South America or North America? Technically, it's South America, is it not? What continent is Mexico in? Oh, shit. Right. Okay. It's in North America. I presume anything from the Caribbean below is South America. It's in the middle, isn't it? You know? It, it's it's the Americas. As you'll notice, by the way, this is how dumb I am when it comes to geography. I got a B in it in GCSE. Look. Europe. Asia. Oceania. Africa. Americas, because I don't know what the difference is between North... I mean, I understand this is South America, I understand this is North... I suppose it is part of the land of North America. But then what's the... what of all these airports? These North or South America? I don't know. So i just done the Americas. But yeah, no idea. No idea. Uh, Caribbean is North America, right? Anything, anything on that big bit of land at the bottom is South America then. Because I'll show you something now. If I go into my flight sim uh, airports, go into South America. Oh, look. Mexico pops in. <laughs> so there's a lot. My, 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 my continents of where my airport scenery aren't exactly up to scratch, are they? But, you know, never mind. Central America, yeah. So, Rev, I've enabled all my South American sceneries for today's flights. That's what I've done. That's what I've done. Uh, right, top of the scent is in 100 miles. We may as well get out all of the, uh, the minimums and stuff like that. Um, we need to look at the approaches into where we're going. Uh, VOR Yankee Rummy 01 is what we're doing. So we're coming in over from the west, 12,000 feet at Ot Sut. Um, and then we're coming in down through into Rummy 01. How was the approach, Luke slash Rustic? Did you enjoy the approach? Was it good? Uh, 5840. 5840. I don't know. Just why I love you so. Five eight forty. This is gonna take ages. Oh well. It was okay. Okay. It wasn't okay. Five eight forty. I got the scenery based on a recommendation from Ra uh, from Rev yesterday. It does look a very good scenery when I spawned in. Oh my god. Four thousand. Four thousand five hundred. Five thousand. Was it five four something? Five eight forty. Okay. Five eight. If you're wondering how I'm scrolling so quick, my mouse is a, a 502 light speed. It's very good. Very worth it. Uh, there's a free Taiwan scenery uh, in Sim Market. Uh, did you see what Bubble said and Link? No. Uh, Bubble's Link. It's just a static at Dubai, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um... If it was geography teacher, I'd slap you on the mate. Mr. Cracknell was was the name of my geography teacher, Mr. Cracknell. Um, he genuinely was a goat though. He wanted the best for me. He really, really wanted me to get an A in geography, and I got a B, and I let him down. Um, but yeah, he, he was he was such a good teacher. Honestly, one of my favourite teachers was my geography teacher. Um, can I show you the airport? Sure. Uh, Slippery. I just have a look. I just had a look at his screenshot. I didn't see what he sent though. Uh, Mr. Crack Kev was a bad teacher. Brilliant. No, Crack Null. N-E-L-L. -L. Um, yeah, he, he was good. He was good. Boom. But it'll be quite interesting to see if... Like, go, it'll be quite interesting to go back and, like, see sort of what, the, what those teachers are up to nowadays. Like, are they still teaching? Are they, you know... Because when I was younger, through primary school, I thought they, like, lived at school, you know? 
as a, as a young innocent person, you kind of just assume that oh, every time you go to school, they're just there. So they obviously just eat, sleep, and repeat at school. I'm not convinced he was a good teacher because he didn't got geography knowledge. Right, Rev, that's a bit mean. Maybe I'm just a little bit silly in the head and I didn't really listen much. I don't know. History, I didn't listen to a word. I did not like history one bit. I don't know why, but I could not stand. It was either the way he taught or just the subject. I don't know. It just, I no, no in one ear, out the other. Um, hi, Rags. How are you? Hi, Bruce. Hey, Bruce is downstairs. He might be on a walk, actually. I don't really know, but he is here. He is here. Um, they had a PE teacher called Mr. Kraken. Oh, sorry. Mr. Mister McCracken. So we called him... Fi <laughs> oh, no. He got bullied, FG. He got bullied by, by his students. Um, you sent it, Crazy Nugget. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, look, free scenery. Anyone want a free scenery on Zim Market? You may as well claim it now. I don't know if it's free forever, though, but... It's just a small, like, local Taiwan scenery. Probably will never fly in out of it, though. But it's free, so there you go. Thanks, Crazy Nugget, for sharing that. There you go. Uh, good afternoon, Alice. How are you? How was your morning? Oh, it's, it's a closed airport in real life. Brilliant. <laughs> Maybe I won't bother getting it then. Um, there you go. Hopefully well, Alice. Hello. How do you have so many sceneries? I've spent a fortune and barely have 10 good ones, Beluga, because I've spent a billion, billion dollars on them. I mean, you realise this map, like, I've been, like, I mean, this is just my MSFS map, right? Like, majority of these are payware. Some are sent by companies, some are not. And then, you know, I I've spent, I invested so much money on P3D. None of these sceneries ever get used. I own them, but none of them get used. Um, which is a real shame, because obviously, you know, each scenery is like at least £10. And um, there's loads of them. I, I wouldn't want to add up how much money I've spent on scenery. I genuinely wouldn't. It probably is five figures, but like, you know, in my opinion, it's an investment because of what I do on Twitch. Like, I, I would never look back and be like, oh, I you know, that was a regret, because it wasn't. Like, you know, I, I it gives me so many options to stream when I go live, and, you know, it, it's definitely worth it. They are expensive, but, you know, you do get good quality, and the amount of times that, the, the amount of time that developers put into the sceneries, I mean, they need some sort of reward for it, right? So, yeah, that's that's cool, actually. I don't know why there's an ambulance jet, though, but valid. Um, PMD stream confirmed. Yeah, we're actually in uh, PMD 777 tomorrow. Uh, clickbait title. <laughs> no, we're not like that. We're not like that. Uh, Google My Maps, yeah, yeah, Google My Maps is what it's called. So if you just Google Google My Maps, um, and you can create your own map, and you can put in, basically, if you just type in the iCal, the airport at the top, you can then just add all your sceneries to your map, and then you can grow your map. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. This was my, this was class yesterday. Uh, yeah, I suppose, Rev. I suppose it would get them quick. Quicker than an ambulance would. Or, yeah, but helicopters are for that, though, Rev. You don't need a jet, though. You know what I mean? I suppose jets are quicker than helicopters. Nice to buy, by the way. Love that. Um, guys, we're going to go AFK for two seconds. Just before we reach top percent head on our way down. Oh, I've just realised we need to edit the... Hang on a second. We need to delete OAX. And then move that up. We've got a quicker top percent now, I guarantee. When it works itself out. We've just skipped a waypoint. There you go. Top of descent in 40 miles. Um, I'll be back in literally two minutes then, because that's top of descent right there. Um, and then we'll head our way down. I told you it was a quick flight. Um, yeah, I'll be back in two seconds, guys. Let me turn that down a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. There you go. Jensen's ambulances are just... Exactly, exactly, Jensen. They're impractical, because they can't land anywhere. They can't land in fields. So, yeah, I, I agree. At least you're on my side, Jensen. I'll be right back in two seconds.
bet we've missed Top of the Sun. Hello. Honest. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we haven't actually. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ferrari. <sighs> Oh, is Rev trying to sort out why this had, why this jet's actually worthwhile? You still want me? I mean, they it would be quicker, of course it would be quicker. Do -do. We just don't have them over in the UK. It's a very uh, Scandinavian thing, maybe. Um. In Australia, they have planes as well. Fair enough. I don't think the UK have them. I, I, I genuinely don't. I've never seen a medical jet in the UK. The UK is way more densely populated. Also, it's easier to get to a certain... I mean, most of the major hospitals are in London. The planes are able to do operations on board to make safer... To oh, that's understandable. Yeah, you can't really do an operation on board a helicopter, can you? <laughs> Fair enough. George, mate, how are you? Welcome. Yo, just got back from my seven-hour flight on a triple seven from New York. Oh, my God, I'm jealous. I love it. That is amazing. Did the time go quickly? I've got a long haul coming up, and I've never been on a plane for more than three hours, and it's an 11-hour flight. <laughs> so I'm going to probably be very bored. Um, oh, there you go. PC-12, PC-24. They are the major planes used. Fair enough. Um, no, Tiger, mate. The only way to get in and out of the town is through plane. That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, we're flying for Petra. Shut up. How does Australia have planes in Australia? It doesn't exist. A up. A up. There's definitely someone from Australia watching. ABA is a 50 to brilliant. One of the best flights I've ever had when I went to Vegas, Taylor. Okay. I just, I just think I'll get bored. I genuinely think I'll get bored. Obviously, watch films, listen to music. It's as much as you can really do. Eat food. Um... Oh, really, George? Okay. Round of golf, some music, and trivia. It was over. Valid. Okay, that's fine. The problem is I'm tr I'm flying by myself, so, like, I'm going to have no one to talk to. But there should be Wi-Fi on board. It might be shit Wi-Fi, but there will be Wi-Fi on board. So, hopefully, um, I'm still somewhat not fully disconnected. Um, I have not packed yet, no. Uh, bring your fly... Just bring my PC with me, eh? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Um, I shouldn't have to pay. I shouldn't have to pay. Unless that's only first class, you get it for free. I don't know. I know it's £15 on board everybody. Or £15 for, like, the entire flight, but... Unless it's not included with... I don't know. Uh, you got the Wi-Fi. It was good. You could watch YouTube, but the ads are in Japanese as the servant. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant. Japanese adverts. Brilliant. I guess it just connects to whatever satellites are above the plane then, maybe. Yeah, there you go. George got the Wi-Fi for free as well. That's if the Wi-Fi works on board. I mean, I was originally 777 from Gatwick, but I uh, I didn't want the old, like, sweet things. So I uh, I changed to the A350, and I think it was the best decision I've ever made. It does mean I have to fly out of Heathrow, though, but, I mean, that's a dub as well. I can't lie. A bit more of a dub. Anything out of Gatwick's terrible. Uh, I've already got I've already got an executive club. That's how the points were transferred, Rev, to get Club World. So I've already the, the flight's already connected to an executive club. Boom, boom. Do you have a tablet? Just download shows off Netflix for the trip. Yeah, that as well. I mean, it does come with a screen anyway, so it should be alright. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I I just I I don't know. I can imagine myself getting so bored like two hours in. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, on, I'm going on holiday, so, I mean, it will be fun. It will be fun. I am, Taylor. I got an upgrade, so I didn't, I haven't paid for it, um, but somebody I know, basically, has got an illness who can't fly anymore, um, and he's got loads of points, and he's like, well, you may as well have them, Ian. It's like a family friend kind of thing. Um, and after, like, hours on the phone with BA, we managed to get it transferred to my premium economy, which has now been upgraded to Club World. Uh, and I've got a seat with two windows in it, which I cannot wait for. Like, the seat's gonna be nice, but it's just the fact it's 11 hours. But, you know, we'll see. 
Uh, are you gonna go see the cockpit? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll be a little kid just running up. No, I probably you know, and unless uh you know there's somebody on board that knows me that's part of the crew, which won't happen. Um, yeah, but obviously I, I I'm not gonna fanboy over an A50 cockpit. Although if the, if the offer arisen, of course I'd say yes. Um, just get all the, exactly. I mean, I'm gonna make the most of the free food, the free champagne, the free everything. I'll just like I say, I'll fatten up. I will fatten up. Uh, we are vlogging it, yeah. Well. Filming it slash vlogging it. I don't know. I want to make like a half an hour video um, of just FS Expo, basically. Um, so many buttons to play with. <laughs> I, I've heard the seat can turn into like a bed or something. I don't know. I, my last flight was six years ago, so I feel like I kind of deserve it. Um, no way. Imagine if Sam's doing the flight. Absolutely, I'll be allowed into the cockpit. I haven't spoke to Sam in years, Airbus for the win. Um, yeah, Vegas. It's Vegas. I would like to do some more sort of city hops around, to be fair, but I, uh, haven't got anything in the pipeline after, uh, before Vegas. I mean, literally, the week I come back from Vegas, I'm at Silverstone for the Formula One. I'm in Brands Hatch, like, three times in May. I've got, I think I'm going up to Wilton Mill in, like, July. Um, yeah, I mean, the next, like... This month's my last quiet month, which is weird. I'm very busy in May, June, and July. Um, potentially Goodwood Festival Speed or re out over the weekends as well. In terms of leaving the country, the only time I'm out of the country is Las Vegas. But I would like to go to, like, you know, just visit Amsterdam for a weekend, Dublin, you know, maybe a... I don't know. The problem is at the moment is, you know, I'm single and it's just literally me. So it's like, if I want to go anywhere, it's either someone I have to drag along with me or I just go by myself. It's just like, meh. It's just long. Uh, Kyle, going to Brands Hatch for Indy, uh, which is the touring car Indy and GT World. Um, I've managed to somehow bargain myself some, like, crazy VIP GT World ticket. Oh, I don't even know what it is, but yeah. Uh, Kenko Community Holiday. We, we can we can get a group flight going. A group flight, but in case, instead of uh, on stream, the group flight is every all of us sat down in a, in a cabin. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Um, yeah, that's the only two reasons. I would I want to do a track day as well, Kyle. But I don't know if Brands is the best place to do a track day. I'll be honest, but we'll see. I don't know. Hopefully, well though, Kyle. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, yeah Seville, mate. I, I wish the budget stretched that far. I wish it stretched that far. I uh, will auto break. I uh, will do auto break. Mm. The runway is 2.4 kilometers. Auto break 2 will be fine. We won't overrun. We shouldn't overrun. Ah, uh, goals. Biddy ba ba dee da. Yeah, you best come see us before you get too busy, Alice. I will. I will see. I mean, the last time I saw you was. Probably when I was up Buckmore. Don't know. Uh, imagine a full cabin just playing its corn for you, I know. Uh, okay, you need to release your group flight Kekko Jet for flight. I know. I do, Chief, I do. Uh, the problem is, it's just difficult. You mean in real life or in the sim? You mean in real life or in the sim? My heart goes. Buddy da da dee da. Buddy da ba dee da. My heart. Kenko phone. Um, and your birthday. Your birthday? Oh, I saw you on your birthday is what you're saying. But I say your birthday's back in January. Um, uh, in Sim. Oh, in Sim I will. The only problem is within Sim is getting Vatsim to say Kecko Jet. It's just not possible. And even when you put it on your remarks, it's just very difficult to say. Um, but yeah, I, I could do something like that. You flying cross Absolutely, yeah, we, we will, Tiger. I, I, like I say, I have the same amount of chances as everybody else in getting a slot. So there's still a chance that I won't get a slot for Cross the Pond. Um, but I remember in previous years, there's members of the community that give up their slot for streamers. So there, there used to be like content creator slots on Cross the Pond, but they don't exist anymore. Um, they've got rid of those. So it's a case of a gamble. I mean, I've registered my interest in it. I'm part of the lottery. Um, so if we get a slot, we get a slot. If we don't, we don't. The chances are we will. Um, but obviously if we don't, then we've got to find other means of trying to get in on the event. Um, I have seen that, uh, Mystic. Yeah, I, I did see that. I did see that. Um, where have your slot from to, uh, but I, I don't, we don't know, uh, the slots won't get released, I think, I think you have to, basically, that sims cross the pond will email you, um, thanks, uh, they will email you a week and a half before with, like, a slot time, with, with a time when you can go on the website and, and book a slot, 
Um, everyone gets given a different time. You're either lucky or you're not lucky. Um, you either get given a, a time that you can log into the to book a slot really early on, so there's loads of slots available, or you get a time that's really late on in the week and you literally barely have any slots left. Um, I think last year I got very lucky with an early slot time to book on and choose a good slot. Um, I just want to get a slot that leaves at like 10, 11 a.m. in the morning um, because it's what? It's eastbound, isn't it? So we're going from America to Europe. So it's quite a quick, that, that, you know, because of the jet stream, it's quite a quick flight. But yeah, I, I was, I was going to do that. Sorry, I was kind of sidetracked. Uh, I don't know what the weather is in where we're flying, actually. Um, do, 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 do you? Uh, I'm not sure. When we're landing, yeah, I just I just pressed B on my keyboard. It's fun. Uh, east was last time. Wait, we're flying west. Is it westbound? Oh, so it's against the jet stream. We're flying to America. Oh, yeah, that's also true, Luke. To be fair, I swear we. Okay, may maybe maybe we're flying out of Europe to America. Which one do you think is the better one? Eastbound or westbound? Oh, there you go. Meta, thank you. Attempt to 3015. Cheers, Rastic. 3015. There we go. I don't know whether flying to America is better or not. Eastbound's better. So we're flying the with the worst across the pond. <laughs> westbound is always in spring. Eastbound. Right, okay. Because westbound is obviously the one that we're doing in April. And that's obviously the long... Okay, so I got it wrong. It's the longer flights then. Cross the land is better. Luke, I'm going to ban you. L cross the land is better than cross the pond. Sorry? Well, now I know. What's up? What's up? I don't know. Um, you got better frames with any Heathrow instead of standard. Oh, there you go. Any builds is goated nutrient. There you go. Um, beautiful views, by the way, in Mexico. Um, who's the follow? Sorry, Mr. Toxic. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Welcome. Happy Thursday. Great to have you. Right, guys, predictions are open for the next 4 minutes, 50 seconds. Make sure you get your prediction down. Butter or slam. Lots of, someone's put 250k on us. Butter. We'll see what we can do. We won't let you down. Um, we've got a bit of an arrival, bit of a zigzaggy way in. Um, and then we'll be on final. Um, it's an... It's not an ILS. So I shouldn't have to program in any. No, there's no there's no sort of communications. It's seven thousand three hundred feet. We need to descend to. Uh, at seven thousand three hundred feet, we need to be five DME out of the runway. So if I go on to fix and type in Mike Mike Oscar X-ray, and then at five DME out of the runway, oh, forward slash five. Hang on, we should get a little. Uh, there you go. So this, right, basically where it's crossing the green and the blue, that's where we've got to be 7,300 feet at, which we should be matching. Um, I don't know if there's any other waypoints we can go. 8,200 at 8 DME, we can do that one as well. 4 slash 8. And then, uh, oops. There you go. Now we're on the chart here as well. We need to get the speed right the way back. And then 12 DME, we need to be 9,100. 4 slash 12 tune by the way but we've got to land the plane uh right manual manage speed we'll go speed to uh, actually we've got yeah we'll go speed 220 we'll sort of get it down um do do if i missed any messages guys i'm sorry uh them pringles are amazing alice i will uh i will try them when i'm next round i've never been around for cross the pond uh you have to listen up for you see the house i'm not really you get cleared over to oceanic uh when you're over at the atlantic and pretty much they will just beep beep you when they want to talk to you. You still have to listen into all the frequencies, but it's very chill. And when you're flying over the Nat tracks, you barely hear anybody speak to anybody. Um, you just sort of tune into New York Center and stuff like that. It's quite easy. It's quite easy. Awesome. Right, we're going a little bit quick actually. Let's get some speed brakes out. Do 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 do. Ah, we're gonna butter this. Where are we going? Why are we turning left? Oh, we meant to be doing that. Okay, that's fine. No, so the airport is just in between the valley over here, apparently. I don't know if we've got any visual of it. I mean, the sim is very nice. I'm not sure. It's somewhere over there. Uh, Gabriel, how are you doing? Welcome. Good to see you. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Some request, please. Thanks. Actually, we'll, it'll be the first song that we play when we're on the ground, though. Midnight City is just a GTA bop. Uh, although my tears are becoming a C is also a bop by the same brand uh, band. I will add it to the queue. Um... 
This is uh, DJK. Cheers for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Great to see you. Uh, something weird is going on uh, when I press magic bar button. It puts me on standard. Oh, really? I don't know. I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. Bam, 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 bam. Aaron, great to see you. Welcome. Try to get a slot from Oslo. Uh, we have got uh, Norway live. Hey, I would like to do a cross the pond out of Oslo, actually. I want to make it a different cross the pond, you know. I, I've done so much, like, Heathrow and stuff. So if we can do something a bit out of the blue, I mean, that would be quite traffic, nice. Uh, Black, one, four, three. Just taking a right turn, 150, to give the traffic in front plenty of time to our land. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> he's just going off on a heading, so he's, we've got plenty of time to come down. Right, we're going to stop the music. Uh, we'll get the sim turned up as well. And we will pause the alerts. Right, speed 220. We need to be above 10,000, which we still are. And obviously continuing down to 7,300 at 5 DME. Auto break is set. We can get the flaps down to 2 and 5. And we'll go for speed now 200. Uh, our VRAF speed is going to be 140 plus 5, 145. So 145 is final approach speed as well. Um, started by new map and it says 6 views. Is this public? Started a new my map. No, that's just you refreshing it, drone. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the, the my map shouldn't be public. I mean, I've made mine public, but uh, yeah, you, every time you load it up, all oh, the whoa, that's just rolled in. Do you see that? There's just a massive like haze layers just spawned in in front of us. Uh, right, we'll drop the gear once we turn left here. I mean, to be carrying down 7,500. We should get visual. Though. It's going to be quite a late last minute visual. The sim looks gorgeous around this part of the world, though. It's sort of part of the world I never normally fly into, so it's quite nice to fly into around here. Fast fog. That was it. Fast approaching fog. Right, speed 180. And we'll, uh, we'll drop the flaps a bit more as well. Flap 10. You just went around. I felt a little bit, I swear you were flying. Yeah, David, mate, you're not wrong. We were an in-break. It didn't work, so we we done a circuit. We landed back at Mexico, then we switched to a 747 and flown this down. The Embraer just the MCP panel was just not working, so we gave up. We don't. It's not very often we give up on this channel, but I just wasn't faffing with that aircraft. Right, gear is down. Flat 15, flat 25. Nice. Shame we can't see the runway yet, though. <laughs> we should be alright. There you go. Look at that. Very nice. Right, uh, 8,100 feet speed, speed 160, we'll go down to, what are we, we'll go minimum of four, 160 till 4 we'll do. So we've still got about 10 miles out, so yeah, 160 till 4 and, uh, I don't know where we are, traffic, Air Max is 2417. Uh, we're 10 miles out now of runway 01, uh, we're doing 160 till 4 and then we'll proceed to minimum approach speed. I don't know what traffic it is, but traffic's good enough for me. Uh, yes, they are out, Matt. They shouldn't be out, but they are out. <laughs> you can probably hear the sound. Uh, right, speed brake armed, uh, flat 30 and flat 40. There you go. As you can see, Matt, we've uh, we've changed aircraft. Much to... Uh, oh, the doorbell's going. Oh, really? I'm going to have to check that. Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna have to go around. Oh bollocks, I just, you have no idea. 
Freaking delivery with 10 bloody boxes. Yeah. Typical. Um, and traffic error makes it 2417. Unfortunately, you want to miss approach. Uh, we'll loop back around behind the company traffic. Ah. Uh, did not have to go around. Flat it. Three. We're not sending that. Guys, right, let me just show you something. Let's sort the plane out. I want to show you what's just been delivered. My parents are out as well. Um, right, we'll continue. We'll have to climb back to 12,000 feet. I want my point to put it down now. <laughs> That's no way I'm sending that down there. Uh, right, we'll go vectored. Um, we'll take a left. In terms of visual with terrain radar, I think we'll be all right. Um, we'll climb 12,000 feet, take a left-hand turn heading... I'm literally out of breath. Uh, we'll take a left turn to right. Oh. <laughs> fair point, Matt. Fair point. Uh, gear up. Flaps 15. Oh, flaps 10 actually. We'll take. We'll take it. We'll take a right. My, I'm completely fuzzled now because of that. Oh, now it's going to moan at me about the gear. It will sort itself out. It's just because the flaps are still coming up. Um. <laughs> Oh. oh well. Sorry about that, guys. I, I had worry that we'd, we'd have crashed, but luckily uh, the plane leveled out at a certain altitude. Right, that should fix itself, hopefully. Speed now 200. How do I shut that alarm up? Oh, there you go. Right, let me just take a picture. While the plane's stable, let me take a picture of what's just arrived. Hang on. Not even joking. Ten, look at these boxes. Ten of these boxes literally arrived at our doorstep when I was on final. I honestly, like, I don't even know what's in them. I don't know what my parents have ordered. But ten of them. Just, like, <laughs> when I answered the door, I, my heart sunk. I was hoping it would just be the postman with a letter and, oh, here you go. Um, but no, it was a DPD van with ten bloody large boxes that I had to carry in. Um, no, it's not. It's not. Um, we're fine. We're, we're stable at the moment. Where's the company traffic? Because he's priority at the moment. Okay, Sam's on final. We're going to do an extended downwind. We'll turn left and then we'll go back on final. <sighs> right. Let's level out at 10,000. Uh, traffic disregard, last one. Last one, four, three is on a 15 mile final now. That's fine. Perfect. No worries. We'll give you uh, like five mile safe spacing behind you. Um, Appreciate that. You're welcome. It's all beans cans. It, it was quite heavy. It was quite heavy. Um, but yeah. Can you use your Microsoft credentials to log in and take control? <laughs> no, it won't happen again. It's just typical how the doorbell just went at the most inconvenient of times. Sorry, guys. We would have landed as well. We would have landed that as well. Never mind. I mean, you know, these things happen. These things happen. So there's Sam. We're going to hopefully see Sam out of our right hand window. I'm still learning. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's going to be lower than us, higher than us. Let me know if you spot anybody. There's the airport. So Sam is on some sort of a final down or above us. There he is. We well, got visual of Sam. There he is. Uh, TJ, cheers for the follow, mate. Welcome to the stream. Boo hoo. Hi, Jake. How are you? Boo hoo. Um, you've not been having the best luck today, have you? Not really. Like we started right. I mean, we started the plane. We started the stream in Embraer. We then the plane just wouldn't work, and it was not a skill issue. Um, and then we switched aircraft. Then we flown down here. Then the doorbell went. Ten massive boxes turned up. We missed our approach on final, but it's fine because we've almost landed. It's fine. We're almost there. We're almost there. Not a million miles to go. Um, waiting on a delivery. Uh, you're waiting on a delivery or me? I was. I didn't expect it. My parents are out. I think walking the dog. Um, and then this, like, this just turned up. So, absolutely no idea. It's not going to focus, but yeah, just 10 massive bloody boxes. Uh, oh, you're waiting on delivery. What are you waiting on a delivery for, Jake? What's, what's on its way? Uh, right, down to 7,000. 
Actually, no, we need to be 10,000. 10,000 at 14 DME. And then it's a 180. We can probably repro him back in the approach, actually. And then we should be all right. Oh, you're getting a delivery of Bruce, are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't know Bruce was for sale, but... Right, veer to me uh, with the Otsut transition. There you go. Would you actually want a ju want a dog, Jake, Jake though? Like, it, it, let, let's just say, like, your mum and dad came over with a dog. Would you be happy or not? I mean, everyone would be happy, I suppose. Uh, Delta 19... 192 left. It just restricts you from going on holiday. That's the only problem with pets. I love pets, don't get me wrong. They're amazing. But you have to put them in kennels, and it's an absolute faff when you want to get away on holiday. Um, yeah, yeah, you would. What dog would you want? That goes to anybody, actually. Anyone in, anyone in chat, if, if you don't have any... If you don't have a dog, would you want one? And if so, what breed? It's got to be a Labrador. It's got to be. A sausage dog. Fair play. Fair play. They are very... They're very small, but they are very, very nice. Uh, we need to get the altitude. Let's go speed. Let's go speed 160 now. We'll do 160 till 4. Um, we'll get the gear down in just a moment. We'll get the flaps down as well. That's quite a... Mm, we take... If we redo the direct, actually, that should be a little bit of a... There you go. Look at that. Perfection. Almost, anyway. Not too bad. A chow chow. A hot dog. A Sheba sounds nice. American bulldog. Uh, golden retriever. A cat. Brilliant. You're not a dog person. Uh, cats are better. Great Dane. Nice. I don't know. The thing is, I don't... I, like, you're saying all these bright breeds of dogs, but I'm not, like, familiar with what they look like 100%. Golden Labs. Yep. My mum and dad want to get another oh, Golden one Lab, sure but one. one of the, like, l longer-haired ones, so we don't relate it to Barney too much. Um, obviously, you know, they're not trying to get rid of Bruce. Bruce is amazing. Um... But, yeah. Right, we'll go vertical speed. Bruce is already, like, eight months old as well, which is crazy. Uh, a little bit worried now that we're not quite on the VDEV profile. Yeah, we're 4,000 feet above where we should be. Shoot. Gear down. Flaps. I wonder if we... Dragon, 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 this is possible, guys? It, to be fair, no, that's wrong. Because it's saying that we need to be above 9,100 at the next waypoint. So that VDEV is telling us lies. Your mother had a black lab and he was lovely, but he was... Uh, he always wanted attention. Yeah, Bruce doesn't really... He just wags his tail loads whenever he sees me. Or a, co a cavapoo. Not a cockapoo, a cavapoo. But, um, yeah. Jogs don't restrict you from holidays at all, at least from my experience. We just take the Euro Tunnel for a fair... Yeah, to be fair, you could... Yeah, take your dog with you on holiday. I mean, the, yeah, these are adorable as well. These are very adorable, whoever's just sent this one in. Very adorable. I love pets. They're, they're genuinely, like... They're just so nice. Right, 160. They, they just... They, they always look after their owners more than they look after themselves, which is, like, the sweetest thing ever. Um, have a poo? <laughs> oh, Martin, you're not even funny. Why did I even laugh? Um, uh, yes, Matt, and you are right, actually. <laughs> I point out something of the obvious. Like, oh, there's actually an altitude restriction here. You know, we need to be above 8,200 feet at the next waypoint, and we just go straight through the restriction. <laughs> You've got a point, Matt. Um, and that's probably why your flying ability at landing planes and operating them is marginally better than mine. Marginally. Much better than mine. Uh, right, flaps 40, gear is down, auto brake is 2. I'm pretty sure if you asked everybody in this chat who's the better pilot, 99.9% .9 of them will say Chewy. Um, right, landing lights on. And we'll get these down as well. And perfect. There we go. Uh, fly jo Johnny wouldn't go that far, though. Ah, the best pilot in chat's you, Johnny. That's what you wanted me to say, wasn't it? <laughs> let's do a poll. <laughs> I couldn't dare. Uh, let's do it. Flyboy. Chewy. Kenko. Best pilot. One, two, or three in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. We are meant to be flying a plane, but it's fine. Right, 160 till 4 and traffic. Air Mexico 2417. Uh, we're on a 10 mile final. Uh, 160 till 4. Uh, runway 01. Oh, look, Matt. The, the community love you. There you go. I don't know if everybody knows who Flyboy is, though, but there you go. Everyone has voted cheery. 10 of you vote me. 17 of you have voted Matt. 3 of you... Jo Johnny, you got three, You got 4 votes. It's not too bad. <laughs> Just ladies and gentlemen, by the way, I'd like to let you know that Flyboy is actually a pilot in the real world, by the way. 
Um, so if any, out of those three people, Flyboy is the one that I would trust with my life on board. A plane, we're not descending. This is the problem when you do a pole. You get very side distracted. Right, VNAV, LNAV. Right, now we're 2,000 feet above where we should be. Brilliant. I do not want another go around. Why is it going min approach speed? Oh my god. It's okay. We're only a few hundred feet above where we should be. Uh, how am I winning? Yeah, good point, actually. How am I winning? <laughs> I've got more votes than Matt now. <laughs> Fantastic. You heard the doorbell. What? My doorbell's not going. Oh, what you're you oh, you're man? right. You're trolling. Right, shut up. Okay, and traffic. Air go 2417. Uh, we're five mile final now. We're on with zero one. Good luck, Sam. Hopefully, I think Sam's already vacated, actually. I'm the most gullible person. I believe everything that Twitch says. Ch Twitch chat says, by the way. Right, me and Matt equally won. There you go, Matt. I'll take that. 23 votes apiece. Johnny only got 10 votes, but he got all of my votes. Right, okay. Autopilot out. We are not visual, but it's okay. Right, we need to be 5,749 feet at the next waypoint. And we've got four miles to run. Minute approach speed. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm fucking offended, not gonna lie. You, you know when Matt gets the F-bomb out, that you, <laughs> you know he's serious. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, right, we need to trim the aircraft because we need to trim this. Where is... Hang on. Minimums. There we go. We're approaching minimums. <laughs> uh, we're going to continue. We're going to take it manual as well. Um, <laughs> there we go. Perfect. There we go. Chewie, he said he'll... What? Yeah, I, I blackmailed you, chat. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Oh, I love it. Right. There you go. Oh, we're, we're way too left of where we should be. Or right of where we should be. Let's, let's just do a very dramatic left-hand turn here on final. See, I couldn't see the runway. Okay? That's just a skill issue, but it's a little bit foggy down here. Um, there we go. You did exactly what I did. Yeah, I was just following. Maybe it's an offset approach. Maybe it's an offset approach. Let's follow this We're a little bit high. Speed's okay. Auto brake's good as well. Toby's still enabled. I really would like a yoke, though. I really need to buy myself a yoke. Because I'm still using a side stick, which doesn't feel right in a Boeing. There you go. We're back on... Uh, back on pilots. I guess this will tell if your pole's telling the truth or not, guys. Here we go. Nice. 100. 100. 50, 30, 20, Idle. Oh, 10, sim free. Whoa. What? I don't even know if that was a good landing or not. Should we? Mm, I don't really want to. I, I still buttered it. Yeah, but auto brake disarmed. Uh, that was Doctor. interesting. Aww. I'm sad now. Welcome down to the airport. Auto brake weren't even engaged anyway. But the sim just decided that it was a good idea to just have two massive lag spikes. No! It didn't do that. I, I mean, it done it yesterday, but not quite to the same extent at Paro. Ah, never mind. Maybe I've installed something that I shouldn't have done. I'm not sure. There we go. But we're here. We made it. I don't have a clue. I'm sorry. I mean, we flared when we should have flared, and then it just froze up. We could have chose to go around, but we already had a missed approach and everything, so never mind. Um, <laughs> yeah, Matt, Matt's got all the uh, Matt's got all the code in the background. He's like, right, if I press this button right now, it will make <laughs> I'll make sure that Ian does not have a better landing than me. <laughs> no, Matt would never do such a thing. Um, right, let's turn on the APU. Dave's in the chat as well. Uh, have you made sure your 7950X is facing the right way against your motherboard? Nah. The pins are meant to be facing up. Is that right? I think they are. Then you smudge all the uh, the thermal paste on the pins. It gives it it gives it some extra power, trust me. Uh, right, APU bleed on. Isolation valve, uh, I think, could be off. I don't know if I do that now. I don't really know. The APU is starting. Um, the engines won't even on continuous on final either. Strobe light off and these lights off as well. And then we will uh, get taxiing. And that is traffic. Uh, Aramex 2417. We have vacated uh, runway 01. All oh, my fault. Blame G. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, easy to put the blame on. Sure. No, you're not. There you go. 
Um, up, up for the PvP. All chat looks at Chewie in a dramatic fashion. <laughs> Amazing. No. Hopefully we won't have the same lag back to Mexico City. We are doing the return back to Mexico City. So if anyone wants to join us, I think we can do it in the same plane. And hopefully it won't... Uh, I mean, if it does freeze back up on, uh, on in Mexico, I'll try and uh, reinstall the sim or try and get to the bottom of why it was why it frozen. But it might just be a one-off. It might just be a one-off. Let's go stand number two. Um, we'll spin it. We'll have a look around the scenery as well. Oh, I don't know what you just said. Um, stand two is... Oh, there you go. You guys you guys reserved stand two for me. Thank you, lad. Thank you, guys. Thank you, lads. Arrow, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, on a serious note, what actually causes the stutters? I, your guesses are as good as mine. This is a cool-looking scenery, though. I mean, this did cost me £16, which was an awful lot for a scenery that I probably won't use beyond today. But, you know, we might use it once or twice in the future. Looks quite a nice interior, though. Stop. There we go. We could do... Yeah, exactly. We can always do more flights here in the future, for sure. Right, let's turn it down a little bit. Um, and we'll go and get some tunes in. Uh, however, we need to make sure that we're connected to the engines. Uh, two blue, one red, engine two, and engine one is dead. Flaps are back up as well. Um, and we'll get the fuel pumps turned off as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is almost... A wrap for flight number one. Landing right. Yeah, we'll get it on. We'll get it on. Uh, did you have the fast signs off during landing? I probably never turned them on on takeoff, yawn. I don't think I have touched the... Oh, my God. Look at the... Oh. Right. I'm sorry. That is some nice parking. On the 737 line, slightly... You could say that it was maybe a few centimeters off, but that's good parking. That is very good parking. Four centimeters off. Shut it. Right. Are we, uh, oh yeah, deboarding doesn't happen automatically, does it? I forgot. There you go. Requesting deboarding. Nice! And welcome down to Ocatcha. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ocatcha? Something like that. I'm, I'm being told off in chat for speaking whilst I'm on my lunch break. Oh. I, 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 I watch Twitch in my lunch break. Chat, don't be so mean. So I'll be going back to working very, very, very hard without any time to type. Well, I hope you have a lovely afternoon without without me, Matt. Because now I'm really sad. Chat, you bullied Matt out of the chat. How dare you. I love you too, Matt. Enjoy the rest of your lunch break, however many minutes you have remaining. Guys, you understand that lunch breaks mean you don't work, right? It means that you can shut down everything for an hour and do whatever you want to. And Matt has decided to watch my stream during his lunch break. And you've bullied him out of it. Disrespectful. Um, <laughs> right, we'll hopefully get these doors open. An hour? Lunch breaks are normally an hour. I got an hour in my old workplace. No? An hour's normal for me. I worked in IT for four years and had an hour lunch break. Unless Matt's lunch break's less than an hour. An hour's normal. It's, if, it's an, if, it's an, if you're in work for nine hours, the legal requirement is, I'm pretty sure, like, an hour. Exactly. I always had an hour as well. Why can't we... What's going on? I'm really confused. Oh, we need to set the chocks. That's why we can't open up all the doors. There we go. Um, more than 30 minutes. God, they, they, they make you graft for it. That's crazy. 2.50... Oh, well, yeah, but in the UK, we don't have the 15-minute breaks. Maybe it's an hour... Half an hour at lunch, 15, hour, 15 minutes in the afternoon, 15 minutes in the morning. For me, when I used to work, it was work for four hours, hour off, work for another three. Or four, or whatever. Two, yeah, two breaks and one lunch. Okay, some companies split it into some then, I guess. Makes sense. Starboy, cheers for the follow. Welcome into the stream. The doors are not opening automatically. I will have to open them manually, although it doesn't say... Ah, do we need to... Guys, why can't I open the doors? No, we got rid of it, Peter, mate. It just broken. I gave up. I gave up trying. Unfortunately, it's, it's a shame, but, um, yeah, maybe another day, but it just wasn't playing ball today. Right, now we should be able to open up the doors. The doors can't open. What have I done wrong? I need to, like, disarm them or something. See, if Chewie was here, Matt will be able to help me, but he's not because you bullied him away. Anyone know why I can't open up these doors? Taylor, mate, no worries. Uh... 
Taylor, my best advice to you if you're going to watch the BAE, watch my Dublin setup for the Dublin departure. That's where I nailed the BAE. Dublin departure yesterday. The stairs in the way? No. Have a good one, Taylor. Thank you for your resub again. Ground services. Wheel chocks are set up. Ground power is connected and active. You know it's not the same as it was. Click open, but it doesn't... It doesn't let me change. Like, normally there's a little arrow if I'm allowed to press it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we're not deboarding anybody. Everyone's stuck on board wondering what the hell's going on. But the, 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 we can't open up the doors. It's very odd, Steve, isn't it? We can restart GSX. Beacon off. Yeah. Beacon's off. Oh no, beacon's not off. Beacon's off now, though. The beacon shouldn't have affected it too much. Two aircraft, two broken. Guys, you want to fly the Phoenix back? <laughs> you have jetway priority. Yeah, but that should still... Oh, I do! You're right. It did say jetway, didn't it? Stairs. Right. FS Actions, doors. Now it's not opening. That's with stairs enabled as well. Parking brakes are on. Ground chocks removed, set. Now I've just killed the plane. The doors are just sealed shut. Uh, Phoenix? Anybody? Valaris? <laughs> I thought that's the way it's going. Cabin pressure. Oh. Pressure. Obviously we killed the plane, but... We've got pressure now. You never did landing elevation. No, but that shouldn't... Oh. Yeah, good point. Landing landing altitude probably was quite important, wasn't it? They are stuck because of the pressure. Oh. Because the plane thinks that we're a lot lower, and because we're so high, the pressure obviously gets higher when you get higher. So the doors are just a little bit confused right now. Let's do a quick poll. We can restart the plane, obviously. One for Phoenix, two for BAE, one, uh, two for 737. If we do Phoenix, it'll be a Valaris. Valaris, to be fair, Valaris is a vibe. It means we've done three different aircraft in two flights. Makes sense of that. Oh, it's actually, to be fair, it's swinging. It is swinging. 19 votes on the Phoenix, 12 for the... Yeah, Phoenix ones that wins the majority on that. If I keep it going, you guys will level it out, so... Uh, Phoenix for Laris livery. There's a cabin with this one. We'll do this. Oh, hang on. Wait, Gecko. There's two, hang on. There's this one, or there's Gecko. Gecko's done all of them. Unless you've got one, Steve. I don't know. Uh, landing rate, yes. 300? Yeah, the lag. I'm going to refund. Should I refund the points? I, we literally froze for three seconds on final. I feel like that's a refund. Like, that's not fair. Yeah, I'll just give you your points back, guys. If I, if I call it over, then it's not. It's just not fair. It geckos Lando Norris. Yeah, that's the one. Sorry. Uh, did the triple seven guy make it? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, no, just making sure it was not. Oh, okay. There's a certain person you want to make sure it's not Roger. Okay, that's fine. I'll download this one. Twenty votes for the Phoenix. I'll get a cabin announcement pack as well. And so we're gonna have to restart the sim, but it's not the end of the world. Um, if you guys want to join me, you're welcome to fly back to Mexico City. 
Uh, let me just go announcement uploads and then just search for Valaris. Oh. Valaris, there we go. Bosh. V O I is the call sign. Um. Yeah, Vastik, I'm sorry. I didn't expect this either, but it's been one of the it's been one of these days, right? It's been one of these days where uh it all just kind of merges into one. Right. That's the cow announcement pack. The livery. Ah. Uh, bam, 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 but is downloading. Right, let's all F4 the sim. We've had a look at Alanya, haven't we? Yeah. Um And let's enable the Phoenix and we should be alright. Uh, can you show me how to install the cabin packs? Uh, yeah, Andy, they just go into, I mean, they go, like, the actual airline folder goes into something like that. You have to create a folder called Phoenix and Aircraft 370 Announcements, or call it anything, I think. And then a folder called Announcements, and then you can, you can put them directly into the Phoenix as well. You don't have to put them into a, their own separate folder. Um, yeah. The delivery may not be V2 compatible. Uh... Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Unless there's one in the actual livery manager we can download. There might be one in the livery manager. I'll get the one I sent. Oh. We'll just get this one, then. It's not... Okay, we'll get this one. We'll get this one. Thank you, Rev. I'll close that down. Um... Oh, yeah, and Massa as well, I think, send that in. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Start download. That should hopefully download. Right. We I like, I go, I go. Oh, I can hold me down. Oh, I can hold me down. I like, I go, I go. Hang on. That's downloading anyway. Right, airports to find aircraft. We disable the 737. We enable the Phoenix. Uh, yeah, my sim is all very kind of universal. And then we go into community and then we drag and drop that over. And then we open up the sim. And then we'll do sim brief as well. Um, no, you shouldn't have to touch any of that, Andy. It's just a drag and drop in the community. Order. If you, In case your airline, if you, if, you, if you download delivery and it doesn't work, you need to make sure that inside the aircraft.config, which I'll check in a minute, the actual call sign is the correct one that responds to the folder. There's some liveries that you can download, and um, there's just a few issues with them, um, whereby you have to change aircraft config because it's not been set up correctly for the certain airline that the announcement pack reads or something. I don't know, but yeah. I came here for love. Do do. Someone to hold me down. Ah, oh, take forever. Another three minutes on the. Ah, we'll get that. Mm -hmm. Not. Oh, he's not updating it. Ah, see, this is this is why you read. Right. While it's doing that, then we'll go and uh, do a new flight, and we'll do the return. So M M O X to M M M X, uh, and it was Victor Oscar India, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, V O I will make up the call sign. Five six one. Five six two. Uh departure time half past one. I'll go forty past just to give us an extra ten minutes lead time. And when Airbus A three twenty. And we've got oh IAEs as well. Let's go. Get in. I need for now. I came here for love. Valid, Andy. So valid. So valid. I'll show you in a sec once the livery is downloaded. Um, there's just a billion and one things to. Boom, boom, doo, doo, doo. What's my title now? Oh, let's change it to uh, Valaris A320. <laughs> God, how am I going to title this video on YouTube? I upload all my VODs on Kenko Plus. How am I going to title that? I'm not sure. Right. Valaris562. Pretty sure it's just called Valaris, isn't it? Yeah, Valaris on, on frequency. Um, mm -hmm. free, yeah, free, yeah that, that works. Free planes, free flights. I like that. One minute, 11 seconds left. 
delete the error Mexico now as well. Do you like my da but desert background? I haven't changed it in ages. I need to I need to change it. Johnny will like it. Do 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 do. Absolute chaos. I'm not that much of a clickbait sellout though. I'm not that much of a clickbait sellout. Want you to reach out. Forty five seconds, then we drag and drop, then we open up the sim. We have to change the uh document streaming. I corrupt the fly live HTML code, so I have to edit it through here, which sucks, but it still works. And then reload you over here. Bosh. And then twenty seconds left. Nice. Uh planes and dra planes and raves. How you doing, mate? Welcome in. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do 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 do. To make yeah, I'm probably restricted by um flightsim.to because I don't have their premium, so they restrict your, your they restrict your download speed for free users. My internet speed isn't that slow, but it's uh it's just taking its time. Right there we go. It's done. So what I'll do, we'll go for the 8K one. Oh, isn't it, it even includes an EFB? Well, it doesn't include a wallpaper. There's a folder for it, but there's nothing inside the folder. Nice. Right, we'll drag, uh, we'll drag that over. What, what's the point? Maybe they're gonna try and think of adding one, but clearly, maybe it was an April Fools or something. Um, right, let's go. Right, that's in. So yeah, Andy, when you download livery, you want to go into sim object airplanes, find the reg you want in the aircraft.config. It should say VOI somewhere on here. Yeah, so th this one should work because it's got VOI in it. There's some airlines where the actual airline is not here, and this is where I think it references the airline. So if I change that to Speedbird, we'll then hear all the British Airways announcements, which obviously we don't want. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, very useful, isn't it? Well, no, not really. I'm going back on the announcement pack to get an EFB. We can do that. What, did I drag and drop that over? Oh my god, I don't know. VOI pack. Yeah, I did. Cool. Right. Oh my god, Peter! I I had OBS closed. I wonder what the hell was happening. Um, bro. Don't you just hate it when your cat wakes this? you up like this? Uh, <laughs> meow, meow. You're insane, man. Meow, that was scary. Meow. Oh meow, no. Right. Meow, uh, meow, well, I guess we're listening to meow, meow as while we're loading meow, in. Thank you, meow, Peter, for two thousand one hundred bit cheer. Meow. Massive, meow. mate. Oh, that's meow. why, because you wanted meow. to get first. Meow. Respect it. Meow. Thank you for meow. causing absolute uh, catastrophe meow. of chaos. Meow. See what I did meow. there? It's terrible, meow. wasn't it? Meow. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate meow. the meows. Meow. Oh, my God, I'm turning it down. Thank meow. you. Don't cat meow. jam to this. Meow. Too many cats meow. everywhere. Meow. How many meow. meows did you add? Thank meow. you, Peter, for your 2,100 bits. That's overly generous, meow. genuinely. That support means meow. the world. Thank you. Meow. 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 Oh look, there's a meow. Valaris background. I found meow. one. Meow. That's nice. Meow. I like that. Meow. Please do not remove meow. from aircraft. Meow. Meow. You got the badge meow. back. You have got meow. the badge back, mate. Thank meow. you so much, Peter. Meow. You're a legend, mate. Thank meow. you. Meow. Desktop EFB. Meow. I don't know where that came meow. from, but I appreciate it. Meow. Right, we'll get that changed meow. as well. Meow. Ah! Meow. Can we skip it, please? Meow. Please, can meow. we skip it? Oh, I don't have to because it's done. Uh, no of 100 bits now. Peter, thank you for the 2,100. That's amazing. No of 100. On top of your freaking double sub earlier, somehow. Ah, see? No, I respect you, though. He started LLLLing and there was like, nope. I'm going to stop there because I don't want to annoy Ian. You're a legend, mate. Thank you. No, no one annoys me. Thank you so much, uh, Noah and Peter, for your bitches while we're just loading in. For the third, technically third flight of the day. We'll say third fight of the day. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Oh, no. <laughs> it's cat versus dog. It's literally cat versus dog now. Um, Steven, with 100 bits now as well. Woof. You guys, this is your entertainment. This is how you guys entertain yourselves while we're waiting for the sim to load. Thank you so much. <laughs> he does quite a good job, actually. That's quite a good impression. Woof. 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 It's not bad. Oh, uh, right, okay, right, Noah, no, you're in my bad books now. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Peter. Noah, I'm not thanking you. Well, if nothing annoys you. Oh. I 
I'd rather you listen to it than me. Um, thank you very much, Noah, for 100 bits uh, that I genuinely... You can have your 100 bits back at this point. Thank you. Skip it. Yeah, I might have to. <laughs> thank you. That one is the most annoying one ever. Genuinely. It's so bad. Um, Andy! <laughs> Andy! And oh my god, it goes on. I need to say hello to my parents a second. Hang on. Behave. I'll be back in a second. Andy with 200 bits. Thank you. Number one back, um, please. Thank you. Yay! There you go, Andy. Thank you very much. 200 bits. Nutrient 100. Two seconds, guys. Thank you. Hi. It's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I believe in miracles. Who's on a bit war? How oh, was he? Well, oh, Bruce. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Hello. Oh, Andy cheers another 100. Andy, 3,300. Peter, 3,100. Nutrients in third place with 900. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, Avery 20 Neo. Uh... Not Neo, A320, and we want the Valaris livery, which better be here. It better be here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, that's it now. That's enough, seriously. Uh The Boeing 777 Let's go this one. Reliability, coupled with its impressive size and capabilities, especially the 777-300er has led to substantial savings for airline operators, replacing traditional 747 Thanks. operations. With over 2,000 units too, sold, it? it remains the most sought-after wide-body aircraft in the jet. I would have cared if the PMDG777 was out. Um, then Peter drops 400 bits. Um, on top of Noah's, like, 200. 300 from Noah. Cheer, nope, first. Peter, mate, the, the, the number one looks very nice. The number two looks very nice as well. You don't have to fight for them. They both look very nice. Thank you, Peter, for 2,500 2, bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, glad it didn't happen today, though, Stephen. No two-seater with a free seat available. Going to try after 4 p.m. Ah, oh, do they know you're coming back, though? I hope they know you're coming back. Hopefully. Uh, right, Andy, you've honestly done, uh, like, way too much already. Like, I don't expect any more from anybody. We never even look around the scenery, but it's fine. We've got time. We've got time. Uh, right, let's go on to... Uh, oh, goodness, hang on. We need to go on to Sim Brief. And then... File you, connect to that sim, and we should be all right. Uh, J10, mate, this... The, 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 unfortunately, the Embraer only happened for about... 10 minutes earlier um we ended up cancelling the embraer we've now done three different aircraft in three different flights um we ended up literally taking the embraer off and landing it again at the same airport because none of it was working which is a shame but we'll try and get oh my god sh <laughs> you've already done this um oh my days i think um oh honestly you should have your thingy by the way what did you wait i don't know if you want to you might have won a scenery. I'm not sure if it was you. I don't know if you won a gift card or a scenery. If you won a scenery, it should be in your account now. Um, SHM, you've already done your first gifted sub bomb, and now you're doing another five gifted sub bomb. Um, first, not first gifted. Are they first gifted subs of the day? I don't know. They might be. Um, thank you very much, SHM, for your five gifted, mate. You've now got ten for the month. 
Um, thank you so much. That was out of nowhere. Um, are we at 2k subs yet? No, we dropped a couple, unfortunately. We're at 1,905. Um, I think this time last month we got some subs. And it, it fluctuates. It fluctuates. Um, you're a legend, SHM, though. I appreciate that. Get me well over 1,900 now. Um, thank you, SHM, for the five. How are you? Are you just tuning in or <laughs> are you just sharing the love? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Thanks for all the good streams and cool, cool t-shirts. Have you not seen the back of it? Look, is that, can you see that? Bosh. As if you're McLaren fans, of course. Um, thank you. That you you've been here, SHM. You have been here. I appreciate it. Thank you, Noah, as well. You're always saying cool t-shirt. You you liked my Nike one the other day as well. Um, I'm glad that my fashion is the same as your fashion and <laughs> it matches. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Noah and SHM with the five gifted. Um, going to Roton, Ross James, Hard Bottle, Taboo Drawin, and I Eat Pie 314. There you go. 3.141519. This is pie followed by um, Legend. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, guys, we might have time for uh, a Cancun after. There's nothing stopping us when we fly back to Mexico from going off to Cancun after. So uh, yeah, we, we never know. We, we might do. Uh, right, let's get GSX. Let's operate the stairs. Do you want to have a look around the scenery for the next few minutes, actually? We can uh, we can have a look around the scenery uh, before we start the plane. So this scenery cost me a whole 16 of my greatest British pounds. Um, and it's not actually too bad. It's not even too bad. We got a brand new tier one as well. Never loan. Um, mate, welcome in. I appreciate that. Brand new tier ones help me towards uh, like the like Partner Plus program. Um, which is, I think there's below the stream, there's like a Partner Plus April thingy with Bobby. Um, and you need to, uh, I think they've introduced it now, where if you get over 300 in a month for like three consecutive, oh no, a hundred, is it 100, 300? 300 in consecutive months, it's 70, 30 split. And then over 100 consecutively, I think. So we're going up to the 60, 40 split in May um, because we've already got over 100 consecutive for the last like two years. Um, but if I get over 300 consecutive, we go up to 70, 30. Um, never alone, mate. Welcome to the community. Guys, give me some love in the chat, please. If you do have the love, I know there's loads of you that do have the love um, to get it in the chat. It gives you better chances of winning giveaways. Um, mate, welcome to the community. Thank you so much for your brand new tier one. Obviously, you're enjoying your time here. Um, I, by the way, as well, if anyone... I know there's got a new flurry of people in. Um, I've got back in touch with Sophie, who makes my emotes. Um, she has basically you know problem mate you're a legend thank you so much um sophie's reached back out or i've reached back out to sophie she's willing to do me some more emotes so if anyone's got any ideas for some new emotes you know fresh ideas whatever um let me know through either twitch chat uh, i'll get it noted down um or discord if you want to see a certain sort of emote if there's something that you feel is missing or something that needs adding uh, we've already got kenko waffle kenko uh, there's loads of different ones i think uh, kenko i don't know i've got them all in my G in gmail um we'll obviously choose like five or ten of the best ones but if you've got any ideas for emotes let me know um and obviously we can get them designed created and uploaded as well because obviously your your guys help with the last few days with brand new subs this that the other has allowed the twitch has allowed you basically the way it works i'm speaking way too quickly um <laughs> the more subs you have the more emotes you're allowed and uh, we've unlocked quite a few more new emote slots the last few weeks um so i'm going to try and make the most of it by you know giving you guys more emotes essentially um but yeah number one you want to, there is actually a thing peter uh the more bits you cheer the more emotes you can unlock as well i don't have any bit bit emotes but um basically means if you cheer a certain amount of bits over a given time period or over forever lifetime uh you unlock emotes and you can use forever so even if you're not a sub here you can still use an emote because you've cheered a certain amount of bits um, so that could also happen as well. Um, Rast, <laughs> mate, I don't deserve subs after the chaos of your last stream. You've been waiting ages for me. Bro's been waiting ages. The scenery's not too bad. It's not worth 16 quid, though. It's not too bad, but it's not worth 16 quid. Um, <laughs> Rastic with free gifted. Rastic You're gifted a legend, mate. Thank you. Um, I, yeah, amazing. Number one worst pilot on Twitch. Thank you. I appreciate that hoverboard. Number one uh, most annoying viewer in t on Twitch. That goes to you, Hoverboard. We need to have like a Kenko uh, like award Rastic ceremony at the end the of the year. Um, Rastic. Rizzy Riz. What a Twitch name. Rizzy Riz, Hayes, and uh, Nol Van Paolo all getting good stuff from Rastic there. Thank you so much. You finally won something. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Be proud of it. Ah, this needs changing. Rastic gifted a tier one sub to Jazz A5. Thank you so much, Rastic. Traffic, uh, Valenta, one, four, three, is Do not push back. To the oh my god. 
uh, for backtrack and takeoff. You are way, way ahead of the game. Look at that. That looks, that looks very nice. That looks very nice. Thank you, Razdeek, for your free gift. 117 uh, from you now in, 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 the, uh, in the channel. Oh, my God. Damien! <laughs> Where are these bitches coming from, guys? There's no, there's no message or anything. Damien just wants top three. He wants third spot. Um, mate, Damien, maybe, maybe I will, uh, or we're delayed. Um, I will try and, uh, get some bit cheer emotes going. Where is the love came from? Guys, we've literally just, like, we landed at wherever this place is, and you guys have just cheered an unforeseen amount of bits. Damien, thank you so much. It will happen. It will happen. You've now got the third thing as well. Um, I don't know what kind of, we can have, like, a, a koala bear that does something for bits. I don't know. We can have a koala bear with his bits out. No, maybe that that's a terrible idea. Uh, we'll have, like, a koala bear, like, holding a trophy. Or oh, no, we've already got that for the GGs. I don't know. I'll, I'll try and merge some sort of koala bear bits together, but you know, not quite that level, okay? Maybe not that level. You get where... You get where you catch my drift, though, you know? Like, a special kind of bit koala bear. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. TOS. Um, right. Arm the emergency exit lights. There you go. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just mute. I'll just mute. Um, can you drive already? I know, literally. Um, sorry, we've been yapping. This is what I mean. We need a Kenko yap emote or Kenko waffle emote because all I ever do is just talk. Um, right. Thank you so much, Damien, for your thousand bits, though. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Koala with his bits out. I know, I didn't mean it like that, but, you, you I mean, you wouldn't I probably mind that? the emote, but I don't think it would go against, it would go against quite a few Twitch TOSs. <laughs> Uh, right, T-A-R-A-2000. That would work. The problem is that emote would work so well. That's the problem. Like, I think that would be actually a genuinely funny emote. But I wouldn't be allowed. Um, zero one, Rastic. No worries. I'll change it to zero one. Uh, <laughs> hi, Ash. Uh, Southside Soldier. Think, uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome him. I think it would be a brilliant emote. But, you know, you guys probably wouldn't agree, but whatever. Um, right, there you go. I don't think Twitch would agree either. Uh, right, never logo light on, cruise supply on. It's weird flying three different aircraft in three different flights because my brain is completely confuzzled right now on how I fly different aircraft, but we're getting there. Um, right, flight number, we are Victor, Oscar. Oh, we should have got Hannah in the cockpit. Oh, we missed an opportunity. If we carry on to Cancun later, we'll get Hannah with us, okay? If we carry on to Cancun, we'll get Hannah with us. Um, flight number is, uh, oh, that's wrong. I haven't, ah. Oh. Stand by. I've been talking about too many koala bears that I forgot to, uh, change the overlay. Hang on. Bosh. Vic Victor Oscar India 562. Victor Oscar India 562. There we go. Uh, cruising flight level 300. And it's an, a 43 minute flight back down to Mexico City. Cost index says 11. And then we'll do the init B page. And we'll get boarding commenced. Uh, Benson, great to see you, mate. Welcome into the stream. How are you? Welcome. You met a few koala bears in my time in Australia. And they aren't very friendly. Yeah, I, there's like rage. Have you seen the rage koala bears? Are they called rage koala bears? They are aggressive creatures. Zarko, Zarko, however you say it. Uh, Volaris 143 is lined up on runway 01 for takeoff. Now, is that actually... Like... Real? He just looks like he's yawning. Oh my god, look, look at these. Hang on, I don't know what's going to come up. I'm sorry. That is the most adorable thing ever. See, we're yapping again, but you get the point. Like, don't you just want to, like, take him or her home with you? Like, they're so adorable. Uh, who's Hannah? Hannah will be my co-pilot, but not in today's flight. Oh, exactly, Mrs. Clan. Oh. Um, right, request uh, that will do it automatically because we're in the Phoenix. Uh, right, MCDU menu, Atsu, AOC, load sheet. Uh, what's your connection with koala bears? Uh, there isn't actually a connection. It's just I, I wanted an emote on Twitch that nobody else has. And I couldn't for the life of me find any any streamer with koala bears as their emotes. And I was like, why not? Why You know, koala bears begin with K as well. They're one of the only animals that begin with K. It could have been kangaroos, but they're not as cool. So, yeah, it, it just happened to be that koala bears I just thought were quite unique to be a sort of a mascot for the stream. And it's worked out really well. Um, I would like to hold, like, at some point on my bucket list, 
get a flight to Australia and hold a koala bear. I don't know if you're allowed to hold them, but, you know, I'll try my best to hold a koala bear. Um, it'll be so cool. It'll be so cool. Uh, yeah, but th surely there's good ones without Mystic, though. Surely there's ones without. You want to have a raccoon? Are you allowed to legally have a raccoon as a pet or not? I don't know. Kellyfants, <laughs> cogs, cats. Oh, you're not even funny, you two. You're not even funny in the Traffic, slightest. Uh, Lentra, uh, 1, 4, 3, clear back 5.4. Passing through 6, Um, a carafe. <laughs> um, you can hold them at play. Oh, awesome. Okay, slippery. I will definitely do that then. Does it have to be Australia, or they? Or can you get koala bears in any other country? Koala. I mean, I would like to go to Australia at some point in my life. Koala bear zoo. Are they, are they in the UK? Long Heat is the only animal collection in England exhibiting koalas. The only animal collection in Europe existing southern koalas. Oh, wow. I want to go to Longleat. Where's Longleat? You probably can't hold them, though. You can probably just see them. Where is it? Oh, it's not even, it's not even that far. It's like three hours. Love Longleat. Yeah, I've never been. It's not a million miles away from Gosport, lol. Yeah, Longleat's the only place to have koala bears in the UK, so it'll either be Longleat or I get a holiday, I get a holiday to Australia for them, which is quite a track. You've been to Longleat, yeah? It's got a safari you can drive around. Oh, valid! It's pretty. I mean, we've got where I live, we've got things like uh, um, oh, I can't even remember that. Wingham Wildlife Park. We've got uh, one beginning with P. Uh, part. Uh, oh God, I can't even think for the life of me. Port Lim, that's the one. Port Lim, uh, Wing and Wildlife Park. There's a, there's a few there's a few in Kent, but they're they're probably nowhere near as good as um as good as Longley is. Uh, Maxil Four, and we'll insert that as well. You want to go here one day, Hassam? Ah, the Raccoon Cafe. Oh wow! Oh my God, I couldn't. No, I I couldn't look after a raccoon. Absolutely not. No chance. Uh, someone sent a picture of a... Will this become an emote? No. <laughs> I'll get banned on Twitch if I made that an emote. Uh, arrival runway 05 left. It's got to be 05 left for arrival, guys. 05 right's closed. Uh, there's a really fun approach into Mexico, actually, that I want to do. Uh, why not? We'll just do the RMP 05 left. Screw it. It's fine. That'll work. Uh, hey, 651 just nipping in to ask a question. Do you have the Steam version? Yes. Don't buy the store version, please, for the love of God. Get the Steam version. Um, it's so much better. It's so much better. Obviously, try you can try it out on Game Pass on the store version, but everybody I've spoke to much prefers it getting it through Steam. Um, so, yeah, if, if you're considering getting it, get it on Steam. Good to see you, though, mate. Welcome in. Uh, look up Kokabura. Probably what, what, as in on Google, you mean. Uh, in, if I recall correctly, Kent is one wildlife park. Yeah, especially with Kenko running around, Stephen, mate. This, this whole place is a massive, uh, massive wildlife park. Um, there you go. There you go. Look at these things. What the hell? <laughs> They're really fat. They're very, I've never seen these in my life, though. These Australian only. The Australian Museum. Yeah, they must be an Australian bird. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, keep your Ken... Exactly. You've got to keep me on leashes. Exactly. Uh, right. Uh, we'll do Rav... Uh, the r and Rav runway 05 left by the Lalo... Is there a Lalo 2 Alpha? There we go. And we'll insert that. I can be anything you want of me. And in the darkness of the night... I had to reinstall Windows. It wiped it all. I have reinstalled... Wait. Oh, your choice was to reinstall. Okay. Uh, I have installed the Steam version three times, and even from a formatted disc, failed every time. Crashed on checking for update screen straight to desktop. And it's a reformat of Windows as well. Like, you completely reformatted the whole Windows OS with a new user profile and everything. That sounds like a disc problem. Anyone, anyone know what that could be? Someone's refor reformatted their entire PC... Reinstalled MSFS, and it just doesn't open. Oh, same user profile. Oh. I wonder if you've got something stuck in your app data. I, w I would clear out all of, like... You might have some files stuck in, like, app data, Microsoft Flight Simulator, 
like these kind of locations that might be might be caused. Look at the bub. Look at the bubble of the cargo door. By the way, that's sick. Have a look in some of these locations, and just delete anything that says Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, there's nothing in local. I'm not sure. Oh, you just. Oh, I understand. Not 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 your C drive. Okay. There might be some hit. There might be some files stuck on your C drive. Zero five ups closed. Correct. That runway doesn't uh, hasn't is not open. Apparently, that's what I've been told. Um, oh, you have already done app data as well, and it just doesn't work on the Steam version. That's so weird, because the reinstall takes forever as well. Like genuinely, the reinstall MSS takes years. Do you have you have Discord? Don't you? Yeah, I'm about to say Discord it later. Well, you can always put a message if you're in my actual Discord server. You can always put a message in here, or in like support, and just see if someone else might have had a very similar experience to you. Um, so yeah, do that, do that. Event viewer as well. Yeah, see why it crashed. That's also a shout. Hang on, message. Um, bum bum, bum bum, dun dun, dun 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 dun. Hang on. Sorry, I've just been distracted by something. Yeah, send me a message, mate. Send me a message. It's not working. Uh, stop breaking things, mate. I'm always breaking things. Uh, right. V-speed. Zero one departure. Sync load sheet. Sync live weather. Calculate V-speeds and send to MCDU. Uh, we got a flap three departure. No thanks. We'll do a flap one out of here. Uh, up 0 0.4. One up. One three five. And initial climb out of here will be... Eleven thousand eight hundred, I guess. It's definitely not the initial climb, but it's fine. Uh, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get push and start. We'll get the APU started, and then we'll uh, we'll get push and start. Obviously, after baggage is, is done as well. Sorry, I couldn't help you much, six zero eight one. But your guesses are as good as mine with that one, genuinely. So, this looks a vibe, though. Look at this. This is a vibe. Thank you all for joining me, by the way, guys. If you have joined me, I appreciate it. Thank you. You should blue this region and say you can't believe. I don't want to preach. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. It is a nice liver, isn't it? I've never done Valaris on the stream. Yeah, thank you to everyone just lurking in the background as well, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Today's been a really good vibe, actually. I really enjoyed it. It's been good. Apart from, the, you know, the 20 billion things that's gone wrong, but, <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens. Oh, it's asking me to open a door. I don't think we can get the passengers on until we've opened that door. There we go. Oh, Stephen, stop rubbing it in. A nice 23 degrees swimming pool and cocktails are cooling. Oh, what I could do. I could die for that. That is amazing, mate. That is amazing. Enjoy. Hopefully, th hopefully you think about me while you're, you know, in the sun. Uh, these IE engines, yes, crack dash, yeah. The IEs are much longer. You'll notice the CFMs are quite round. The IEs are quite a smaller funnel, but they go for a lot longer. Should you like? Oh my god, is is it is it sunrise on live weather? Get in. Oh, that looks even better. Oh wow, look at that. This is why MSFS is goated. Hopefully we don't freeze on final again. That is so nice. Oh, I need to get I need to get the screenshot again, but with passengers walking on. There you go. Look at that. Very nice. Thank you, uh, whoever recommended that cata. Appreciate that. It was a sick departure. Yeah. Once we get everybody on board, we'll uh, we'll get pushed back. Sim is looking gorgeous. Um, that's one thing I need to get on top of is the engines on planes. Yeah, you'll get there. You'll get there. I don't know. I don't know the difference between Pratt and Whitney and General Electric. I'm I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, you missed the Rolls Royce and the Boeings. Mm, do they not have them anymore? Or are you saying as in? Because it's General Electric's on triple sevens, isn't it? I'm not sure. Um, for France, this time of the year, uh, it's. Good. Oh, weather-wise. Yeah, yeah. South France, right? I'm pretty sure you are. South France. 
One more screenshot because we've got passengers leading from the back as well. There you go. Oh, that's a nice screenshot with the sun rising over the mountains as well. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, this looks so green. This looks awesome. Who's this to my left? I'll be able to work it out. Who's this to my left? Start tracking. Oh, RB211s. There you go. That's what they are. It's, uh... Oh, you're flying with me as well. There you go. That's Rastique. That's Rastique. Nice. Bang. The best engine, the RB211. Is it just because it sounds good or it looks good? Why is it, why is it the best engine? Both. It sounds and looks nice. Fair play. Fair play. Fair play. Not a question for me, Ash. Nice. He's just checking everybody's on board. What's on it? What's on his? What's on it? What's on your? What's on your clipboard, mate? I want to have a look. Show it. Performance data sheet. Weight and balance. Empty weight. Pilot. Rear. Something. Baggage. Oh, there you go. Thanks, mate. So he's got to fill out that sheet every time. Okay. The sheet's empty, mate. You haven't done a good job. Oh, he's just disappeared. Roger. Nice. Believe what I did for us. Are we ready to go, guys? I am think I'm ready to go. Nice. We'll push back as well in a second. Hopefully... Oh. No, actually, we can both push back at the same time, Rastik. Because you're facing right. We're taking off zero one, yeah? What I did for love. Uh, I did not know they make Gatling guns. No. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yes, Ken. Awesome. Thank you. I was going to anyway, but. <laughs> uh, flight control side stick fault. Calibrate null zones. It seems to be working. Right, block fuel, block weight can be so You get that all the time, okay, I'll just ignore it. Uh, we'll go ground services, we'll disconnect the... Actually, no, if we call the beacon, that should do everything for me now. There you go, GP's disconnected now as well. Perfect, I forgot about that. Sweet. Yeah, I learned. Sweet, perfect, there we go, nice. It's annoying. Yeah, I just ignore it. It's fine. Thank you again, guys, for all those bits. I really do appreciate that. Damien, Peter, Andy, Noah. Thank you, guys. And Stephen. I hope believe what I did for love. We'll be a second, Rastique. Sorry, buddy. I wish there was, Drone. There's not. <laughs> I don't think there is anyway. I mean, you might have already looked at your settings, but I don't think there's a separate... No. You just have it all in one. It would be nice because other, like when you're trying to listen to ATC, you've got this massive like blaring plane to your right starting its engines. It is so loud. I agree. I do agree. Um, oh, Rastic, mate. I love that. I could do with some food. Right, push back nose right. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, I did have my Nando's yesterday. If any of you guys were in the stream yesterday, I did have my Nando's. I had 10 chicken wings, chips, garlic bread, and a chocolate cake. Oh, my God. The chocolate cake was gorgeous. I did pay, like, £4 for the chocolate cake, though. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. It was a full-on, like, gatto cake, but it was so nice. It was so good. There, I wish there was more of it, though, unfortunately, but... Yeah, I did have a Nando yesterday. All right, parking brake off, uh, and it's still getting that 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 issue with the, the side stick, but we'll clear it anyway. Um, and we'll go ignition crank engine number two, and we'll start engine number two. Four quid for a cake is not a bargain, mate. I could have bought an entire cake in Sainsbury's for four quid. Um, yeah, we go. Um, and you say I eat a lot when I go to McDonald's. What? Two garlic breads, ten chicken wings, chips, and chocolate cake. Is that a lot? Seems about right, Alice. Um, four is not a lot. Oh, okay. Chris Camera, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. My 19,300th follower, mate. Welcome in. There you go. We'll get these lovely IEs started as well. They do sound awesome. They do sound very, very nice. There you go. Maybe we should load into flights in MMX so I can hear the ATC. Mate, you, you're welcome to. There, there is no ATC, True Demon, though. Because it's just Unicom at the minute and me and Rastik talking to each other. Probably not the best place to spawn in if you want to hear ATC. Oh, the rumble. I love it. Uh, wait, hang on. Mrs. Clan had to go, didn't she? 
Yeah, Mrs. Clans, hopefully you're still here. I missed your message. I don't like missing messages. See you soon. She's definitely gone already. Uh, what's your take of runway? Zero one. Zero one. Uh, my appetite can never eat that much. I had 20 chicken nug McNuggets the day before. I literally had McDonald's, Nando's as the last two dinners I've had. That's bad. That is bad, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right, anyway, just just don't copy my diet, please. Um, I'll have German Donner kebab tonight. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I won't. Uh, right, okay, perfect. We'll go flap set to one and arm the speed break. And we had a Chinese the other night, that is very true. Stop outing, Alice. We did have a Chinese yesterday. They, no, yesterday, last week. Oh, good, you're still here, Miss Clan. Good, I'm let off. Phew, I'm let off the hook. Because I remember seeing your message and I, I was going to acknowledge it, but I genuinely got so sidetracked in talking about Nando's. Oops. There you go. Nice. We've got screaming kids in our flight. Yippee. Right, uh, that's so weird seeing the shot. I'm going to take it to 12,000 because 11,000 is annoying me. Right, engine one's just starting. Max auto brake. Tax like we turned on. There we go. Nice ass. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The cabin is not working. The internal cabin is not working. There's old FSX videos. I don't remember watching those old FSX videos. Unfortunately. Is it raining outside? It's not far off. Right, we'll do a flight control check. We'll set our trim up 0 0.4. And we'll do a flight control check. Full up, full down, full left ailerons, full right. Full left rudder, full right rudder. Nice. And traffic. Uh, Valaris 5, correction, no, Valaris, yeah, 562. We're going to be taxiing runway 01 uh, for departure. Nice. Uh, I went for medium, Dan. I didn't have any specific sauce with it, though. I got my own. Ketchup and barbecue. Ketchup and barbecue. Oh, there you go. You're still flying. So valid. Nice, parking brake released and we'll get moving. Um, yeah, he for I mean, ha uh, True Demon, download a program called VatSpy. VatSpy will help you out in choosing and seeing what ATC is online. You don't want, you only want to be logging on where there is air, air traffic control. Um, so yeah, have a look what ATC is on on uh, on online. That spy is pretty good. If that's ATC, I'm screwed. Okay, it's a right now. Hi, Paul. Let's say, if that's ATC calling me for my clearance, that's awkward. But we're all right. Well, weather system we can turn on. Uh, and we have a company message which will be our final load sheet, which we'll accept as well. Okay. Catch and barbecue with Nando's. It needs to be hot peri peri extra. Nah. I'm not one for hot spicy food, so Nando's isn't always my go-to. You have Vaz by already. Have a look at this. Oh my god. Sorry, we're brake checking Rastique. Oh no, he's not moved yet. Good. Alright, there we go. Cabin check. But well, we can't check it yet because they're still doing the safety briefing. This is going to be a good flight, actually. With the sun rising as well, this flight's going to be really nice. Oops. We recommend you read it before takeoff or landing. We need to backtrack the runway. If the PDC screen is not on the aircraft, how do you enable it? The PDC screen? What do you mean PDC, sorry? It'd be Karen, probably. The cabin is now secure for takeoff. Thank you. And uh, traffic will allow us 562. We're going to be backtracking runway 01 uh, for departure. Uh, BB Racer, I don't know, mate. I can't check right now. Sorry. We should do opposite takeoffs. That is true, Rastik. That is very true. 
Uh, do you have any good website for aviation news? Uh, not really. I've got a good one for MSFS scenery and stuff, which is FS Elite, but not one for aviation news like real life, no. Sorry, racing mate, we're just about to depart. Um, uh, yeah, FG Swift, what is, an, what is a PDC screen, mate? Primary flight display is PFD. I don't know what a PDC is. Do you mean the EFB? The one where ATC contacts you via the little screen. Oh, the C oh, CPDLC. If it's not here, you have to enable it in your air. So some liveries have it, some liveries don't. You might just have the screws where it's not actually there. Pre-departure clearance, yeah, sorry, PDC. Um, I hold down the brightness and it turns on. If, you, if it's not there, I think you've got to go into Phoenix, Sim settings. One of them enables it. Uh, oh, I've, I should have I've done this wrong, haven't I? <sighs> Hang on. Sorry, we're just going to have to somehow screw this up, but it's fine. We'll do a really sharp right hand turn. Um, airframe. DCDU, maybe? Yeah. Airframe and then DCDU, FG Swift. Phoenix settings, airframe, DCDU. We need to get takeoff lights on as well. This is going to be a very gorgeous departure. The runway slopes down in the middle as well. You're welcome. Right, let's get takeoff lights on. APU should have been turned off as well. That's naughty. Uh, landing lights on. Seabus signs are on as well. Beacons all on. 12,000 feet. Takeoff config. Takeoff config normal. Flaps one and that back to normal. And traffic. Valaris 562. We're departing. Runway 01. Here we go. Right, full sends in the chat. Full sends in the chat. There we go. Let's get out of there. Fifty percent. Fifty percent stable. And man flex SRS auto frost is blue. Let's go. Nice. Bye Rastic. See ya. Rumble sounds amazing. 100 knots. V1 uh, rotates. Could have done with flaps two to be fair, but it's okay. Just about. <laughs> Pods to rate of climb gear up. Yeah, we couldn't have really done much more than that. That was close. There's the sun. Sun's just rising. Although we're turning, we're turning left away from the sun. Yeah, crawling out there. That's the one. Crawling out. Look at that for it. That looks sick. You got the little traffic on the road as well, or on the field. Flying is so cool. Climb for us. Fossil climb. Climb. Come on, there we go. Climb nav, autopilot one on. Oh, it sounds amazing. Goodbye. Very nice. Oh, wow. It's only a 40 minute flight, by the way. It's not that long at all. Not that long at all. all right, we'll keep the seatbelt signs on for the moment. We'll turn off the takeoff lights. And we will go flap zero. And stun speed break. There we go. Turb, uh, turb, sorry. Cheers to the follow. Welcome in, mate. We're just flying some aircraft. Very nice. We should get some more cabin announcements soon as well. They play baseball in Mexico. Baseball, football, soccer, whatever it is. I mean, every country plays baseball, but you know what I mean. I thought it was more of an American thing. Could be a could be rounders. Definitely baseball. Right, seatbelt signs off and flaps are already on zero. Through 8,900 feet. The airport elevation is quite high in Mexico, so um, we need to make sure we're doing that for our minimums as well. 
Well, we'll turn down the sound of the sim because that is very nice sounding, but it's very, very loud. Uh, oh. Can't really hear what they're saying. Sweet. Well, on a merry way. Blue line, blue icon. You got to love it. Okay. Translate, please. What the Spanish? Yeah, sure. Please don't use electronic devices in airplane mode. It's, it's, right, it's quite easy to translate, Hassan. Thank you for your attention. There you go. Good translation. Right, uh, let's get some absolute tunes on. I am flying on my own right now, so this song's quite relevant. Uh, we'll get predictions open for the next half an hour as well. Um... Dun, 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 half an hour. Start prediction. Bosh. There you go. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I've just realised Rastique's managed to get 25 gifted subs this month. That's why you gifted free earlier, Rastique. I didn't realise. Did not realise. Right, let's continue climbing flight level 2. What are we putting crews as? 300. Flight level 300. Dun, 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 dun. Right, that should continue climbing flight level 300, and we are flying on our own to Mexico City. Top of climb, top of descent. Pretty valid. How's the arrival look, actually? Dun, 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 dun. Works quite well for me. We got a discontinuity, though, that I want to get rid of. Bosh. Vibes, vibes, and more vibes. That's what we go for. There you go. You better not get under 200 now. I use 10k. I will. I won't let you down, Nutrient. I won't let you down. This has been really nice, actually. Really scenic. Really, really cool. There you go. It. Do, I do like this livery. I do like this livery. Flying on my own. Oh, yeah, guys. I've got to tell you guys something, actually. Uh, actually, no, I won't. Uh, hang on. So, do you know the... Um, do you know the guys at Aviation Lads? I need to reply to their message because it came through this morning. Do you know Aviation Lads? The people that make all the trailers um, for, like, different scenery developers. They, they, you know, you guys... I'll show you. Hang on. Aviation Lads. These guys... If it wants to load. Yeah, they, they make like, some really, really cool, sick trailers for certain airports and stuff like that. They um they reached out to me on Instagram. Um, just saying that they've been watching the streams recently and really enjoying them. So, really appreciate that. Um, let me just reply to them because I forgot to reply to you this morning. They sent me a message at 7am in the morning. Um... There you go. A new intro, new stream intro when, yeah. I should, uh, I should, I should hook them up and be like, look, I, I want a, I want a Kecko Jet intro for my stream of a flight. To be fair, that's, that's actually a, not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. Can go phone, I know. Sorry. Well, a departure, Rustic, is so good, mate. The departure is absolutely gorgeous. See, I, I do I do try my best to pick locations in the world that are, you know, quite nice. It would be... A, I don't know, what. how would it work? They're just like, what, a plane, like, departing or kind of landing or... I feel like a plane departing for the intro and then a plane landing for the arrival. But, like, some sort of weather special preset for it as well. Would have to do. Would have to do it. Uh... Do, 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 do... Rev did suggest these flights, Ash. Yeah, all credit to Rev. 
God damn it. You're not meant to say that, Ash. We're still getting this flight control check no zone issue, but no well. It's fine. Oh, there's better songs than this. There's much better songs than this. Uh, this is a... Uh, we had this song earlier, but it's fine. We'll get this on. I know, actually, well, this song... This song... Uh, this song is good. As well. There's loads of good songs. I don't know. Uh, I honestly think Arrivals and Departure in EU are most boring. Yeah. There's they, just... I mean, obviously, around the Alps, you know, that area is nice. Around Switzerland, Innsbruck. But most of Europe is flat. You know, especially, like, Germany, that kind of area. It's just kind of... There's not really much there. Um, but as you know, these these areas of the world, you get crazy terrain, crazy approaches. You know, I like Europe, of course I do, because it's where I live. But this part of the world is gorgeous. Yeah, round it exactly. I agree. I agree. Um, if you got to refuel the plane, what? How much fuel do you have? Queenstown, yeah. Uh, um, New Zealand. I live in the UK, Peter. Correct. I live in Kent, which is near Canterbury, which is all near London. Surely, surely you've heard of Canterbury. But yeah, I live in the UK, not Europe. You're getting low fuel. You, you, uh, you'll be fine. Just keep cancelling them. If you, if you clear the warnings, you can't see them. Therefore, it's not a problem. It's the way it works for me. Do, do you like the song now, Nora? You like all my T-shirts, and you're now liking the songs. Oh, 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 You fly with a controller? No. I use the controller to do the cameras. I do fly with a side stick. A lot of people think that, I think. like I feel like a lot of people know that I fly with a controller. I don't fly with a controller. I use it for the, the, the cameras. I fly with a Logitech X56. Look, I'll show you my... Uh, let me go on camera mode. There you go. You can see my side stick and... I don't know. Oh, that's not going to focus. I need to change my lens. No, hang on. Let me make this. Uh... Oh, oh! I think I took the picture. Hang on. Sorry. Oh, you're staring at me. Hi, guys. Hang on. Why is it? Why can? Why is? I trying to sort something out. Goalie, good morning. Hello. There's a hint. Shut up. Shut up. Why is it not opening? Oh, it's because I need to unlock my phone first. There you go. Right, let me show you my setup. There you go. It's, it just doesn't focus. This camera is so bad. Ah, I think I need to... Man Maybe it's on manual focus. Is it going to focus? Hello? That's Zoom. I, I don't have it. I might just go back to my old lens. I don't understand that camera. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right, main. There we go. That was a bit close. Wow. This is what I mean. My, 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 my web, like, genuinely, this camera is like the best purchase I've ever made. But um, I need to change the lens to the old one again. I changed the lens to a different lens, but it just does. It doesn't. It just nowhere near as good. Um, yeah, Dan. I know you've heard the story about ten billion times before. I know. Te right, Joey. Shut up at my eyebrows, okay? The, the, the barber always tells me, "Do I want anything done to them?" And I don't know what to say. Um, because he's always wanting them. But yeah, there you go. How'd you like the passenger views? Uh, you can download them all on my website. It's, uh, hang on, exclamation mark views. There you go. If you go on that website there, you can download them. It's got a description on how to install them as well. All of these planes here have wing views. And they're all, like, inside and outside ones as well. Legend, you're welcome. I, I, I presume, I hope you have some of those. I don't have, I think I've got, I don't have, like, default aircraft, but most, I think I, I might have the default A320 on there, but. Um, yeah, most of them are sort of payware ones as well. Uh, tell him you want a fade on your eyebrows. Two, two on the top three. At the, oh, no. Never. I need to get my hair. The thing is, like, look, look I, I had my hair cut, what, like, literally two weeks ago. It's already grown back to an absolute mob. So, no, I need to get it cut again. I need to get it cut again. Did you screenshot me? Yeah, you did. It's, it's very zoomed in. Uh, do you stream every day, David? I do. Yes, I do. It looks like you have been streaming every day this week, but since I'm new to your account, um, is it just because you have time or do you usually stream most days? Uh, I mean, this is my full-time job, David, which is crazy, I know. Um, 
I've had a full-time job for four or five years, uh, and I managed to get this account with sponsorships and your guys' support to a point where I could take it full-time. Um, and yeah, we've been streaming full-time for like seven, eight months now. Um, and obviously it's half-term, it's autumn half-term, Easter half-term, whatever now. Um, and yeah, I do have a life. I do touch grass, I promise. Um, but yeah, my normal schedule is 10 a.m. weekdays. Um, and occasional evening streams on weekdays, and then eve uh, weekends, I try and do a bit of both as well. Um, I do have days off, but, um, not many. Not many. Uh, a Mercedes sponsor. <laughs> That's so Photoshop, bro. <laughs> That's jinxy, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, landed in Manchester about an hour ago, uh, Beluga, on your way down to Lanzarote. Where are you going now, Beluga? We're back off to Mexico City. We're flying back to Mexico City right now. Uh, we're on a completely different aircraft as well. Uh, Mercedes sponsorship won't be happening. I do not like Mercedes. I genuinely just don't like them. Uh, gotta love having a streamer you like watching who streams often. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I mean, I, I mean, like I, said, I try and stream as much as I possibly can. There might not be as, you know, there might be some streams that are more entertaining and appeal more to a certain audience of people. There might be certain streams that seem a bit boring for some people, blah, blah, blah. I try and mix it up. I try and change it as much as I can for everybody. Um, you know, I, I would like, you know, there is sometimes where I stream different games. It's not just Flight Sim. And then everyone's kind of weirded out being like, oh, why are you streaming this? You know, you're not on Flight Sim, but it's like, well, you know, it's nice to say different, but there you go. Um, yeah, it's good, David. It's definitely good. Uh, watching your landing into, uh, and never given that the lag spike already happened yesterday, if you should delete your NVIDIA cache or visit the airport before you fly it for the sim to preload. I, I've already preloaded it, though. Although I did restart my sim. But yeah, I have already preloaded it. How do I delete my NVIDIA cache, Lito? How do I do that? Cheerful Michael, great to see you. Hello, do you do iRacing? Yes, I love iRacing. Class A. My iRacing is not that good, but I have spent way too much money on iRacing. Um, if you're cockpit racing, have a look at my wheel. That's that's all my setup there. Um, yeah, F1. I, lo I love all that stuff. F1 and, like, aviation and planes. What's your I rating, Michael? Dun, dun, dun. Supermarket Sim, we need to get that back as well. Mitsubishi sponsorship will happen. Bono, great to see you. Hello, Ashdev. Ashdev is here. Oh, my God. Ashdev, how have you been, mate? When was the last time you sent a message in my chat? Hello. I feel like we haven't spoken in years. <gasps> it's been three and a two and a half years. Oh, my God. How have you been? How was life? <laughs> I, I just, I caught, I, like, I caught your, like, name and I was like, hang on a minute. I recognize you. Hopefully you're well, mate. Great. Welcome. If any of you don't know who Asdev is, you weren't around on the original, like, original days of Twitch. Of Flight Sim, anyway. I'm not calling you old, Asdev. I'm not calling you old. That's crazy. Two and a half years ago. Mate, how times have changed. You might, to be fair, you might have lurked in the past anyway, just not said anything, but, um... Hello. <laughs> uh, when are we going to do a Kenko Night of iRacing? Uh... I'm not good enough for... I mean, if you guys want, we can do our own hosted on iRacing, but um, I don't think I'm good enough to stream my racing. Create a series kind of is a definition of that. Um, but there you go. Recently got back into simming. You've been away for a while. Nice. Well, hopefully your little sim break has uh, gave you a good reset. Um, mate, I, I, I need to probably... I mean, I, I, I don't feel burnt out on simming, to be fair. Um, I do need to get a life, though. <laughs> You know, I can't lie. Um, I'm hoping to get a new car this year, move out next year. Um, and then just kind of try and build up the channel as much as I can. Um, just over those years, really. I've got always, I've got failover backup plans anyway. But yeah, so far, so good. Though. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad you are well. And a girlfriend. Well, that's in the pipeline, Dan. But at the moment, it's just going to cause way too much faff, honestly. Uh, here, it explains about NVIDIA Cash. Perfect, Lito. Thank you. I, I won't know how to do it now. Um, oh, wow, okay. I will, um, yeah, I, well, this looks quite a good video, actually. And this is 2020, performance stutter fix. Delete all shader cache to improve performance. Right, I'll do, as soon as I've ended the stream later, I will do that. Thank you so much for sending that over. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, heard that before. I wouldn't want it streamed anyway, just a chilled night of hosted. Yeah, th th that could work as well, Andy. I mean, I do a lot of hosted with my, with my mates on Discord anyway, or like off stream. Um, just racing like around Watkins Glen and various other various other tracks as well. Um, Matt's going to stream his wedding. Which life event will you stream for us, Ian? Is he actually? Wait, has Chewy confirmed he's going to stream his wedding? Really? 
<laughs> That's crazy. Um, what, Matt as in Chewy Matt? Um, what live event will I stream? Uh, I mean, I feel like wedding's quite a big life event. Um, yeah, I don't think you have to be good to stream my racing. I think it'll be refreshing to see someone stream it who isn't an alien. I rate that. I rate that. Hey, Arcane, hello, welcome. Top of, closest to my top of descent. We are, we are, actually. We've been enjoying the views a little bit too much. Uh, we need to get destination data. Let me, let me chuck chat back in over here. There we go. Um, getting with Hannah. Wingman with, just, just a date night with Hannah is what I'll live stream. Could you imagine the view count? Me and Hannah sat at, uh, sat in like a, a restaurant. It's just me and Hannah with like our dinner we're just eating and talking to chat mate that's my dreams um your life's going to change in two months you're going to vegas find someone at fs expo get married in vegas he works at a car dealership and father owns 10 property um, i mean you never know it could happen it could happen to one of the finest restaurants in london if she's paying. I'm joking. <laughs> of course I'm paying. Um, all 19.3k followers will turn up for it, imagine. I'm actually scared for FS Expo, I can't lie. Uh, do you take Chewbacca to take your wife? Yeah, oh, wait a second. Thanks to the gift of sub. That's how I can imagine it going. <laughs> yeah, that would be, to be fair, Bonner, you've nailed that, actually. Yeah. They uh, are <laughs> just halfway through. Oh, we got a five gifted sub. Sorry. Yes, I will be your wife. <laughs> Uh, you're not too bad, Arcade. Uh, bad tested MSFS with a Samsung Galaxy S9 Ultra tablet. Oh, you t was it you who told me about this? How good it was? And then someone else in chat's got one. Someone the other day said, "Like, oh my god, how good it was." It might have been you. Is it? Is it like really, like really good resolution and everything? Um, no, Yawn, I'm not, bro. Hannah's, like, not listening to anything I'm doing, so I've just kind of... I've got to cancel her out of my life. She's, uh... It's a one-way thing, so obviously, you know, it's just... It's a waste of my effort. It's a waste of my energy. You know. It won't happen. Um... I, every time I try and follow... I followed her once on Instagram, and she's rejected it. Maybe she accidentally rejected it. That's what I keep telling myself. But never mind. I mean, you know, I feel like we just gave each other that look in Sainsbury's, but... Whatever. I enjoyed the time in Sainsbury's, but now nah. there is definitely a Hannah V2 out there somewhere that's much better than the actual Hannah. What's copium? What's copium? Accidentally rejected. Why are you laughing at me? What have I done? Um, sliding in her DMs for Ian. No, I, I, no. I did, there's 226 people here. Um, I, no. I did leak her surname, though, which was quite awkward, but. Uh, Rev, look what you've done. I know, it's all Rev's fault. Come to Sweden. See, I do like, yeah, but they're all tall. I'm not going to Sweden. I'm five foot four. I'm not going to Sweden. Swedish people do look amazing, and Zara Larsson is amazing, but, you know, the chances of that is very minimal. Uh, yeah, Britain, mate, we gave up after 10 minutes. So, today's flying has been a Embraer circling around Mexico City. Then we then flew a 737 down here, and now we're flying an A320 back. Three different aircraft, three different flights. So, there you go. Um, I'm very insecure. I'm very insecure. Um, yeah, Philippines people, Thai people are very small. That is very funny. Ha ha ha. Uh, I still remember being shocked when he showed me what she looked like, NMFA. Why were you shocked? In a bad way or good way, Benson? Uh, it, so yeah, it, the only reason we changed uh, out of the Embraer was because the MCP panel just wouldn't work the entire way down, so... Oh, the entire, like, the whole departure. So I just like, well, let's just land it and let's change aircraft. So we did. So we did. Um, in a good way. Oh, good. Okay. My taste is good then. Right, I'm not even not even showing that, Hassan. Um, but yeah. You're way too late in Mexico City. What do you mean? Way too late? 
Oh my god, Rustic didn't disconnect from Vansom. Um, Rev, I not a 0% chance, but it is a 0% chance now, but... Whatever. I mean, it's just a shame. Like, I'm 24 and a half. Like, there's some people that have a full-on family and, like, kids by now. But, you know. I guess I'm a flight sim streamer. Doesn't probably go well, don't go down too well, does it? I don't know. I mean, a content creator. I think content creator sounds better than flight sim streamer. I don't know. Um... Who disconnected? Did someone disconnect, Rastic? How dare they? How dare they? He, Jamie doesn't go on dates all the time. No, he doesn't. He doesn't... I mean, I don't know anything on what Jamie gets up to. Uh, you're only 24. Yeah, I suppose I've got my whole life ahead of me. That's true. Uh, there's no rush to get a girl. Exactly. I'm with Jamie anyway. What? I'm joking. Um, it's, only, it's also 2024. I'm meeting someone the old-fashioned way. Yeah, it's, it's so true, Breton. Like, this whole generation is absolutely f***ed. I can't lie. Um, but yeah, let's enter chat into first dates and it will say Ian24. Yeah, li this is what I mean, Yawn. This is, this is the problem. Steve, good afternoon. How was your stream at like 6am this morning? I'm joking. It wasn't far off though. Um, yeah, there you go. Hi, Jamie. Jamie, how are you feeling any better, by the way? Are you feeling any better? I forgot to send you a snap earlier because I send you snaps every single morning now, don't I? I don't know. Um, feeling awful. What do you have? Is it man flu? Or is it like a cold? Or what is it? You're my holiday. The ocean. Hang on. Let me just send. Let me uh, not send something. I'm just checking something. Um, a very bad case of man. Oh, very bad case. That sounds awful. Rip. Hopefully it's only a one day thing. Just rest. I guess. But have to have since the last five minutes of my stream. Really? I'm on it. I think you were streaming the whole time I was streaming yesterday, so I didn't catch any of your stream. By my side. Uh hang on. Can we hear this? I can't. Mute. There we go. I was genuinely worried about your streaming sound like that, Jamie. Oh my god, you sound awful! <gasps> That's... Jamie! No! Do you have a voice? Oh, does it get worse? No way does it get worse. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. I'm not laughing at you, Jamie. I'm laughing with you. <laughs> Poor Jamie. <laughs> I bet everybody was clipping it. Oh, poor you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We've all been there. We've all had that bad voice, okay? Oh, poor, poor Jamie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Loving the chat for Jamie. I hope you feel better soon, mate. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, right, we are on descent anyway. Uh, we need to put in... Oh, 8,000 is fine, actually. We, we're landing in like two, three minutes. Beautiful views out the window. There's all the... There you go. We all love you, Jamie. We all love you. Oh, that was brilliant. Uh, uh. Oh, look. Britain's even sending you a donation in to order in soup. There you go. I love that. I love that. That is amazing. So, I don't think Jamie drinks soup, though. Are you a soup drinker, Jamie? Voice is better today, but you just probably have no energy. You're on my holiday. I used to... I had, like, tomato soup once in, like, year seven and... Uh, could never i could never anything that's like 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 i don't like hot drinks like coffee tea or anything like that and soup's kind of like i don't know it, nah, I, I, it's not for me not for me peter good soup peter you cheered so much um cream of mushroom soup cheers for picking those fights wait no worries mate for cat mate thank good you soup. i appreciate it did you wait you either have one that flew with us 
Um, Peter, you're insane. 4,000 bits, mate. Pretty much all from today as well. Thank you so much. Um, good soup indeed. Luca, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, chicken noodle soup from a deli. Again, I, I, I don't want to touch it. It's like yogurt. Why would you ever get yogurt with bits in it? It reminds me of a soup. Why would you ever get a soup with, like, chunks of chicken in it or something? Like, you just wouldn't. And then when you have a yogurt, you don't want bits of yogurt in it. Orange juice, you don't want bits of orange in it. You just get rid of the bits. You are weird, I am. I'm fussy. I'm not weird, I'm fussy. Like, if I have a yogurt, I have chocolate in it. You know, those little chocolate chips. You and me together, as dev, it's fine. Hi, Tom! Are you an eight-year-old? No, I just haven't grown up yet. <laughs> bits are great, yes. Peter's just shed 500 of his finest bits on me. Koala, I'm a, that, that koala bit thing. I'm not going to forget about that. I feel like we've got to make it a, a, a thing. So, if any of you weren't in the stream earlier, right? We've been talking about emotes the entire stream. Because I'm going to get uh, like 10 emotes made or something over the next few weeks with Sophie. And uh, I've been trying to get your ideas together. And I've noticed on Twitch you can now get emotes based on how many bits that people have cheered. And you can have them forever. And I was like, what should we do for a bit cheer? And randomly, I was just like, why don't we just have a koala with his bits out? And I was just like, mm. yeah, I, it was just it, the way I said it, it was perfect. But I mean, it would make a good emote. But I don't think Twitch will allow it. Um, behind you, Kenko. So valid. So valid. So valid. Um... Uh, hang on. What are your thoughts about ramen, then? I don't know what ramen is. That sounds really bad, but I don't. Uh, I've got a theory which will break your heart. Tough love is needed. Don't break my heart, Jamie. You've already broken it. I'm joking. That sounds really me. That sounds really like... Aw. Um, ramen. Sorry. What's the story, Jamie, that's going to break my heart? I'm already heartbroken. Hannah is the thing of the past. Like, yeah, exactly. I agree, Jamie. I know. I'm totally in. I'm totally with you. And the way I look at Hannah now is a trash can. And you know, Hannah V2 is better. It's simple. So it's a massive. It's yeah. I totally agree. I totally agree. How do you not know what Raymond is? I don't know. Not been educated. Oh, it's a it's a Japanese noodle dish of Chinese origin. Well, I would never eat that. It's just an English breakfast in a bowl. You get your bacon, you got your noodles, you got your egg. Yeah. That's not bacon. That's definitely not bacon. I, I, my, my parents have never dished me up that, so, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know, Peter. I need to move out, mate. That's what I need to do. Then I'll start living. Um, Raymen. Raymen. <laughs> I did, Jamie, yes. <laughs> it's an English breakfast that's got a flood all over it. It's a flooded English breakfast. <laughs> ramen. There you go. Ramen. Ramen. Raw men. I don't know. Uh, oh, whatever. You can j just keep chatting amongst yourselves. Um, right. We need to descend. Oh, we need to be at 70,000 next waypoint. Oh, can we just land already? Oh, that's bad. No. No clipping. No clipping. I don't have an excuse for being ill. Can we just land already? There you go. The, the voice came out then. That sounded painful. Um, girlfriend hands uh, eating a yogurt orange juice with bits in it. He says, what the fuck is that? I'm sorry. I can't date someone who likes bits in their food. It's true. Um, <gasps> Jamie, are you actually? Maybe, maybe we can have a meet up before Vegas. Uh, two weeks. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm free in April. I'm very busy in May, June, and July, though. Um, <laughs> Britain, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, date night's on, Jamie. Date night is on. You can dish me up some yogurt with bits in it. Um, <laughs> Britain, thank you very much for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Shall we sack off across the pond? Absolutely. We can go live on our channels, Jamie, when everyone's crossing the pond and we can be on date night together in a really fancy restaurant in London. That sounds like an absolute vibe. Um, they don't do chicken nuggets and chips in Wagamama's. No, they don't, do they? True. I had Nando's yesterday. I had uh, McDonald's the day before. 
My diet has not been best. I don't think Wagamama's is probably going to be, be great tonight. But yeah. Next, in a few weeks, it'll be fine. In a few weeks, it'll be fine. Uh, I think, don't think Wagamama's is considered really fancy. What kind of food can you get at Wagamama's? I've never had a Wagamama's. All right. Okay. What was the Nando's order? Uh, 10 chicken wings with chips. It was a medium. It was medium uh, with two garlic breads and a very nice chocolate cake. The chocolate cake was delish. Hang on. There you go. It was so nice. It was so good. Um, thank you for your gift to Sub Britain. He says, oh, Ian. Out of all the things that could have in Ando's, I had 10 chicken wings. Okay, I'm sorry. Ugh. Jamie, let's not have a Wagamama's. What the hell? What is their menu? I'm sorry. I won't eat that. I won't eat that. I won't eat that. No, 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 no. I'm fussy. It looks dull. I just know. You get chili squid. Squid? Ebi katsu, chicken gyozas, bao buns, and a ramen. Ramen. Jamie, you need to, like, teach me about food or something, because I, I, I don't really know what that is. I'm just going to stop talking. Can we just go from McDonald's date night, Jamie, and we can both have our happy meals and be happy together? <laughs> like, that, that would just solve all life problems. It'll be so much cheaper, and we get a free toy with it. I'm such a kid. Oh, my God. Um, I'm only joking. I'm joking. Oh, my God. I'm joking. Um, what would someone that doesn't like bits in their mouth, Kenko? What? If it's not plain chicken and those smiley face... Oh my god, the smiley face potatoes. And you get the dino ham with it as well. Um, a rain man, exactly. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Turkey Twizzlers are so valid. In the Netherlands, which we're having saying, blah, 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 we translate to the farmer won't eat something he doesn't know. And I think, yeah, that does apply to me. Yawn, that does really apply to me, mate. It does apply to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jamie would want to be nothing more but the fly on the wall my first date. Brilliant. Who's to says I haven't had a lo loads of dates already, Jamie? What would you mean? I don't understand. You've missed many opportunities on many of my dates. Genuinely. Better listen. I wasn't saying that a first date. Oh, any of the dates. Any of the dates. You said it, not me. I did. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Ian, please remember message. It's an emo idea. Tune Can you send it to me as a Discord DM? Because chat is moving very quickly. Is that Q8? Uh, what's Q8? Yeah, we're flying into Q8. Correct. Not about half past ten. First time in history, Ian goes on his first date. It's raining men. It's raining men on my first date. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Let's change the song. <laughs> That's being changed. Uh, right. Anyway, we're on our way down. Let's go landing system. I should oh, never approach you. Landing system on. Sounds like, it sounds like, <laughs> so, I mean, it could be some people, I'm not judging, it could be some people's types of dates, it's fine. Not a problem, Kappa Prides in chat, ladies and gentlemen, Kappa Prides in chat. Um, hello Jeff, how are you? Welcome, hello. Jamie's running over me, mate, Jamie would literally, like, Jamie's like six foot, I'm five foot four. Like, Jamie always looks down on me and I always look up to Jamie, okay. It's always been the way, it's always been the way. Ah. <sighs> Last message from board, mate. There's no chance I'm reading that. I don't know where it is. Like, look, look at, look. Chat's just turned gay. Not a problem. Uh, YouTube video. How to pronounce ramen. They don't say it in the video. Uh, turn up the music. Uh, it's loud enough. It's loud enough. Ooh. I'm just, I'm just literally, I'm just all an act, guys. I'm all an act. That's a lot of ice on your cockpit. Concentrate on the approach. We are fine. We are genuinely fine. 
This ain't Texas. Ain't no hold'em. Auto break, yeah. Blow's fine. Once the song's finished, we'll focus on the approach. Actually, no, screw it. We'll focus on the approach now. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, wrong Q and H. Correct Q and H. Um. Oh. Correct Q and H. Right, anyway, we are on an Arnav approach into runway 05 left into Mexico City. The Formula 1 Grand Prix is over to our right somewhere. We'll try and spot it on our way down. We never enter destination data, but we can do that now. Uh, QNH is 3022 is the altimeter. Temperature is uh, 10 degrees centigrade, 8 degrees dew point. Winds are 0 at 0 at 4 knots. Um, and we'll have a lovely flight down. Barrier minimums for Mexico City runway 05 left. Uh, is 7,800. We're using Avina and down now, so that's fine. Correct. Awesome. Uh, there's likely... There is literally no reason to. Because I'm different, Rev, and... Yeah, there is no reason to. No, no there is a reason to, because it's going to get me on minor approach speed. That's why we're on managed. Although I did just activate approach phase, that's probably why. Um, have you tried Popeye's fried chicken? No. Is it, is it good? I've never had a Popeye's. I've been told to not eat Popeye's when I go to America. Is it American? Yes, it is American. I've never had a Popeye's. I've never been to America. I don't know. Some people said it's disgusting chicken. It's like KFC, but like terrible version. Is it good? Like, do, would, would you, should I have a Popeye's? Sim looks awesome, by the way. Can we stop talking about food as well? I'm really hungry. Although I did start it. It's overpriced. What about In-N-Out Burger? Is that any good? In-N-Out? Right, speed 180. Uh, Mexico City traffic, uh, Valaris 562. We're on about a 15 nautical mile final runway, 05 left track miles. Uh, we'll let you know when we're on a shorter final and we're at speed 180. That will hopefully inform Rastique of our presence. Wendy's is also pretty bad. in and out is very good, Taylor. Okay. Wendy's, in and out Love Wingstop as well. I haven't heard of half of these places. I've heard about America, you order a lot less than you're meant to as well. I have heard about that. So in America, if you want to order something, you've got to order a lot. Like, don't, don't over-order because the portion sizes are massive. Chick Chick-fil-A as well. Yeah, I've heard about Chick-fil-A. In-N-Out burgers are great. The chips are not so much. Okay, KFC chips are goated, by the way. If you've not had the new KFC chips, you need to try them. They are so nice. Right, anyway. Sorry, food. Um, right, we'll go flaps two in just a second. We'll get the gear down. Uh, we're coming in very quick, actually. If we get the gear down now, we'll be able to go flaps two and get the speed brake back in and armed as well. Um, I've never had Chick-fil-A. No. Is there a flat after this? Uh, I doubt it. Because I really need to go and get some food. And we're talking about food non-stop. So <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. We have, uh, it's only a four-hour stream there. We can come back. Oh, no. Darts are on this evening. We can do a longer stream tomorrow. Uh, cabin check all forward aft. Uh, and flaps. Uh, flaps free. And Mexico City traffic. Valaris 562. Uh, we've got about five miles to run. Run with 05 left. If you're wondering why we're still at 9,000 feet, that's because the airport and uh, Mexico City is so elevated and we haven't got terrible visual here as well. Minute approach speed. Oh, I've just gone off climb for us. There we go. Cabin nice. crew must now be seated for landing. Thank Sweet. you. Sweet. Thanks, Karen from The Apprentice. Right, we're good. Here we go. Down we One go. Five. Make sure we're still following that VDEV because we are a little bit above that VDEV. Still no visual. Misty, murky, foggy. It is a very foggy morning here in Mexico. Back on that video profile. There we go. Oh, did you actually true demon? And you heard comms as well. There you go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 180. Yep. Duke Lynn's going to get a back-to-back -back win tonight in Manchester. Trust me. Depends who he's up against. I think he's up against MVG. I'm not sure. It's like this a lot in Mexico. Okay. The Formula 1 track's to our left, there, guys. I think. I'm not sure. That's our right. I've just realised that's our right. Might be over there. I don't know. The F1 track is very near the airport. I know that much. There you go. Following VDEV down well. and uh, continue. And below is 562 Mexico City traffic. Short final runway 05 left. I think the other runway's closed as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that, that was right. I said left. But that 
was right. I got that confused earlier as well. Here we go, let's bar to this down. If we get a lag on final, by the way, I need to fix these stutters. And I know how to fix them. I shouldn't, hopefully. Now I've, now I've jinxed it, probably. Idle. Oh, that was a very last flare, but that was saved. Oh, my God. The sensitivity settings feel really off as well. Reverse thrust, auto brake decal, spoilers, maybe. Can't see the spoiler screen. That was saved. That was not a slammer. That was a saved, like, safe landing. Manual brakes. And reverses out, taking it left hand now. But differential brake. Very nice. We'll do a replay of that a little bit later, guys. Very nice. Rastiques on some sort of a final as well. Welcome back. Welcome back to Mexico City, I should say. And Mexico City traffic below is 562. Fully vacated now. Runway 05 left. Good luck. Uh, right. Where is Rastik? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There's two people, actually. I think maybe... Oh, he's flying somewhere else, actually. There's somebody else that's about to turn uh, Rastik's turning final. Nice. Well, let's get the plane sorted. Speed brakes in. Flaps up. Very nice landing into Mexico. I'm, I need to sort my sensitivity out. There's, there's like a... I don't know. Like 0 to 20% of my joystick does nothing. And then all of a sudden, 20 to 30% on my joystick does everything. So. I no idea what she's waffling in the back. Very nice. We'll go stand for. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. Oh, we should have taken a left hand turn. Oh. Right, hang on. We've got to do a 180, guys. We've just gone the wrong way. We were meant to turn right there, not left. See, again, left and right's just got confused. Hang on. The terminal's this way. That's the cargo terminal. Good luck, Rastic. I'll watch you from the plane, mate. Hopefully, if we can keep turning, that'll be good. APU's just starting as well. Same to Texas. Hold on. I haven't really. I don't remember Mexico. I genuinely don't remember Mexico. I don't. I don't think I've really done Mexico City. I don't remember this scenery. It feels really weird. Restique's on final. There he is. We'll watch you land, mate. We'll Where's that way? What? Say again. The runway in sight. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he was like, the runway. Because it's so foggy. Oh. Don't Mexico twice in my life. Yeah, it's a lovely place. I just don't, I genuinely don't remember the layout of the airport. It seems really odd, but I want to carry on. Oh, here. my God. I'm so. Bro's giving us a live commentary of his piloting skills where he's just scared falling out of the sky. Go on, Rastique. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Is he going to butter it, guys? Do you think he's going to butter it? That's the... Oh! Traffic. Traffic. <laughs> Brilliant. Traffic. Traffic. That is turning off. Go on, Rastik. Get her down. There's the touchdown zone. Nicely does it. Little bit of a swing on the rudder. Get the nose down. Beautiful. See all that worry for nothing. Gorgeous. And the company has landed. There you go. All uh, right, we'll spin it in stand 25. We'll go in here. We'll go in here. Uh, very odd. I'll have a look in a second. Uh, terminal 1, stand number 2, 5. Medium, and we do not need to follow me. There you go. Emirates A350. Yeah, I've heard about these. The these have been ordered. Yep. Emirates A350 and uh, Dreamliners. I think Emirates have got some Dreamliners on, on back order as well. Because normally it's just Etihad with the Dreamliners. Um... Yeah, Emirates have trip, uh, Dreamliners and, yeah, there you go, A350 Dreamliner. It's not weird, it's just modern. I was looking at the tweet, oh, what? Oh, no, I made a wrong turn out too. <laughs> it wouldn't have been the same flight without you, Rastik. Uh, first episode 50 for Emirates moved uh, out of the final assembly line in Toulouse. The aircraft will have the test registration F. Oh, yeah, why does it have a Foxtrot registration? That's weird. Also, why? Hang on. 
Why does it have one winglet and the other one ha doesn't have a winglet? Am I... Why does it... Why is there a winglet over here? But not one over here. Because it's being built. Yeah, but surely you do one wingtip and you do the same wingtip on the other side at the same time? It also like it... Oh yeah, the engines aren't there. Yeah, but that's... It... Yeah. Because it's not finished. Okay. I don't know. They've also... Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're, that's the next thing that in the pipeline. But surely if you do one thing, you do the other. Maybe they do one thing... Wait, do they do the whole wing on one side first and then do the whole wing on the other side? They don't build them all simultaneously at the same time. Right, the Fox Shot Reg is for testing, and then when it's released, it will get a proper Reg. It's like when you test drive a car, then, but for planes. Is that right? So when you test drive a car, you get the, you get the test plates in red, don't you? It's like that for a plane. Love that sound. It's making my ears weird, though. Exactly, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, we'll have a look at that anyway. We're doing a replay in a minute anyway, guys. We're going to get deboarding started. Everybody can get off this plane. All the crying people. Uh, B deboarding off. APU can be turned off. We'll request deboarding. That's the jetway connecting. And that is us safely back where we started in Mexico. Uh, we get to... We get, wait, wait, will we ever get to see it flying 24? Probably not. Uh, I can imagine probably the, this time next year, maybe. Loads of adverts. Yep, yeah, we got Formula 1 adverts. We got uh, Nissan. We got MasterCard. We got Kia. Pot Noodles or Ram Man. Uh, we've got AT&T. Chill, chill Les Valaris. I'm burping. Uh, sorry. Uh, and some other sort of Hello Fresh box advert. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, it's getting delivered. Oh, is it already confirmed a delivery date of this August? There you go. There you go. Um, can we? Oh, my God. Damn, we do, don't we? Right, guys, before we before we think about heading out, has anyone got any further... Um, let me just get my... Hang on a sec. Let me get this back up. Uh, has anybody got any further emo ideas before we, before we do a replay and have a look at the landing rate? Kenko burp. I don't know how many, how many emotes I'm ordering, but burp. So we've got Kenko waffle... Kenko puzzled, Kenko Kek W, which I mean, so not all these are confirmed. None of these are confirmed. Uh, ATC sing dance, no problem. Tutor slash Ashton with a koala bear with a hat on him because you guys always teach me stuff. Uh, Kenko help SOS, Kenko mayday a help, which are the same things. And then Kenko burp. Raymond no, because you're always fussy about food. Oh, that would work to be fair. Kenko race car, we've already got a race car though. We've already got this bad boy. Um, Kenko price. Can go doorbell. That yeah. Can go toilet. Can go like AFK or something like a like an emote like a, another one of. So we've al we've already got this one, but it's not that good. So like a Kenko AFK or something. Kenko chaos. There is always a lot of chaos in these streams. Obviously, I don't know how how these emotes will be made, but obviously I can give a rough uh, a rough breakdown. Kenko meme. Kenko Leah. No, Le I've moved on already, Jack. Uh, Kenko, Kenko bit. <laughs> uh, I actually want to make it happen, but I know Twitch won't let me. Kenko butter, it doesn't happen though. I don't butter, but we can have it. I'm just gonna, I like to say, these are just ideas at the minute. Kenko tune, yes. Like a, a koala bear with a headset on. See, I should have asked you guys, because there's so many more people here. Kenko nerd, I'm not that much of a nerd, am I? I mean, I don't really know what my left and right's. Um, Kenko meme... Kenko Hannah, Kenko date night. <laughs> That'll do. Um, Kenko crash. Okay. These are some good ideas. We have some. Kenko float already exists. We've already got a float. We've already got a float. FDS, cheers to the follow. I like asking the community what emotes you want because, you know, after all, you guys are the ones using them. Uh, Kenko darts. Yeah, but darts is like a phase thing, I can imagine. Kenko go around. Kenko Pog. Yeah, that's yeah, that's kind of like Kenko GG, Kenko Pog. That's kind of there already. Kenko Directions. Oh my god, yes. Kenko That's like Kenko Lost though. But Directions would work actually. Kenko Forgotten. Yeah. Again, I'm not I'm not ordering 23 emotes. Jesus Christ, that would hurt the bank. Um and also Twitch wouldn't have it. Yeah, we've already got Kenko Lost. 
I quite like. I do quite like that emote still. I don't really want to change that emote. It's a shame that the map's quite small. It's quite a difficult emote to sort of see what it means. But it is there. Okay, cool. Thank you for your ideas, guys. Thank you for your ideas. I appreciate that. As uh, Rastix just pulled into stand as well. Um, I'll try and get... I'll try and... <gasps> Boom. 199 feet per minute. There you go. Let's go. Have that. People who believed in me. This is what you deserve. You deserve a reward. Well done. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think Nutrient gains some points. Genko scam. <laughs> On it. <laughs> any, any more to roll off the tongue? Uh, that was a scam. Ooh. What about like a Kenko prediction one? Where you, I don't know. Kenko prediction. Jesus Christ. These are... Imagine. Uh, Kenko scam. Kenko sell out. Yeah, I'll sell out Discord in a second. Kenko sell out. <laughs> Kenko giveaway. Kenko, good luck. We do need a good... Yes, I agree. That's actually a major one, actually, Dougie. Kenko, good luck for giveaways. We have a GG. We don't have a good luck. Hi, Benji. Yeah, we're like a... we need a good luck one. Um, Awesome. Okay. I'm happy with that. Right, let's do a replay. Uh, 199 feet per minute is mad, though. <laughs> I'm so sorry if we lost points. I think a lot of people gained some, though, um, as well. So there you go. Um... Kenko shy. That doesn't really get used often, Kenko shy. I mean, I do get shy occasionally, but not not really that often. Right, we're just going to fast him. Rastik, thank you so much for flying with me, mate. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll get G's on. And uh, we'll record. We'll go back on the replay. 202! I beat you by three feet. Per it looked a very good landing on the stream, Rastik. It looked a very good landing on the stream, I must say. Right, let's uh, watch this from... From the, uh, from the, from the view. Yeah, that's, Rev, should we keep, right, is there any emote, right, guys, I'm going to tell you, like, be honest, is there any emotes that I have that you guys don't use? Like, is there any, any emotes you feel like should get removed? Because if you guys come up with all these fresh ideas, we need to probably remove some emotes. What emotes do you not really, like, Enko ATC I don't really like. That one I think can go. No, the, no, the Formula One car, I, I've got to keep that, Rev. The Formula 1 car's got to stay. Kenko Surf's a bit meh. Yeah, Kenko Rage. Kenko Lurk. Kenko Yay's a bit... Yeah, that Yay can go. That Yay can definitely go. But, oh my god, the guys who buttered that! Did you see that? I'm gonna do another replay. That was such a good landing. Kenko VR. Well, it's it's nostalgic because we, we don't do VR though, do we? We don't stream VR anymore. Um, okay, there's quite, there's quite a few that we can sort of filter out for new ones, is what I'm saying. Uh, look at this landing, by the way. Hang on. Oh, I messed it up. Oh. I'm not very good at this replay tool, am I? Oh, my mind. Right. There you go. Try get Yeah, animate. Yeah, Dougie, they're going to be statics. I have two people. Sophie, uh... I think it is actually... I think his name's Doug who animates them. I'm not even joking. I think it's Sophie who makes the statics and then Doug animates them. So, yeah, we got Sophie and Doug who are on the emotes. Never use Kenkoji. Nah, I might get rid of that. There's the landing. Gorgeous landing, by the way. Saved last minute. That was under 200, I feel like. That was way under 200. I'm using DirectX 12 because of frame generation. That plot twist, yeah. Plot twist, you are my animator. Hello, Kiku, mate. How well, welcome. So the gift one should be a cute koala with holding a gift. Rev, we've already done that, though. I just haven't used... Like, hang on, let me show you... Let me show you... Uh, let, let me show you... Hang on, let me show you the ko koala bear with the present. Sophie... Bear with me. Look, this is what I mean, guys. L look how amazing my emote designer is. Look. Stuff like this... She sends me, like, constant progress throughout all of them. There's the Kenko present one. We can change it back to that. That's already been made. Do you want to see the final one of that? We've also got this one, which you guys have never seen before. Replace it with that. That's so much better. What, the present one? Let me try and find the final present one. These were, these were last done uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, what was it? Kenko gift. Hang on, let me load up Photoshop. Sorry, we need to end the stream. I, I do apologize, guys. I just, I need to sort out these emotes things because I, I like that, you know, emotes are a major part of the channel as well. 
Uh, question for Chatney and anyone know why London Heathrow has A380 landing on runway 27 right and when 27 left seems to be a landing runway? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. There you go. Is that, we just say that, is that emote better? That's, that was the final one. But I obviously just didn't use it. I mean, she's made emotes that I just didn't use, but. That's better. Okay. It's, it, it goes, it's, it goes with the, with the theme, doesn't it? It is so much better with the theme. Okay, right. Ex next stream, guys. I'll try and work on this this evening when the darts are on. I'll 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 go through my. I'll remove. I won't add obviously new ones, but I'll remove some of the old ones, some of the old clutter, and then tomorrow when we're streaming, we'll have a nice, not a much nicer. I mean, skill issue can go, but we can obviously get and we can get new ones. Maybe they place the purple with Kenko blue. That's easy. Uh, <laughs> bear with me. Change purple to blue. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Um, <laughs> I don't know how, how much I trust a t uh, trust AI. Bear with. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's maybe do it a bit more manually. <laughs> AI is not quite there yet, chat. Uh, <laughs> 10 out of 10. Uh, maybe we can just change the hue. Can we go adjustments, hue, saturation? I oh, know that changes. Oh, God. See, I I'm, not, I'm not great. Oh, why don't we do... Why don't we do magnetic lasso tool? No, see, I, again, I don't know how you use Photoshop. I, I could just go fill. But obviously, the GIF needs to be separate away from the koala bear. Um, you need to select the purple parts with the magic wand. Right, I'm on it. We're going to do a Kenko check. Oh, no, no, because we need to make this a bit more like 50. 50 tolerance. No, a bit more than 50. 100. Right. And then... Then what, Rev? Then do the saturation thing. I'll do this properly later. Kenko blue. That works. Obviously, you know, when I put some more time into it, that works. It's a dub emote, to be fair. Okay. Is that... Yeah, Rev. I'll, I'll work on it better. Obviously, I'll make sure it's perfect. That looks so much nicer. What do you think? Yellow for the bow? Or should we go for a different colour? That's going to work out great. Awesome. So when we get gifted subs, you guys spam this in the chat. Red? We can try red. Blue and yellow. Okay. Swedish. Oh, Rev, of course you like it. It's the same colours as the Swedish flag. <laughs> and then we can get we can scrap the old one. Hang on, let's do this live on stream. Hang on. Right, emotes, here we go. Right, which ones are we getting rid of? So gift can go. We'll obviously rename it for gift. Sweet yeah, re to be fair, Rev is practically the streamer at this point. He does do a lot. Right, remove gift. Um Yay can go. Kenko G. No, I don't remove... I'm not removing them. They're still here, guys. They're still over here. They're not gone forever. Don't worry. They're not gone forever. See, they've gone already. <laughs> they've gone already. You like Kenko G? Okay. Um, Bruce and Barney staying forever. Skill issue? We can get a new one. Lurk emote. Yeah, does it... Yeah, should we get rid of the lurk emote? This one. Should we get rid of that? No one uses it. I mean, it's a free... Look, we still got seven open slots. So I'm saying we can get ten new emotes. I, I will buy ten emotes. Corn is better than Lurk. What other ones were on that design? Do we use... Do we use the heart... Do we use this? I think Ollie likes that one. Ollie likes that one. The float one got animated. Kenko fail. Kenko slurp. We yeah, this one we never used. But I don't really... Every time I drink, it was the whole aspect of it. But it's just it's pointless. It's a bit of a gimmick. Everyone wants Kenko bits. I know, Damien. <laughs> um, right, you saying get rid... I mean, the F1 car, it will give us free emote slots. We got 20... We got 28 emote slots available. What? That's ridiculous. 
You got three, got three more tier three golden ones. I may as well use these. The would be cool if the face palm, what, where it's nothing and then face palm. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. We're getting the gift one back, guys. I'm going to design the gift one. The, the gift one will be designed. Uh, Damien, cheers for the Damien gifted sub. There you go, the aviation, mate. A, there you uh, go. Aviation. You're a legend, mate. Thank you, Damien. 108, gift 108 subs in the gifted is nuts, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, sh right, are we in agreement that Lurk needs to go, yeah? Lurk needs to go. Okay. We've got eight emote slots free now. We can animate... Obviously, we need a good luck. The, these, are, these are animated ones as well. The animated ones I'm happy with. ATC, yeah, we're getting a new ATC one, I agree. Like a stressed one, like a rage. What about Kenko Rage? Does anyone use... I mean, this one's quite fun. I like, I like that emote. It's quite, it's quite fun. I like that. Bruce can... Go, oi! Right, FG Swift, you're getting timed out for that, buddy. <laughs> you use it. Okay, okay. Kenko Chair, we can get rid of this. Surely we get rid of this, because that, that's not made by Sophie. This emote is not made by Sophie. That's a different koala bear. That's like a brother Aldi version of a koala bear. F1 taking three slots up is criminal. Yeah, I know, Rev, but look how good it look how good it looks. It's never used. Yeah, I, I know. Right, chair's gone. Skill issue's gonna go as well, because I want to get a new skill issue. God, it looks so boring and brown and grey now, though. Kenko Surf needs to go. God, we're gonna have no emotes left. There's Kenko Drink, which I don't want. Kenko Time. You remember Kenko Time? We got rid of Kenko Time. Kenko Mountain never gets used. It's not. It's a good emo idea, but it's just it's pointless, isn't it? Kenko Tomato. Oh yeah, <laughs> that one. Yeah, that one was quite good. Koalas are grey. Yeah, I need. I just feel like it needs to be more colour. Needs to be more colour in it. But yeah. Oh, nice George. Hi mate. Hello. Kenko Mountain is good for the Innsbruck fights. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Free lunch and... Mate, enjoy, George. Mate, have a good one. We're about to head out in a minute. Okay. I'll ask... I'll, I mean, it's going to take Sophie ages to design them, but... That's fine. That's fine. I, I can message Sophie and be like, can we actually have 11 emotes? Because the thing is, we don't need... There's so many emote slots. We don't need to use all of them. Okay. We'll get this one sorted out. Um, and then I'll order some more. And we'll get them. Uh, I'll make sure my descriptions are good. Okay. Because, like, we've got a lot of good ideas. Did she, did she get paid? No, no, I haven't paid her yet. Because I, I will pay her when... The thing is, with Sophie, she makes the emotes before I pay her. Because we, we've been literally doing business for the last, like, four or five years. Um, So she completely trusts me and everything like that. So, yeah. Kenko bits. Yeah, Kenko. Like, we, we got all the emotes on an email. We got a lot. Uh, no, Damien, she is happily, uh, I don't know, actually, I, I don't really know, I have her on Facebook, but I don't really stalk her. Um, you need a little character, anybody have ideas, what, for your stream? Have a look around, go for, like, a penguin or something. Kenko Toilet. Kenko, yeah, well, oh my god, we can have a koala bear sitting on the loo. Oh my god, that's kind of a good idea. When every time I go AFK, you can have a koala bear having a... I don't, I don't know how often that will get used, though. Um, no, every time I go FK, everyone just puts the Kenko toilet in the chat. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> no? Okay. Kenko toilet and Kenko bits. <laughs> There's some TOS that needs to be done with that. Um, okay. Right, I think that I think on that note, I think we we best head out. Um, you like? It's quite a good idea, though, isn't it? Not that every time I go AFK, you know... We we have we go to the toilet, but you know, Kenko waffle. There's loads of loads of ideas, loads of ideas. Okay, I like it. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. 
<laughs> I couldn't do that crazy nugget. Um, right, guys, I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for an awesome stream today. Honestly, I've really enjoyed it. We, we've done what... Well, we did what we originally wanted to do, the flights, but we did it in three different aircraft, but there we go. Um, it's been one of the most chaotic, scatty streams ever, but I've enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, make a koala's leg move back and forth. Oh, my God, you're going to be animated. Oh, that would be amazing. Mate, the fact you've got producer in the name, I love that. A little, a little, a toilet with a koala bear sat on it. We're, we're just kicking his legs back and forth reading a newspaper. <laughs> I mean, these are too, these are too detailed now. Um, no, so, I mean, it's about, it works out, guys, about £40 an emote. I'm not even joking. Um, it's expensive, I know, but it's worth it because the qualities she produces are fantastic. By the way, the £40, including animation, so it's probably, probably like £30 an emote. Really, ch oh, yeah, but because I've been doing like, Rev, Rev, because I've been doing business with her for such a long time, obviously she's willing to give me that kind of price. And you know, she spends hours on these images. You saw some of those designs that she makes. You know, it's all drawing pads. She'll sketches them, outlines them, colors them in. She does everything for me. So you know, forty quid for an emote, it's not it, it's not a lot in this day and age. Uh, kicking his legs back and forth while holding the ear. Oh my god, holding the EFB tablet. <laughs> Oh, honestly, I have no idea how that's going to work on a small little 16 by 16 pixel image, but yeah. Um, show us the cheap... Oh yeah, guys, the, this is when I pay like £2 for an emote, by the way. I'll quickly show you these. I need to go. Um, where is it? Graphics. Streaming graphics uh, emotes. Here we go. Like th This is when I, when I pay... Uh, where is it? Yeah. This is what happens when I pay like £5 for an emote. <laughs> Bro, this is awful. <laughs> Hype! <laughs> it's so bad. Like, no wonder I didn't use it. Uh, <laughs> Rip. Oh, no! Oh... I asked for a hype trade emote and they gave me that. Uh, this is not Sophie, by the way. I just want to say this is not Sophie. This was back in the day before I met Sophie. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's any other cringe ones, to be fair. But um, yeah. I don't know what my idea of that was. Kecko, Kecko, Kecko with a taxi. That's just, there's no, there's no story to that. I don't understand. Um... I don't know. Um, Kenko Taxi, yeah, but it doesn't make any sense. Um, right, guys, on that note, I'm going to head out. Thank you so much again, Damien uh, S. Uh, where is it? Uh, who gifted the subs? SHM, um, Peter, Andy, Noah, the lot of you. Thank you so much for all your gifted subs, bits, all your support today. You've honestly smashed it. Kenko, bits in chat. Oh, wait. Um, no, on that note, I guess I'm going to go. Thank you so much for an awesome stream. You've been awesome. And I will see you all tomorrow uh, for some, hopefully, some more flying. I'm going to go and fix my sim, uh, sort out these emotes, and uh, hopefully get an email sent over to Sophie as well. All right. Um, Ref, I won't let you down with the... Uh, with the uh, can go by. <laughs> I won't let you down with the um, with the Swedish colours on the gifted. All right, guys. Bye, guys, bye, guys. See you soon. Bye, bye. Have a good one. Have a good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your days. Thank you, streaming. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sorry, it's a bit shorter than normal. Four out five hours isn't normally what I go for, but um, I am starving. I need to get some food. All right. Uh, potentially crazy nugget. Maybe. 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 Yeah, I need to do uh, sort out loads of other stuff as well. Have a good evening, guys. Well, I don't know, honestly, I couldn't even speak England. Right, guys, have a good one. See you all soon. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Enjoy the darts later if you're watching it. See you guys.